microphone was on like a really bizarre audio track. I think that might have been from the JSON file. I was saying. Ah, well, no matter, no matter. It's fine. It's fine. I should be audible on stream now. Everything is jido. Think... Okay, and I think we've got the bracket going. So the bracket has started. Okay, let me actually refresh that real quick. Uh, yeah, we actually do have bracket on stream. Uh, everyone. Put an F in the chat for me if you can hear. Okay, Kyle just ruined the whole thing. Never mind. Also, hi, Kyle. Nice to see you. Uh, people can hear me. Lovely. Right. So, panic over. Here is the brackets for you. And let's see. Who do we want to watch first? Blame it on the Rippy Bush for Heavy are the only team that hasn't got the buy. So... so they are... So what's happened? What's happened? I've put the... The Bush for Heavy are the Aussies. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, aggressive potatoes are the guys from South America, and uh, chimkin, spicy chimkins are the guys from the Middle East, um, Asia area. So those guys are over the ones that I've seeded to be playing people from the same region, well, roughly the same region. So hopefully they will be able to have decent matches, but they might have to use peer to peer. So if they do, they have to let me know. Um, and yeah, so. Hope they know they know to do that. They know to do that. I've put it in the announcements, so if they don't, grumble grumble. Grumble grumble. Um, okay, so we can punt and see if we can get Blamer on the Rippy versus Bush for Heavy. Uh alright, let me also do a little quick bit of audio change. There we are, I can sort out now. There we are. Oh yeah, I had for some reason I had Spaniel on like a hundred and fifty percent. Maybe I just wanted to get him really loud in my ears. My very sensuous voice. <laughs> uh... Yeah, basically, teams can elect to do peer to peer if the connection gets too dodgy, but it's not a complete. We we prefer it not to be peer to peer because we can actually spectate it, but. At the same time, we want to you know, be able to spectate the matches. So let's see if I can actually get a target for this match if it's playing. So was it Milk Howler, Loctopus, Blazo, H2 Go? So let's, let's see if I can find them on my friends list. Oh shit, yeah. But make, uh, make sure they've, they've added. Uh, I did put in the announcements. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, folks, if you're watching right now in the chat, do just let me know in the chat if audio needs changing or anything. Like, I'm, I am, it's been a little while since I've been back in the saddle on this, so audio levels are not guaranteed to be perfect, so by all means, do just yell at me until things fix themselves. That is the standard procedure. Wait, hang on. Clutch is playing... He's screaming alone. I thought Clutch was in Croatia. Hmm. Yeah, on this Twitter, he was having, like, dinner. Did he take his laptop with him? Side note, actually. <laughs> is... Let me... Go do Academy from... The, the, the number one never stops. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he literally never stops. Is he screaming from bloody Croatia? Yeah, three hours ago. Cheers, crew, of him eating dinner in Croatia. Son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> unless this is like what some people do where they'll post the holiday photos after they've been there. Yeah, he's literally screaming from Croatia. He did mention he was going to take his laptop for a stream. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you, MK. All right, let me check. Uh, friend requests. Oh my lord, I have so many friend requests. You can't see this on stream <laughs> right now. You're such a friendly boy. I'm going to have, like, three quarters of all the PC competitive community in my friends list at this point. I swear. Okay, I also need to actually make sure the game has audio now, since we're not in the wait. And let me kill that. There we are. Don't worry, folks. We'll actually have a game on stream for you sometime in the next seven business days. Gaila, please. <laughs> Okay, Milk Howler, H2 to go, Loctopus, John Wack, Blazo for Bush for Heavy. I need a target. And then Blame It on the Rippy is Fiddlywink, Shep Dude, Arrow, Rippy, 156. I'm terrible at remembering names, so I'm gonna forget those names. Okay, I have Loctopus, but Loctopus doesn't have an eye on him yet. And one, I have 156. 
So we'll see if we can get them. If not, we'll try and actually get another game on stream. Oh, by the way, folks, this isn't just the whole, like, eSporty thing. If you actually want to come and vibe on the stream, you can come into the Discord. And actually come into the Dodo chat and hang out. So that is an option, if you so wish. If one wishes to participate. Indeed, come along and say hello. Oh, actually, yes, now the stream is live, hmm. and the brackets are live. I'm going to do the ping in Dojo, gen dojo announcements, so... Hmm. Um, Won't we be heard on stream? No, yes! That is the catch. Yeah, this is a much more relaxed affair. This isn't, like, full eSports. I very much made it seem like that early on, but no, like, it's very, it's a similar style to what's been done in the past here yeah, at Front of Dojo. it's a watch party type thing. So, just like a normal Front of Dojo session. Yeah. Um... Norgoz, hello! Hey! The Pacific man with no sleep is here. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna... All right, so... Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're just doing a sort of fairly chill, waiting for some matches to start. Um... Oh, my lord, more friend requests. So many friend you requests. You have just arrived just in time for me to put you in the announcement ping for this stream on in the dojo. So here goes. <laughs> I do love sending at everyone's. Everyone loves to mute, mute my servers. Yay. Yes. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's see here. Okay, I'm still waiting for an eye, as this is the... Well, there's two traditions of Ferrara tournaments. One is waiting for the eye eternally on stream. Also, hi, Tetsuo. <laughs> And the second one is there's always going to be some sort of delay. It's like the law. It happens from the tiniest tournaments all the way to Dominion series. There's always going to be some sort of weird ass delay. I don't think there's yep. been like a single For Honor tournament in the entirety of the game's history that has not had some sort of bizarre delay. Yeah, that is, that do be how it be. Um, hello, everybody. We're going to have lots of people joining now because I've just pinged the server. So. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the watch party stream. You seem to have quite the number. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, are we are we supposed to be muted right now or? Nope. You can uh, hang out. You can. Wait, you can game hang is out. Oh, okay. Say hello. Yes. Uh, when right, enough, like especially enough. in between matches when we're just you know hanging out and chatting and waiting for things. Um. I mean when when yeah, right. there's stuff to talk about. Like hopefully the coaches and the experienced players and Verb of course will be giving their feedback and uh, you know help talking about the, the players i mean I, I can perform decently with every character i maybe i know something i probably don't know anything <laughs> okay well if people like so the coat we have like a number of people who are coaches and have like, like the coach role and that like bishy here hello bishy hey yeah, all going? right all right and th Bundle. these guys will so when these guys are talking about stuff um it is be courteous to let the then let them be heard but until then we can all just chat and hang out how things go along, and I will be like yeah, occasionally going, oh, What's going on with this? And I look at the <laughs> battle fee thing and try to work out why matches haven't, started yeah, or... why is it on fire? I, 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 at the very least, I know how commentary tends to work. <laughs> Let me pull up the All tweet right. real quick here because yeah. that's gonna be much higher quality. Yeah, the, the, the Twitch page, the, the Discord stream I'm currently streaming right now in this Discord is li essentially live, so you'll have it on point, but the Twitch may be ever so slightly behind, compared to... Yeah, yeah it normally varies. how it works, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's alright. The stream itself is behind, so it's not gonna do anything. Spectator mode, and it's like six seconds behind, even at constant. You, all, you, you on PC, but I'm not having any, any sort of weird keyboard tech, because I play on PlayStation, and I, I'm not sure how to explain stuff like that. Uh, there's no, there's, there's not too many no. macro shenanigans these days. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like people could roll their okay. face on the keyboard and do unlocked unlockables yeah, anymore. Yeah, okay. okay yeah, okay. the, no, the no, only no, things people no, macro is like man, GPOS un and things like Emote man, OS and stuff tech, is banned that already. So back some memories to say the least. Hmm. All right, I what are we streaming really under? Cool. Let, me, let uh, me make sure I got the. For Honor Discord Dojo is the Twitch channel. Oh, actually, we got a question from chat from Rockwood Zapper. Is the Discord Dojo is the Discord Dojo Discord? That's a tongue twister. Exclusively for people who are wishing to coach or learn, or is it for anyone who's interested in the event from any perspective? Anybody who's interested in uh, 
the event, um, pretty much. I haven't talked here in, like, actual ages, and I'm still here, so I think that answers the question well enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm giving uh, you, Verb, and Norgoz the Dojo Sensei roles, and uh, Bishi as well. Basically, anybody with Coach, actually, what I should also... I can just do that with Coach, can't I? Edit permissions, here we go. Um, I'm going to let... Uh, I don't know, that's not... All right. Basically, you will have if you have the Dojo Sensei role, you have the priority speaker, so you can use push to talk to talk over everybody. Basically, <laughs> ah, right. Um, so Fancy. if you've got that role, let me just add another role. Add that coaches. Um, they have priority speaker as well. That makes it just easier, doesn't it? Um, oh, and you can also mute people if uh, they are being loud and and loud and rowdy. Um, so yeah, we'll behave nicely and be be fun. Yeah, okay, so we've got some matches. Matches are getting set up. So, obviously, people have just worked out the brackets. Um, there's no issues as of yet, which is good. Maps are being so. If we're looking at um, Bush for Heavy and blame it on Rippy, the maps we have they've picked are. Uh, so this uh, is a brawl tournament, I assume, with uh, teachers and students, right? No, no, it's it's a Dominion tournament. We had we've had Oh a Dominion. Oh yes. Okay. So to I guess we can explain the format of the tournament. We've had yeah. right, for, right, yeah. a couple of weeks ago we had a uh, sign up and we had had people sign up as coaches or students. And the coaches were assigned teams that were roughly balanced, um, based on experience, and then they've been given uh two weeks to train and practice and improve their game and then they are now um now having the first round tournament so there's going to be they've had these their first practice beat and then they're going to have uh this dominion tournament where the coaches don't play they just um you know coach and look and call out rotations if they want to and then after this one there will be a another period of time um because the Dominion series uh, qualifiers are the ne for like the next month, and then after those mini series qualifiers, which I do encourage all the teams who participate to play in, just as even if it's just as practice, um, there is a round two, so we will see who which teams have improved, um, have and have trained even more more during the oh, intervening okay. period. That's the okay. overall format of the tournament. Can, can I ask a question? Yeah. Who who all is participating in this? So lots of players from this community. Um, mo there are some that are more experienced, some that are less experienced, but mostly it is new, newish, or like not players who haven't played in competitive tournaments before, and with competitive and experienced coaches who have played in tournaments before, who are, who are um, have been teaching them how how things do, how how to do thing, how to how, do how, things, how, how is do. Go. Does how it and goes. How do you Indeed. sign up for this? Is it uh, the signups have already happened? Um, oh yeah, all right. Is, that happened two weeks ago. Um, so I, I assume there was like a ping or something when it, when the signups were opened, right? There were. If you yes. check in the yeah, announcements right. channels here, you'll be able to find the um, various different signup things. All right. So I guess there. Then now you have an idea of what to look out for. I guess. Yep. So we'll yeah. be looking out for. We're going to be trying to do a little bit of on-the-fly coaching. Also, Ledgemeister is um, uh, verb. Ledgemeister is one of the players. We could watch that one if you wanted to. Oh, do we have an eye? We have an eye for Ledge Ledgemeister. That's on Ky Kyle's team. Uh, let's they see. Be uh, what's the, what's their name? Their name, I. Think... Does it need to update the scoreboard on stream? Oh yeah, good point. It is. Um, let me double check because I don't know how these all memories. I think it's. No, it's not somewhere in Nevada. It is uh, um, literally Hammer zero Slam practice. Gaming. Hammer Slam Gaming, Ledgemeister. Ah. Hammer Slam so Gaming. Is, okay, that is match number C nineteen. They are against Antonio's team. Righto. Let me get the brackets up. Get my scoreboard updated. Mm -hmm. This is a second round match, best of three. And no doubt, I'm going to get them on the wrong sides. Because <laughs> this always so got uh, Hammer Slam Gaming on the left of the screen here. Uh, nope, right hand I, of the screen. I, I, I'm I terrible at right and left. Gotten, I've heard Chigoki's gotten a lot 
better after the rework. Yes, Shigoki is now very much a meta character. Um, you will see him in many team comps. He uh, can do better. As, 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 as a Shigoki main, this makes me happy. Although I haven't been playing him all that much, considering I already have my rep 70. Well, he now has excellent rotations. He can set up ganks. He has crazy damage. He's got amazing feats. Um, <clears> he's got like some he's of probably the fastest here. character in the game. Yeah, he's now up with Shinobi. He's uh, one of the fastest characters in the game. But I don't think we'll see Shinobi played until the uh, testing ground the changes comes out. Yeah, I'm not even too sure on that. He didn't seem very fours, um, especially after they take away the uh, bug hit stone on the ranged attack. Oh, I don't know about that. I think he's going to be a sh uh, like a shoe in for a ganker with sickle rain so and being so accessible off guard breaks and everything. Sick sickle I do rain, wonder yeah, if they're going to change um because. I noticed that Shinobi's kick in testing grounds was wall splatting. Yeah, it's actually the range attack that's wall splatting. The range attack oh, is wall splatting. Oh, yeah, uh, it, oh, that is, is a bug, oh. and it's going to okay. be fixed. Yeah, okay. that 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 hit stone's going away. Oh. Is this the first match? This is the first match. This yes, is the first match. This oh. is cool. up and coming talents versus Hammer Slam Gaming first match. All right, and we have a Yorm on. Yes, I did see Spoopy Krakatoa so popping off in chat a bit. <laughs> so, uh, Kyle's team, one of their player, one of the new players, is a Yorm main, and Ooh. he's staying on the Yorm. So, we will see how this I goes. You want this team is team team no, there's a Yorm on one team. Oh, okay. Was... Well, that's a there's a Griffin pick though. There's a Griffin. Oh, that's 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 that is. Yeah, Q fade. I'll put a camera on oh, him for you. Who that is? Okay. Okay. Tree, please so, delete yourself. There we are. Now we can actually see. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot! Oh, bye-bye! Nice knowing you! Oh, that was yeah, fast! With, with the out-of-stamina heavy, and I think that's Snucko Humble going down. Nice gank there, Garb to... Oh, he sent off the attack there with the uh, out-of-stamina. Uh, but, didn't get punished, of course, because... Good, good, uh... There we go, oh. now that was a, that was a good... That was a, not a well-executed gank from... They, they, they um, had, the, they oh had the idea, and that's what counts. Just one more. A little bit too oh, short no. range. Oh, he missed it. Oh, and the hug was out of range. Now it's super low health, but they oh, might be able to get rotation because the. Oh yeah, immediately. Uh, yes, Snucko in. is back in. He's... Oh, he didn't oh, manage he to get. got the res though. He did get the res. Did get the res. Oh, wrong person. Oh, I'm very good with the camera. <laughs> there we Snucko are. Again, being ganked. Get bash for hug. And we've got. Blackfire coming in, they've lost the fight on mid by the looks of things. Hmm. Um, we can take a look over there in a moment. Oh, well, that. So that was a misplay from the. Oh, all of them were the down Griffin here. There Surprised no one Griffin is... could have got a, a kill on the guy who just got demon balled. Because that is. I'm a little surprised no one got like. Oh, never mind. There's the A back cap. Hmm. 1v2 though. The Black Prior was spending a decent bit of time away trying to secure the midpoint. Not traditionally where Black Prior goes, but you know, you make do with what you can with what you've got. Although that's also uh, uncomfortable. Well oh, can these days. I thought Black Prior was mainly a side capper these days. I mean, he can do mid because his tier 2 lets he him can. Yeah, he, heal. He, he, he's, he can. He can work on mid. Hmm. Like, like, he's fine on it. I just know that, like, people tend to prefer him as a side capper. Yeah, because especially when you die, mid. um... His heavies are pretty wide-reaching. Hmm. Yeah, but it's mostly that he's got sustain um, because he can... And he's relatively it's... safe when he clears because he can recovery cancel into flips, so you can't peel too easily against him. Um, he hasn't got the... Gr his hitbox is all right, but they're not the best. Um, but with his tier 2, he can actually sustain himself in mid, which is something. So now we've got... Oh, there's a clash um, on mid happening. So, so Kyle's team has... So Yorm has revenge now. Now this is where Yorm likes to be, to get his hammer slams. Nice light parry there. From hey, Ledge. Kids. Nice job by him, though, actually using the crashing charge to try and intercept Q-Fade. That may not be the worst result, form. but it's always nice to have. Although that Shugo is a little bit too low for comfort. You may want to be careful of that. So we're going to see a rotation back to... Oh, no. So they, the blue team here have basically neglected to look after their C point advantage. And one of them was staying back for a bit, one of them has left to go and contest that back cap, but the orange player on C is very low health. So Snucko oh, mate. Oh the faint into faint into <laughs> we're back in back 
the tree rework. The long execution keeps him out of the game for as long as possible. Um, does that pay off for him because he's going to get a road? Oh well, almost no, so had one. Edgemeister playing really well there to make sure to keep the the other Goki off the point and allow. Um, oh no, mm. that's that's goodbye. Oh, I'll throw farther. Oh, throw you farther. Make, actually getting some use out of that feat, which is. Throw rare. father being yeah. used in the tournament. I I'm feeling very old all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, oh, oh okay, yeah, but then look at that other Shigoki that has iron lungs on. What oh god, he does have iron lungs on! No, yeah, actually iron lungs with the with the new um uh demon drift is what it's called, correct? Yeah, yeah. demon well, drift. Yeah, the sprint oh. is uh, well it's called Onicharge, yeah. It's oh, demon oh, drift. Uh, can you can you use that can you still do that while out of stamina now? No, that bug is Oh uh, uh, didn't it get fixed? Oh, yeah, oh, it's so it is bug. fixed now, but it does give you a lot of speed. Um, and you can carry on run like if you put yourself accidentally out of stamina, you can still carry on running. Um, the main disadvantage of Profile is that it messes up your um, out of stamina punches, which is. I mostly just use speed to drive on Goki. So, uh, question: How do I pronounce this Shugoki's up, uh, name? Uh, this is just Snucko. Um, Snucko. Okay, that'll do. Because yeah. I was trying to Snucko think how do I pronounce it, but I kind of just abandoned Thread on that idea. He's dead, though. <laughs> oh, that's a Fire <laughs> Flask! Is that a Fire Flask already? Uh, what's Renown? He's been popping off. He's been getting a lot of... I had last laugh, and I was like... What? <laughs> <laughs> I was so, gonna so say... Ledgemeister has been getting a lot of Defender Renown, so something that's very important in the meta at the moment is not dying on points that the enemy owns, because that gives you a significant portion of event. I have noticed renown. a majority of the conflict has been on C, like, none of them have tried going up to A Yes, C is well known as the most important point in this, um, in this map. I'm, I'm just a little surprised that like none of the blue team, as far as I have seen, has tried to go in like cap A at all. There's there's no need. There's no need to go up to A point unless you have both C point and mid at that time, or you have enough free cap at A. You really don't need. You don't really don't need it. There's a long rotation from A to mid. Yeah, that's the main reason. I, I guess considering all the, they don't really have any like really fast characters. Do that. So, yeah, right. observe. You probably probably let uh, verb and. And, uh, oh no, th this is blood. fine. I'm practicing my observation skills right now. If you guys want to vibe, <laughs> by all means, this is nice. I want to hit the new blood. And they've been uh, stuck in team I mean, I fights most of the game. New blood. I've been playing like a week after launch, but I've never played competitive, so, yeah. so yeah, that, uh, they don't know much about competitive. Oh, Blitz is here. Hello. Hello, Blitz. Everybody's here. Da, 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 da. Hello. Hello, Blitz is one of the one of the coaches of the team. So, how's is your team? Your team's currently playing, right? How are they doing? I have no clue. I'm watching you guys. That's what I. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see. Um, I should go back to brackets and make sure there's no issues. I have to occasionally check on the dashboard to make sure nobody's flagged anything. What's your team's name, Blitz? Um, uh, I think somewhere in Nevada. Somewhere in Nevada. So they're against. Okay, they are playing against the South American team. So we'll see how their matches are going. Um, invites being sent. So they. Oh, the staggering blow. Staggering oh, Blow is, is out already. Yep. Ledge, yeah, the only reason Ledge isn't dead right now is because he had Juggernaut on. The only reason he's not dead on the ground. However, yeah, so <laughs> you didn't armor. have that. Sorry, Shugo. <laughs> hyper Armor prevents you from being knocked over. So that is um, if you're hit by Staggering Blow in the middle of a Hyper Armor attack. So Juggernaut is very handy as a as a feat to counter Staggering Blow because you can, I mean, you can light attack. On yeah, for tens, for tens. For 10 seconds. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's still, uh, 10 seconds is a lot of time in this game. Uh, yeah, but like 40. That's fourth of Staggering Blow's duration, man. That's like, it's not to be underestimated. And the thing with that is that additionally, if you're on a point, you pop uh, tier 2, pop Juggernaut, that is a free 10 seconds of stall. They will probably leave you alone. Yeah. If they're, if they're smart, they won't attack you because you'll basically just probably end up feeding revenge and they won't do. Any damage. Griffin making a good use of his dodge heavies and high primer finishes there. He's seeing who's the BP. Let's go wipe. There we are. Oh, Griffin it's, feet's coming out. Jay's BP. No, another fire flask. Damn, is that the. That is the. Defender. That was Ledgemeister's fire flask, but Good Biscuit to save the team. Uses of fire flask. So, you see, so you see, that's the uh, absolute importance of using your tier fours early. Because tier, him getting his tier 4 early has allowed him to use it twice in the match. So instead of saving it up 
for you no know, saving it up for the next match. He's used it early and he's got two uses out of it, which means it makes it, it which gives him an incredible value on his tier four. So that was a, probably a guaranteed headbutt then that he just didn't choose to get a nice parry. Oh, Monty was oh, so no. close to revenge. Yeah, that's the issue with Yorm. If you put yourself in any kind of recovery, it's uh, game over for you. Speaking of revenge. But this, speaking, yeah, and this blue team is in a very bad position here because they need to get both <laughs> points to unbreak. Uh, they're all very low. They have nowhere to heal. Um, Griffin is presumably going to go down any second now. There he goes. And so yeah, now it's just Goki and they can't unbreak. Goki, who is back capping on A, but he's not for his tier 4. And he's going to be rotated on by the entire enemy team. So uh, we will see how well he lasts. Oh, the BP's tier four to comes it's out. Not impossible, but then the BP used tier four. And Shugo used tier four. Is tier four? Yeah. There yeah, we go. That's the power of that. Right. Knocks you down. I mean, he's I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Actually. Had it active a while ago, and uh, <laughs> the tables have been flipped. Yeah. So Hammer Slam Gaming. Uh, Orochi's pretty cool. I'm never going to play Orochi, but... Am I hearing someone in like Gamer? Like is that someone in the Discord? No, not overpowered or anything. Sounds like someone in the um, yeah. Just going to mute like for a moment, because it sounds like having another conversation. Um, I was going to say, is I th there was an old bug with Spectator way back in the day, I think, when it was in like a <laughs> the private beta or something, where you could hear the in-game voice chat through Spectator on both sides. So wow, you could, you're could you like having really a, cool. a meltdown. It's like, what what's happening? <laughs> Oh, that sounds absolutely awful. Wish I could have been there to see it. All right, that was 1-0 Hammer Slam. Yep, Hammer Slam's 1-0. We'll see if they are reporting the match. I think uh, Blame It On Rippy and Bush For Heavy should be in their, in their match. And we haven't seen any no issues flagged to me yet. Um, so there's no, not been any uh, lag issues yet, which is nice. All right, the swap sides. There we are. Make sure I adjust that accordingly. Although this is uh, Overwatch, so the team's orientation can end up swapping twice because the attacker and defender sides are not the same as the UI, which always throws me off. It's horrible. Ooh, they changed off a of Warlord and they picked Sun. Ooh, good catch. Uh, yes, they have picked out. So, they, so these guys, uh, because the way the format is working, no, no, they, 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 no, that, that they had sent beforehand. Uh, the warlord is still on. Yeah, Legend Meister is still the they warlord. Sent before, or am I just smoking something? No, they had the sent beforehand. Yeah, okay, um, okay. They're the so, other team. I thought did they have sent before? Yeah, there was one team with sent and one team with warlord, and that is what. So, uh, actually, yeah, they're, they're not picking the warlord. Cops, I don't think the comps hmm. have changed here. I don't think so. By looks <laughs> things. These are the same teams. Yeah. Any interesting? I thought both teams have a warlord. Maybe. Okay, from beginning. I sometimes will try and go with most recent position if there's been a horrendous time, like, sync, but that often ends up with the recording buffering into oblivion. Buffering. <laughs> no worries. We have uh, just started, so... Yes. This is only, like, the second match of the day in round two. Round one we didn't see because that was a pseudo-buy round, but, ah, uh, well. Yeah, we had 17 teams enter, so every team apart from one, of, uh, every team apart from two got buys on, on their first round. So we're going to see the classic rotation here, two... C two to mid. Um, though, good biscuit took the long route around, um, <laughs> up and then down the ladder. A and then a lot of damage coming out on Smucko. Another big unblockable attack pretty much only hit him with his teammates before he got parried. Nice um, use of the armor though. And Smucko goes down. Well, that is, that should Revenge? be death. If they... Oh no. Oh, they should have. Saruni is yeah, super uh -oh. eager to try and hit the demon's embraces. Twice now, he's almost ended up killing themselves with Oh, the no way! He got the guard break out of the revenge chain. That's so unfortunate. Okay, That's we should probably... He was out of stamina, too. Okay, we should probably explain to people who are not necessarily as familiar why guard breaking someone in revenge is actually kind of a big deal. Because yeah, normally so it's impossible, only... right? Yeah, there's a 200 ms no. window at most. Uh, I mean, well, it depends on the chain link. Sometimes it's even less. Sent getting the the kick on the outside the opponent there. Um, they have got C, so they can go and heal back. It's definitely the preferable point for them. But the Griffin here rotating back to C is not the play. I would go to mid and clear. Hmm. Um, which they are doing that now. Okay. Now you can see that the blue team are falling back to A to have a to to regroup and heal, and they will push mid presumably when these guys come back. Because obviously mid is the you need the mid, and you can't really push onto C when they're, all three of them are sitting there. Um, 
So let's Here's see a point though, Spandied, I must I must bring up. This being, you know, a coach and students tournament, how much time do you think each of the teams have devoted to teaching about things like proper rotations? Because that's one of the more insidious things that you can forget in the heat of a moment of actually going to the right place at the right time. Yep. So I know Kyle has been working quite hard with his team, um, and it's very, it's very varied. Uh, some of the the um, teams haven't been practicing as much, but I guess that's the nature of the tournament. Some some have been practicing more, and the, hopefully the ones who've been practicing more will win. <laughs> Just because it makes it feel like. You know, there's justice in the world. Because <laughs> I have go going back onto the back cheeky back cap then, mm. but it's going to get rotated. I mean, this is a winnable two v two here, especially with the damage totals that. Yeah. With that, so with that HP, he's fine. He's going to be fine as long as he doesn't get pinned. There we okay, go. So Enough time. Oh, yeah, that sent gank there. Um, okay, we're doing we're this now. Out the long execution. Oh well. Oh, oh, oh coming in. Oh. Was that planned? You gotta watch. I can only, I can only hope that it was planned. Cause uh, you know, just give them the credit where it, credit if it counts. So yeah, we got a. Oh, see it. Oh no, the Yorm has been ledged <laughs> on a. <laughs> uh, you know, Caster's curse going to look at them, but they have now swapped points, and a C is definitely the preferable point to have on this map because it has closer, you know, faster rotations to mid, and you can clear and go back and heal much easier. But it's still, it's much less so than on Temple Garden where C is very, very much favoured. Um, the issue is that if you have, if you're A, you have A, you have a easy access to ledging points where you can drop attack onto mid, which is not something, which is something that's, that's pretty hard to Although, deal with. Although, um, I must ask real quick, uh, one, Spanid, apparently you're being asked to check your DMs, so while that's happening, we'll have a look oh. at the fight in the mid. Q Fade is already low on stamina, but fortunately the tier 1 feet allowing him to keep his stamina back in a pretty quick order. And Revenge may be able to go up into full. There we are. One extra tag got applied courtesy of the blue Shigoki. That's going to be quite bad if Qfei can actually kill Zay quickly enough to rejoin the fight. Because the fight is now slowly but surely progressing over onto C point. But nope. Qfei stands strong. And that means now Zay's advantage is pretty much all but gone. Especially when he eats that. He's going to end up dropping to the ground. Meanwhile, over on C, it's a 1v3 after the teammate of the Shigoki went down. That being Legemeister. Revenge Shugoki is a kind of terrifying threat, but as long as Red Team s take it slow, up and coming talents don't need to rush it like they did before, they can get the W. And in that case, they do. They'll secure C for themselves. While B and C are in. I hang on a minute. I believe we had a DC. Is that a robotic. That's a robotic Yormungunda. That's a robotic Yormungunda, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to give them the. Yeah, you can. Is this going to be a restart? Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a restart, so I'm not right. sure if they will play it out and restart it, but they will have to replay this one. So you get these guys, okay. I'm just keep, keep us track, because so you get two restarts per tournament um, uh, until you reach the finals, in which case you're allowed an extra one more. Uh, but having said that, the Yorno Gander is doing... Not doing it. Oh, actually, I spot. I spot Literally the same spot. place the Yormungand that died before, this time being yeah, a robot. Clearly he's a good robotic facsimile of the real, the real thing. Yes, they will have to replay that. I'm just making sure I go to sort that out on the back of the page. All right, so dangerous drop attack, and he pays for it. Okay, actually, I've got to ask since we do have one or two people here who I know as Yorm aficionados, what's like the general consensus for Yorm and Gunda right now? Not considering the testing grounds, the testing grounds is changing bloody everything. But how is Yorm considered right now? Well, he's he's Yorm. He's got big punish potential, but ultimately his his gank potential isn't really quite there. You can react to his neutral bash pretty well, and he doesn't really have a lot of tools to really open you up properly. I don't have much else to say other than that. Does the testing grounds change anything? I, I would say um, for him. Say what? Say again. I would say that it's 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 not as powerful as it used to be, but it's certainly not to be underestimated. I mean, uh, Yorm's stall has gone much, much worse with the nurse to his feet. Um, uh, sorry, just sort of this, because he's he has very, very low, rec very long recoveries on everything. He basically can't press buttons um, without taking damage. And in a world where you can get uh, like 100 ganks off any you know guard breaks in a gank, then uh, you know it's it's not. It's not good for if you want to put himself in recovery. I mean, for example, his zone attack. He gets a free heavy. You, you get a free heavy on a Yorm every time you 
throws he throws a zone attack because he doesn't hit everybody around him, which he's not going to. I've had hit good experience with anti ganking your personally. I mean, you can do it in matchmaking, and he used to be able to be very good at doing it, but he is by no means uh, a good character now, and actually, comparatively, he's got pretty bad. Still. He has no dodge attack. He has no. Uh, his feats are no longer, you know, winning for him. He has terrible recoveries on things. He doesn't have frame advantage on anything. So, yeah. I must ask though. You mentioned uh, specifically about he had. A, uh, who said had a good time anti ganking? That would be me. Ah, is it because of the ability for him to stall like crazy with his feet, or like help me out here? I think it was mostly a combination. Cause this was a while back when I uh, like with the main example I'm thinking of. I think it was a combination of one, I have vengeful barrier on him. Two, I had hard to kill active. Well, well the people... perks obviously don't really apply in competitive yeah, settings, okay. so these guys are afraid of that. Yeah, okay, you are not using perks in here. Fair um, enough. Vengeful Barrier is good because it triggers the Revenge Shield bug, so you get... Uh, is that you even can still get a thing? Full... It is it, a still a thing, it's... unfortunately. Um, oh, damn. Uh, it's a much shorter time limit to it, um, so the Revenge Shield will stay up for... Spanny, do you have the number for me? Um, what was, was the question, sorry? Uh, the Revenge Shield, after you prompt the bug, it doesn't last as long as it used to. Uh, yeah, so the, his feet only gives you five seconds, but the um, tier. But if you have ventral barrier, um, wait a second. I just, if you have ventral barrier, it lasts 15 seconds afterwards because of the ventral shield bug. Um, Thank you. So unless I must mention for people watching right now, unless there was any shenanigans with that match counting, I imagine that match we watched counted. It's one one in the scores. No, that match they're gonna re they're gonna re they're gonna replay that one because of the DC. That one's getting replayed. Okay, so that yeah. is not one nil. No, no, it's uh, it's so it's one nil currently. Uh, yeah. they are or it's not one one. My bad. It's brain, not one one. Yes. Uh, brain no worky. Yeah. I. Do you guys think that the option select removals or the adjustments uh, even touch Yorm at all? Does he benefit at all with that? I mean, he definitely will. I but never option select anyway, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's not that to the. <laughs> uh, yes, they will help him considerably because he has fairly easy access to his unblockable finishers, but it's just going to be that. It's just going to be his unblockable finishers, and they are quite easy to interrupt. So, comparatively, he is still going to be weak. He's still not got dodge attacks. He hasn't got an option. He himself has lost an option to um, beat Faint to Garbreak and the an attack being released. So, his defense has gone down, and he has no dodge attack to compensate for that. Um, so whilst his offense has got better, his defense has got worse considerably. And he's one of the few characters that don't have a dodge attack anymore. Doesn't it? And yeah, so it will help him, but kind of not as much. Public service announcement for Yorm, because I see this way too much. Um, if you are going to land a unblockable heavy and it wall splash, you always get a top heavy. Pro tip. Oh, yeah. that's good to know, actually. I wasn't aware of that. Pretty much, actually, pretty much if you throw, if you, I think you, if you throw as well, you always get a top heavy. Yes, uh, unless they're like super close by, um, in which case you don't, I think, unfortunately. No, no, had... they, they delayed the, they delayed the um, oh, hit reaction. reaction. Yeah, oh, nice. it's been, it's been a bit ago, but it's, it's something that I still see so many people, they'll throw a side heavy and it just, it drives me nuts. I'm like, I understand that. It's Yorm, and you, you maybe you're you're just not thinking you're going to land it. It's, you know, due to range or whatnot. Because the, the hit reaction, you can visibly see, they'll hit the wall, and then they won't actually stagger until, you know, a moment later. And you think, oh, well, maybe I won't get that. All right. So it looks like we're going to have a little bit of time until next match. Yeah, so I'm, just yeah, I'm not seeing an eye immediately. Team that might be uh, dropping out. Oh, uh, teams dropping. Oh. Potentially, what? there's there's been a some of someone's players, uh, one player's. Huh, okay, yeah, that's that's bad. Okay, his roof has internet caved issues. In. His roof has oh. caved in. Yeah, he had a power a water leak, and his roof has his room. Well, caved that in, would so. be an issue, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, that's not great. Hopefully, they're okay. Yikes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so hopefully they're all right. We wish them all the best. I've been there. You've you've had your roof cave in? Uh, not the entirety of it, but a good portion of it, yes. 
I would certainly hope that would result in, in a dropout, just because I don't want the guy whose roof just caved in to... Uh, I don't want his first priority to be getting on For Honor after that. Although that would what be... What do you mean? It should be his number one priority. Gotta be committed. I dedication. Mean, What's your mind. dedication, gaming? That, <laughs> you've I mean, got already to fell down, I mean... You've got to say, that's one hell of an excuse for not having a quick reaction time. You know, that classic measuring metric of the Ferrano community. My, oh, my reaction time wasn't very fast. Like, are you not good? No, there was water raining on my head. <laughs> well, okay, no, so no, that, no, sorry, you got an eye I, there just, from... Like, there's just debris falling from my ceiling after it got freaking smashed. You got an eye there from Lucidus, so that oh, is Dewey. one team... Yep, so that's another one you can you can watch. Uh, which bracket is this? Oh, which? Uh, it will be... Um, let me check the brackets. It will be... Uh, I think it's Bottom Mashers versus Last, Plas Last Place Gaming. I'm going to double check. It is! Oh! Well, I remember the name. Great. So... Yep, it's Bottom Mashers versus Last Place Gaming. So this is... We're a, jumping. Uh, All right. The C18. Uh, we have Normie's team yeah, on C18. With the Pink Warlord. Uh, yes, we are on C18. And uh, uh, this is a, it's a Ac Academicans team um, with the grey Shigoki Fogos over there. Right. Unfortunately, it's going to be True Talent is going to have to drop out because Verlox's roof has caved in. But apparently he's fine. Okay, so, good. That's the important uh, bit. That's the important Best bit. Best wishes really, yeah. to him. Mm. Yeah. Um, I will guess... How do I got to say that is probably the best excuse for dropping out of a tournament I have heard to this day. Yeah, it's uh, pretty... I mean, I guess good, but also you, you, you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Um, FYI, we don't know exactly what point in the bracket this is unless they've selected High Fort of all places to be their first map. So this uh, could be like 1-1, one, one, one this nil. Is their, this is their second map. This is second. So, so who won the first? They have uh, not reported it. So. Okay. We're just get, we're, we'll wait. We'll, it's going to be a fun mystery. Yes. This is good. So this this being... I mean, they got to have some mystery. The <laughs> idea was that, um, like... Be, the coach is around so they can help with things but there's going to be a little bit of a it's always going to be a little bit of confusion with these with players who are new to tournaments and new to playing competitively um hopefully the the uh coach will sort things out but yes we haven't got a score report of this first one. Oh, is he going to go off no so you can see here this is a very strong oh yeah, uh, yeah the, there the we go so, as you can see the wall of crashing charge has super armor um, which le meant that even though his friend Piggy was there to peel for him, he could not interrupt that that crash, that crashing charge, and that gives the C point to Normie's team. So in this map, C point is the most important because because it's the very fast rotations to mid. Um, We've got another 2v2 going on. Two things related mid. to chat real quick, though. First of all, shout out to Fish McGlass showing up when someone gets ledged by Warlord on High Fort. That's, <laughs> that's serendipitous. Second of all, thank you, Selkie for telling me that Button Mashers won the first round. I'll update the bracket oh, on screen. Oh, thank you very much. Looks like we got a little bit good of a shenanigans. Time. Although, actually, here's a good point to mention. If people are somewhat new coming back in it's probably a bit strange to see Zhan Hu of all people in competitive but Zhan Hu had a rework recently and is kind of fantastic now like straight up to dodge cancel out of more recovery makes Zhan him a lot more effective in team fights no go we might be able to see some examples of that here akal's unfortunately quite low on stamina and the health so Alcal gonna have to probably take the safer option, although his enemies are being slowly but surely murdered. Yeah, double Jean Hu. Yeah, Alcal versus. Jean Hu, you'll see a lot of Jean Hu's in team in comps. A lot of teams are running them. He's got fantastic peel with an dodgeable zone attack, and he's got um, a great damage on block walls. Now that's a very oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, wall doing ward things. Two people ledged on C. Jump into the ball pit. Yeah. Uh, this is only because Fish McGlass has showed up in chat. The patron saint of legend with Warlord. I guess that's why they picked... Oh, oh! <laughs> and is he gonna... Oh, that was a No, he slow. missed the punish, though, but that guard break was a bad call. Tried to catch a feint on prediction and did not pay off him. So here, really, the play for this wall is to get out of there. Um, that's assuming you can. 
he can, yeah. I mean, he did have an opportunity then, but it is hard hey! to get to. Oh, yeah, no! Nice. What a prediction there! Nice. Wow, that's crazy. Get that point right, no, can, the... you, can you deal with the Shigoki then? No, no he will not. No, deal, that, doing that is suicide. It will just give you feed. Uh, he made a very good play there to not feed Defender Renown to the Shigoki and help him unlock his feats faster. So that was a good call out there. Um, whoever's making the call on their team. Lucidus scanning. Aww. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, you hate to see it. Okay. It doesn't have. No, what's that song? When you try so hard and you don't succeed. That's what it is when you, when you land the knockdown punish when you're outside. Is that like Coldplay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I will try to. Pin I would you. play it on stream, but unfortunately, I don't <laughs> want this channel getting DMCA'd. No, no, not we're, we're not big enough to get DMCA'd. Or we're not big enough to deal with DMCA's. Unfortunately. Um, I think we'll get in trouble. Real. All right, so. The state of the bracket so far. Most of the round two matches, or I guess the first round, sort of, have finished. Um, I will be having to DC, DQ True Talent because of the... I'm not sure I can change that. Oops. Meanwhile, though, while bracket stuff is going on, Angelia sitting on the renown, on the revenge, rather, not the renown. That's a good choice if you can actually get yourself in this position, because you're basically holding a joker up your sleeve the whole time. If anyone touches you in a particularly bad way, you pop for revenge, and all of a sudden you, you and any friends nearby have a free ground punish. Although, that would have been a great time to use it against the Zhan Hu. No timing just yet. You can't hold it this... Yeah, that's not a Here great timing. Like, okay, oh, actually, are we going to go for oh, the fire yeah, hacking? Fire, fire hacking? Oh, Very he nice. got fire, but... Oh, Firefox, you don't want this. Oh, okay, we're just going in Firefox. All right. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Oh, still, still oh they yet. both die. So the, so the, uh, <laughs> the Zhan who didn't, didn't have Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter would have saved he's his ass. Still getting after. res, though. Uh, he's getting the res, which is, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it's necessarily the best place to use the res there, because he's not got a place to heal. Uh, it might have been better to respawn. Um, but it does give the Warlords the more renown. Rest, uh. Yes, the Warlord gets some renown, which is nice. Uh, not very good at recognizing people's voices yet, so I'm sorry if I. Say okay. Yes at th at this point, basically, you and I are MCing Spaniel, and we have like 67 other people on commentary duty. It's actually it's quite that nice. That many, wow. <laughs> well, not 67, but close enough. If anything, we could just take a break. This is nice. <laughs> Depending on how many of those 67 people are muted. True. Oh yeah, there is a lot of people muted actually. Hmm. Well, that that's, that's good. How many of them? How many of them know their stuff? That's the other question. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, it's, it's, as far as I'm aware, it's a little bit like me and maybe one or two other people occasionally chiming in. Yeah. yeah um, many got... of us are uh, uncomfortable or just don't know what's going on. That's fine. If you don't, if you feel like you don't know, that's okay. You can just watch and enjoy. And if you have a question, you can always ask. Yep. Um, scent making good play there, getting out of range of the. Is he gonna? Oh, he's so he's trying. He, he after. Oh beat. no! After making that effort to get out of there, he ended up. Going back in and feeding, which is not ideal. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, that, that wasn't that that like the, the one second defense debuff from the chilling stare too. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I guess he did well. I didn't see that, but so here he's gonna get looking quite close. So these, so who, which team do we say was the the one who won the first one? Button mashes. I was told button in chat. Button right? mashes. Button mashes. The button yeah. mashes is on blue. I yes, think. Yes, button mashes is blue. All right, so this is uh, orange is one to 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 take. Oh, oh. That should be a scent gank. There we go. Nice, nice Don't done. even need it. You got the haymaker. Yeah, we needed to confirm that. So that was good guard break scent for the jab, but you don't see. I probably would have heavy to see that. That's another good guard break in getting landing. Oh no, the recovery. wall! Wait, what? What? He hello? Why didn't he fall down? Uh, the warlord came and interrupted him with the crashing charge. I think just before he landed. Um, yeah, that was that was a fully charged punch. That you should have fell over. I'm thoroughly confused. I, don't, I think what happened was the crashing charge. Um, he staggered the John who out of falling down. I think. Ah, we're back in the oh, fire. Ah, and Angelia is getting uh, fire fucked himself as well. Sorry, I should probably not use that language, but that is how we, that's it's, what we refer to it as. Mm. Oh, it's, great it's peel from the Kensei. Then did you see the Kensei taking care of the? Uh, Angelia would have been dead, mm. but the Kensei did a really good the GB. heal then and interrupted the GB punish. Then I probably would have thrown him, but the, this is again, Scent is not the best anti ganker, but they have managed to pull it back. They've got both side points, which is a really bad position to be in uh, as the end for the for the orange because they now have nowhere to heal. Um, yeah. You can see Miss Piggy, I think, going over to 
try and cap A, which is left unguarded, so he should get a free back cap. Um, or free cap even. The Blues are, have somewhat donated that point to him. Um, which is not a good time to donate as well, because we got, we're got we so close to breaking now. That's going to be revenge tags if you're not careful. One this touch. is why the ward, the ward is being very careful not to, to yeah. feed revenge, because he's got the Goki, he's got full health, he's clearly capable of taking him down, especially if he's got Longbow, I think. Um, maybe he'll let... There we go, he lets Revenge oh. expire and then come in with the peel. Nice play from that Warlord. Uh, Very uh, good. That slightly angered me to watch it, but it was good. <laughs> Pogo's going over there. Himself out of stamina. Um, like, trying to rotate back to C, which is also being contested. So they've gone around here. They, Blue have been hyper-focusing on getting kills and have dropped the te dropped their points, their capture zones, which is really not a good... Uh, Mm. Their coach will be having a words with with them um, because they were in a very strong position early on, and they now are. Well, A is unprotected as well, actually, so they might just get another free back cap. Yeah, I think they're going to unbreak from that unless they get somebody going up to A to fix it. Let me just check. Nordrath, one sure v two. He does have Chilling Stare to back him up, which is nice. Doing a Using Swift Strike in the basically the correct way. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a Swift Strike. That's a what bow. Was that, that was a, a longbow for... It was a guard break for longbow. <laughs> and I think another longbow just missed that yeah. Janhu. So we've got Dropping another longbow. two longbows coming out That here. was from Fogos, I believe, who we just saw drop. Yeah. Uh, and then Down to Janhu two versus Janhu. Nice Janhu onesie. Well, the hitbox on that unblock was much better now. It's nice to see. Uh, see oh. Blue have managed to bring it back, so they've gone to go yeah, get. Yeah, close match. Not for how long? Oh, Fire Flask comes out very well. Very well placed Fire Flask there from that from the Blue Warlord. So map Training awareness was really, uh, really big, uh, really big play here from um, the defender. Oh, I didn't quite get the. Jean, who was like nearly out, away. that might have killed him. I mean, where's the uh, Kensei during all this? Uh, let's Kensei, find I out. Think... In mid. Oh, I see. In mid being scent gang. Fighting two of them. And doing a good job of avoiding the scent gang. So the well disadvantage of scent and Shugo is they don't have the best mobility as ganking partners. So if you're a character with a lot of mobility like Kensei, you can you can space your space them out and use dodge attacks to... And the scent there has been feeding yeah, revenge. revenge so. But I don't think the Kensei is going to... without mobility, they can't... Oh, oh, oh. I don't think... Uh, there we go. Oh. One of the biggest opportunities there was they had second wind the entire time, and while you have yeah, revenge, I, I noticed that. To pop that. Didn't even pop that when they went to revenge, which was interesting. But good stall nonetheless. So well, it's just there's just like coaching going on here. We are spectating and commentating, and there's some coaching going on from. Who's the players there uh, you're coaching? Uh, well, this is the tournament, so we're not. Coaching them. We coaching are. is over. Now we see the, the fruits of their labor. Yeah, the fruits of their labor. This is a uh, Normie's team who are who have just lost to the blue team, which is uh, academic. And team. But it was a very close run thing. The bus from all things matches. considered, that world held out for longer than I expected. They do a good the job then. Win. Props to that at least. Two nil button but mashes. The brackets indeed. Um, but we'll see how, how are these guys doing, because they should be... Was that an illegal execute? Oh yeah, that's a fair point. Are, are the event battle uh, That was an illegal execute, that, yes, but it yes. was the last but game I mean, of the game. It was last of the game, but it shouldn't be. It should really be. I'm pretty sure it's it should be, an exception if it's the less uh, person. It should shoot. be changed in between matches now, uh, and unequipped. Yeah, they should change it, but... Um, but I always that, forget there's no like, reason to call somebody on that. Yeah, we're not... I, no, I always forget the, like, events. Or time or time limited executions are banned. <laughs> yeah, no reason to penalize, but it should be changed. Yep. Um, so I will. Wait, them, isn't uh, there like a, a way to disable event? I uh, event. Doesn't ev it doesn't ev disable event cosmetics, yeah. just event um, stuff like you know the maps. So we should I have minion cosmetics right. yeah. team like versus custom. Kyle's team now. So this will be a big match. Um, it's oh. going to be. The Hammer Slam Gaming against uh, these guys have been uh, shit talking each other for for weeks about whose team is going to be the supreme one. Oh, so 
Spice. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's stakes. There's personal there's, there's, stakes here. It's all personal. Time. It's Raw Forge versus Hammer Slam Gaming. C26. All right, I'll um, my brackets. And... Round three, still best of three. We're about to see the conclusion of an arc take place it is, live. It is important that Forge is not a viable map, or this would be amazing. <laughs> Forge no. is not in the rotation. So <laughs> they, are not playing. Is, they will be playing Temple, Overwatch, and the tiebreaker will be Harbor. Forge being a oh. poor map at the, the moment. The Ledgemeister is... there, we, do you see that? Is it? Oh, is, is, is that uh, him? Okay. Yep, that's him. They are playing, I guess, now. All right, I'll get awesome. This is uh, the grudge match. Hey, a quick question about uh, team comp. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it better to have two team fighters instead of dedicated ganker? I mean, you can have team, two team fighters and a dedicated ganker. Most teams tend to be running a dedicated ganker, but like nowadays, the meta is switching away from having dedicated ganker towards more team fight based characters because they do so much damage. Um, there's so many good team fight characters. So Goki, Janhu, JJ, and Warlord, I think, is a comp that some people some players are some teams are running because you can't go without a warlord because he's got crashing charge um you can't go without a goki because goki is a monster um and jj and jan who do such big damage in such and are so good in team fights that they really are um you can kind of go without a game sudden through. realization that we have seen no assassins yet that's seen, we have that's also a, a likely not seen a jj we haven't seen a jj yet um, no jj's as well yeah yeah, because in the last game, I saw that um, the team had a Shugo, a Warlord, a Kensei, and a Zanhu, and I didn't see, like, the dedicated ganker, like, uh, Scent or... Um, one team Hattier. did have a sense. The on the other team, the yeah, team the other team. The right, besides, uh, one had a Kensei, one had a Scent. Mm -hmm. So at All least right. one of them had that, I guess. Yeah. Let's check some Take it over, Verb, because I've got to check some breath. Oh, good. Stuff. No problem. I'll MC us keep going. Kyle and chat already smack talking. We have a yawn. We are inevitable. Well, you've at least got a Norgoz on side. You know, that's a benefit there, at least. Biased commentary is always nice. Although, we are going to be starting off with a fight here over on C point. Is that going to be a vacuum? No. I'm so scared of that ledge vacuuming. I've seen it so many times in so many tournaments. People just get sucked in into that ledge on C. It's horrendous, I tell you. It's a very hungry lake. Mm -mm. There's a lot of corpses in there. Almost as many uh, bodies as Shinobi's buried so on this like map. Old... Uh, honestly, there's like a there has to be some sort of like old Japanese legend about that specific hole. Probably. If yeah, not, there needs to be some sort of lore for it. That's a map wipe. That's a complete map control for Raw Forge oh, oh. right off the bat. Oh, they cleared wow. mid two. Wow. So that's uh. Yeah, yeah. And then there I goes just... uh, there goes one of them to just go and quickly cap A. Exactly. And this is a perfect opportunity to go and cap A. Of course. Mm. Very clean start for them. Yeah, I think we should probably quickly explain in like broad terms. We know basically at the back of our hands, but why is C so much better than A on Temple Garden specifically? Because, because of, of the fast rotation. Isn't it technically closer? Yep. The reason it's is it's much easier to rotate. You don't have to go through like correct fifteen flights of stairs to get down to Minion Lake. <laughs> yep, that is exactly the reason. Um, and it's also you can get Defender Renown. Um, Obviously, I've both about Defender around being such an important bonus, but you can actually get it with... Well, that was a free guard break in for that uh, Goki there. If you choose to get actually, it. So you can get a Defender Renown on some ledges here using Warlord. So normally you don't get a Defender Renown if you ledge an opponent because they... Um, because they, they die after they fall off the point. But um, on this point, by the Defender's entrance, you can actually get a Defender Renown by hitting them off um, that ledge, because the, the ledge is so short. Um, so that can be another benefit at this point, especially with yeah. warlords on the map. So easy to set up ledges here. So, so blue... Been up there the entire time? They had a very strong start in terms of winning their fights, but they have now lost the map advantage, in my opinion, because C is so much more important. And by the looks of it, they're going to lose mid more. as well. That was a good... Do you see there the guard break to confirm the unblockable from the from the Black Prior? Well played there. That's, they've been they must have practiced that. Um, now this is not good for the war, for the like he's pot revenge early, so he probably won't be able to do too much with it. Um, yeah. He likes that top unblockable. Going for the that is a good move there. Going for the back, but, but look how fast Goki has. That's another reason why Goki is so so strong in the metal moment is he has those extremely fast rotations and he can go and quickly contest. 
Um, and Shigoki being fast. Haven't seen that since season one. Hmm. I'm getting bad memories of commentating Pete Moose Cypher PK on Cathedral. <laughs> everyone remember when the time when Shugoki would knock you down for rushing you? Please, no, I had to commentate yep. those tournaments. I don't <laughs> want to remember those. God, I'm having PTSD. That sounds mm. the worst. Something something uh, hero series. <laughs> so blue team are... So remember actually... when you could just, like, guard break someone with Shigoki's throw farther and, like, max throw distance stat and just... Oh, them across the entire map. Now, well, luckily, we didn't have revenge. We didn't have gear stats on the tournaments then either. So thank uh, heavens. He gets a kill yes, under, uh, and oh, that yeah, should be a. So that was not a well executed sent gang there, because that should have been that warlord should have been dead. Um, but he did get the bounty hunter pop to get his health back. Yes, and here, the blue team. There we go. Setting up bash for. Boom. They're absolutely Ooh. perfectly executed. Well done there. there so is. Not that they, they, they managed to not. execute it. And so you see the... the oh, actually, no, they got Defender and Amber, because it's not their point yet. But mm. the center's already got tipped. So see Jormung under that. He got an attack that... He did an attack, put himself and in recovery. And they did another very well executed scent gank. But to Jormung... Put the Jormung revenge, and I think that's the scent dead. Yep. Oh, 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 that he punishes... You don't, don't get, you don't want to get hit by that. Did that uh, and Stamut might be right back up for that John Hill. Yeah, he could have just thrown it rather than the. Uh, um, so, I, I don't think the Scent needs to go for the. It will go for the revival and Scent because it's you know not a good place to be. No way neutral, the neutral be, hug. Who said it doesn't land? That that was really strange. So the the or, okay, what happened there is the orange warlord hit the opponent bef the blue wall before demon ball came out and then that in interrupted demon ball from throwing but otherwise he would have been in long ass recovery and, and be dead nice oh. guard break on was there, that shigoki trying to option or was it like a prediction no that was a prediction guard break if you option guard break options like you wouldn't hit it early enough so we're going to have to see another we're going to see another sent janhu gank i mean i think janhu could probably be using his um Bow, but I guess he didn't need to. Still holding on. Well, so I am impressed with they've been fighting on the enemy enemy the own this point. The John Hu team over here is just unbeatable. They've been doing very well to get their game, and they finally take the point. But look how long! Oh no, they haven't. They it's, oh, they're still so even the, though Shigoki, even the though the they haven't taken the point, they are still not going to be getting as much renown as they could be doing because. Uh, they aren't defending this point. They're still on the. Uh oh, Goki's dead. Does it matter though? I mean, what? look at the renown lead they have from A. <laughs> That's not renown. None of them have bothered to go and cap it. He's oh, it. Well, everybody is in the now. That is. How many is that down there in the water? Four. I think that was three down there in the water just then. Oh my god. Three or four, jeez. But they still didn't take C because the Black Friar got to it so quickly. I'm not sure if that was the play though because hyper focusing C is, ba is you're right, is basically yeah, let them no, just have A the, the entire match. Try and cap A the entire match. Yeah, um, and I mean, A is definitely not as good as C, but you, you don't, you want to have A points. They've still been like getting points from it the entire time they've been testing C. Yes. Yeah. Which seems to have given them quite the lead. I mean, it's in a way they're, they're right. They didn't want to lose their their capture point, which you know, and that's sensible. But they also could have sent one person off to go and grab A. So they could have done because otherwise, yeah, they have a massive score um, advantage at the moment. Mm. Saw a scorching deluge on one of the Jean Hu's earlier. I'm not quite sure how uh, how useful that'll be on this map, particularly. I mean, it's usable. Um, uh, basically, can... why did a black pride just, didn't just heavy him? He, he, that, uh... he had a kill right there, but he just decided to throw him. I didn't see. Um... The black pride, the warlord, he well... had him guard break and the warlord had low HP. He could have just heavied him and killed him, but he decided to throw for some reason. Uh, sometimes he will just. Um... The common garden variety think. misplay. Like, sometimes people just yeah. smooth brain things. I know I do that all the time. I real I realize now that I think Blue is taking advantage of the uh, A situation because there's at least one person boosting it. Oh yeah, hang on, let me look. Uh, take the wide shot for a sec. Yeah, Loot Whisper is just vibing all the way on A, and I mean, has he been? He hasn't been there the whole time. He's just gone no, up there now. The What's his score? Time, but like 441 renown and climbing. And he only had four kills. He's at least been there for a while, and none of them have bothered to try and contest that. 
Oh, this was a steamroll. And when you don't want to run into a 1v1, a Goki with, with Juggernaut on his own point, that's just feeding. So it doesn't make sense, but... It's clear they've been doing so well, they didn't really need... Is that, uh... Is that, Did they... they didn't need... He didn't need the, the Goki down to come and help on, on C. He's got his tier 4, tier 4's come out on the Goki, he's not down... That's an insta-kill gank there. Oh, they surprisingly didn't. Well, they're not an insta-kill gank. Should have been an insta-kill gank. Big unblockable out there. If you're going for a long XC in the minions, I'm sorry that's not working. No. Stop it. Ooh, that was nice. Rushing counter. Very nice. Clean. And good play from Ledgemeister coming up here. They needed that. Um, What's going on yeah, over on the really other Let's have a gander. Monster going down. Ganked, oh, but... Nice. <laughs> What's the misplay? Right. That's what? hammer, and I think that's one down yeah, with that. From no, that one. Yeah, Pryor died from that. I, no, I, don't, I mean, oh, yeah. did he kill his teammate as well? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, no. oh wait. Oh. Uh, very good use <laughs> of the bash there. Unfortunately, they weren't dodging it, but that was a. Uh, that's one of the that's one of the uh, nicer bashes in the game when he actually does land. It'll uh, revenge lock, and it does shed, shed a lot of stuff down. Revenge. You just don't so dodge block. So can I ask something about this map? Yeah. Hmm? Okay, so I know there's a couple of competitive uh, only maps, like uh, maps that are only used in competitive scenes. Yeah. Well, Which they're not. They? They're not competitive. They're, 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 all maps are used in matchmaking. The, these are the I ones that are on the like rotation. Only what I meant. Maps are only, right? Yeah. What I meant. Hmm. Yeah. Like the competitive, like what maps are legal in tournaments and stuff. Yes. Because I, because I know some maps are so horrendously one-sided. One well, it's more they're just horrible to play on. So, these guys are on there. So, yes, the map pool is Temple, Citadel, Sanctuary Bridge, Harbor, um, Beachhead, and one more, which is escaping me now. Um, you know, Verb, Verb, you know it? Overwatch, yeah, there we go. Oh, there you are, beat me to it. Listen, I'm not in numbers. All right, so I'm getting some mess. Was the, were there exception, uh, were there exceptions? Uh, I would say exceptions. Like, were the times in competitive scenes they use the other maps? There's not. There, no, there, there wasn't too many times where don't. there were other maps introduced. Oh, Very early on, there were some experiments. And back in the day when Brawl tournaments were a lot more common, uh, you saw maps like Cathedral and and forest but you don't really see them anymore things have standardized a lot these days in terms of map pool uh, they're surrounding them another thing that uh, i want i'm interested in is in terms of dual dual competitives i presume these are basically not in existence because the yeah. game is not balance toward them it's that and four versus four is a lot more exciting to both watch commentate and officiate well, it's it, well well, I mean, there's more strategies in yeah. the 4v4s. In terms of 1v1, it's a, a lot of times just a staring contest. Yeah, I I get that vibe. Like, that definitely... I remember a couple tournaments I've tried to commentate where I've had to get pretty creative with uh, the different ways to say this person bashed the other person. <laughs> I had to pull oh, out a thesaurus hey, a couple hey, times. Ah, hey, 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 no. uh, yes, this person just, person just knocked on his noggins. <laughs> Big showdown across the bridge. Which team? Uh, one team's gonna have to make the move. Early dodge. Well, the blue team will be going in there. They have, Here we go. They have to stall. They have to they stall. They have to go in before they get into breaking two. Yeah. Then we'll be in. We'll they have to. Either. They have to stall. But would that even happen uh, before the timer, the timer runs out? Up. That is true. They Although would they, get they their points boosted. They probably would have. And, they, and the timer would reset to four minutes again. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, Fury uh, Flash comes Fury out. Flash. Those guys are dead. Yorm and Yorm's gotta be dead. Oh, if that oh, works! What the? <laughs> oh, two yeah. down. Well, both of the rest are very oh, low. Wow! And down. There Everyone's down. Fury wow! Flash this is why I hit the wall. Fury Flash scratching charge. That this is insane. God damn! Well, that's why Warlord is a mandatory pick. Um, very quick. Everybody is right running right. Warlord for good reason. I I got another question about the map. Mm -hmm. Um, like, is there is there a consensus on which map is like currently the one that needs the most work in order to be competitive viable? And if so, why is it Sentinel? I'm gonna. <laughs> why is it Sentinel? <laughs> I was gonna it, honestly. Ah, oh, <laughs> that works too. Oh, okay. Which map did you say they were getting to do next? 
If we could hope uh, the next one's Sentinel, that was the gag. Sorry. That was the joke they were making. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no which one was I, confirmed for their next match earlier? Yeah. Oh, is there a confirmed one? Well, I figure, I'm pretty sure someone I said something think... about a second match and a tiebreaker map. Okay, I think I think two topics are crossing over here right now. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Let's get back on track for a moment here. A little bit of a PSA. How's the Discord stream looking and how is the Twitch stream looking? Because I am uh, I saw someone in chat in Twitch chat say this stream was lagging slightly. It's the Discord fun. stream for, on my end looks fine. It's been a Same little here. it's been a little pixely sometimes and I couldn't read the names of the players, but for the most part, it's been fine. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna Discord to... stream is smooth, just low res. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice. Local recording, I'm taking you behind the shed and shooting you. Goodbye. No. Uh, we can. Uh, yeah, I need to. Like yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm taking we'll the local recording the behind the shed. Yeah, like I, I want the live experience to be good, so we'll use the Twitch vod. Uh, all good, but things should clear up a little bit. That is some CPU space or and GPU space cleared up. So hopefully things are a little nicer going into map number two and have the team switch sides. Of course they bloody have. Let me switch the overlay. One I find mil. it interesting they don't really have much uh, high reps. Well, they're all new yeah, players, aren't they? A, That's a coach and student this, tournament. This a, yeah, these are guys that are being coached, so they either A, aren't really experienced in competitive, or B, aren't really experienced in the game in general, right? Yeah. I thought, oh, I thought this is like a... Uh, this, these aren't like super high-level professional players. Yeah, this is no, a coach and student right. tournament. This is literally semi-pros and pros coaching new players or people who are just wanting to get into the scene. It's in the announcements. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Well, um, I'm dumb. No, you're you not dumb. It's all right. More of these? We all are. Don't we, worry about you it. You don't necessarily right. always see the at experience. everyone. Yeah, this is learning for everyone. Never feel dumb. Right. Every once in a while, you come across someone you don't now. know. It's just natural. <laughs> Only feel dumb when I hit you with with my Goki hug for the fifth time in a row in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel uh, dumb then. Do you guys plan on doing more of these? Hopefully. Well, there's a round two of this tournament in August, um, okay. after the Dominion Series qualifiers have happened, and we will see how the teams have improved and changed. In another, they have, they have another month to a month and a bit to practice and play together. Hopefully, some of them will play in the Dominion Series as well, and then they'll have more practice against very good teams um, and then we will see we'll have a, we'll have a redo of this uh, basically and we'll see who if the results are different if the teams that are doing well have got doing even better if the we'll see who's improved the most it should be fun so yes then there'll be another one and then if we do other coaching student tournaments in the future we may well do those as well so um, Okay, so I'm just seeing here the Warlord uh, could have uh, guard break him into a wall to deal stamina damage and put him out. Mm. But he didn't do that, he just kept bopping him with a heavy. I mean, he's still confirmed even on a wall slide. But the stamina when Warlords knock someone is quite high. Yep, you can actually 80 stamina damage on a throw to a wall. Ridiculous. Um... Do you think it should be reduced? Yes, 100%. Um, I need to... Sorry, I need to... Uh, Admin is uh, by 100%? No stamina damage? Really? Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, well, 20 stamina damage, because that's the, the standard for pros, but, like, it should not do 80 stamina damage yeah. on, a, on a wall's blood. Nice flip there. Nice oh, he got, he got cut by the wall and Moist rolled out of the way, so that was nice. Um, we had Aramusha on the, on Monty oh, Bucks. Yeah, it's nice to see Aramusha. Yeah, I was gonna mention Aramusha. Aramusha is Aramusha actually pick. a viable pick nowadays. Variety. Um, yeah, he's definitely a viable pick. He's got unreactable offense that's unreactable even to the very best players in the game who can react to hard bashes. Um, I don't think I've safety. seen Aramusha pick since pre-CCU. Hmm. Well, yeah, you won't see him, but he's especially, just had a rework. Since, I mean, his recent rework has made him a bit more viable, so... No, it's made him very viable. Much like, more oh, viable. viable. Much, oh, much yeah, more it, viable. Yeah, like, I teams are, play, teams are the playing him. No, 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 Alright, let me just um. Uh, Discord, yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. So, yeah, yeah Slew Whisperer, a, low HP. Let's uh, see if he can get something done in the meantime. I think there's two discreet one versus ones happening on this point. Commentator's Curse, make that a 1v2. That's about to start happening. <laughs> well. Rico, Roger Egress, second name in question. Let's see if he can get something <laughs> oh, done. I don't see how he goes back to 2v2. 2v2? Or. 
Two 1v1s? No, uh, two v 2 two two Actual 2v2. Two two. Um, well, yeah, and then the Warlord activated Juggernaut. Jug Warlord got Juggernaut off, which is a good use of Juggernaut in a, in a team fight. Basically means that he is the... Tanky boy! Literally a Juggernaut! Damaged. It's, it's, it's very dangerous to try to attack a Juggernaut player, because it can yep, trade easily. Get, yep, and you get garbage on anybody but himself. Is three now? Nice target. I got another question. And, okay. The you saw that the black pro. He's about to get jumped at B. Uh, As you were saying. Wall uh, weapon bounce on walls. It seems. Uh, you saw that black pro who did that flip and then suddenly was stopped because of a wall. Do you think, guys? What's your opinion on uh, weapon wall bounce? Yeah, hate it and it's awful and it should go. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to keep. Yeah, I don't... The thing is, I'm curious, if they were to remove it, would it basically lead to... Uh, how's it? Clipping through walls attacking? Oh, like I mean, ghost that already attacks. happens on some. Yeah. Ghost attacking through walls. That's ah. what I meant. If they were to remove the wall bounds. Hello! Oh, that was butt. bad. That was... Uh... Guaranteed. Generally, a lot of walls that we see bounce are already. How is he not dead? How is he not dead? There we go. Jesus. That was. I mean, like, so that is the kind of thing that actually is costing them a lot because they not. They didn't lose that fight, but it cost them a lot of time. And time in this game is points. You know, they they the faster they the faster they kill him, the faster they can get down to mid, the faster they can clear mid again, the faster they can contest C, which they need to do. Slightly annoyed that warlord back throw the Shugo off the cliff there. Yeah, that totally was possible. Well, it was totally possible he could have done that. I mean, he would have died for it because if the other guy had even been awake. Anyway, so. Yeah, well, yeah, he you know his in, he really but should again, have been killed during I mean, that I throw. Not like he really had much way of knowing. That. Uh, he he put if he's doing a throw, he's putting himself in recovery, and he's gonna get hit by the whoever. Still like side through the Shugo, I think. So. And he was out of stamina. Now it's down to a three v one. Well, he had one health, so he couldn't have. He, if he the, the other guy had just had a light attack him, and then nice black prior shield nice. buff, but it didn't did not save him Jeez, from that no. out of lock punish. Um, Jumping back so throw while we have some peace and quiet. To answer the question posed earlier, ide in the ideal scenario, we'd like either all attacks to be able to go through walls or none of them. Because right now it's a bit inconsistent. Some walls, it's like a jail cell and nothing can touch it at all. Others are like they don't even exist and it feels like it's completely at random. So we'd like one or the other consistently, I think is the I mean, I think I'd like it so that, that, so that nothing goes through walls unless you're literally, well, I guess, yeah, if you're literally directly facing the wall and it's right in front of you, then maybe it should bounce off walls, but even then, I think nothing like maybe... getting a Nusha trap bounce off the wall that's, like, on the other side of you and on the other side of the trap landing, it's really ridiculous. Maybe make it sort like, like a... missing your throw punish because your side heavy hit the wall. So, what I think probably they should do is, uh, you know there's like a hitbox with the weapons? Yes. So let's say 60 or 50% of it hits the wall, then it should probably bounce. Or make, uh, an, but make certain uh, exceptions, like Black Prize Flip, that shouldn't bounce at all. Yeah, so, so if like a certain, oh. like... Space no. All these terrible opinions. No. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, if, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Ideas. Okay, let's put a button in that topic for now, please. As the match yeah. looks like All it's right. going to be yeah. coming yeah. into yeah. an end, or at least possibly. Oh, Raw oh, Forge right. are going to be. Right. Yes, we actually. The end, or at least a climax. Yeah, but this could be a two-zero anyway, to uh... Raw Forge potentially. Wow, I don't think anyone game. actually goes to this dead. area. Yeah, it's like the first time in ages I've seen people fighting here. I barely. I forgot. I didn't even know that part of the I didn't know that they exist. <laughs> yeah, that's an area they added in there. with. Actually, they pretty much can't get out of breaking now. Mm. I mean, the only way they could do it is if mid unbreaks itself, and they manage to successfully one v two v four here, anymore. which they can do with um. Uh, with those those feats. Nice parry from that guy. Oh. is getting uh, oh, out of his tier, tier four so. four yeah. bit. They yep. have their tier four. There we go. It's, it's all over. Um, well, it's not over until it's over. He's got Fury Flask available if he doesn't save it for the next match. Um, 
He might as well go out in a bank. He's gonna get he ledged. Oh no! He's gonna get ledged. Yeah, no, he's not. Oh! Carry on for honor. Up. There we are. There we go. That is 2 0 Raw Force. 2 0 to Ro So Rohit's yeah, no, gonna be. No uh... next match to save that fire flask for them. Yeah, yeah no, no. Well, take down, he can take it down to the loser's bracket with him. Um, yeah, I'm gonna right, see if I can fair. get. I'm gonna see if I can get Rohit or Kyle in here to give us their their take. Their or their takes on it. Um, yeah, look out for all the angry keyboard mashing. <laughs> look out for the angry keyboard mashing. Is it really angry? I, I think it's Ooh, important to remember these you'll hear it on the horizon. Angry. And these are our peers, and these are people trying to get into the competitive world. I don't think that we should be too overly critical of them. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. There's like I mean, you know, this is something serious. It's we just are. Great. It's a coaching student. I wasn't talking about the players. Don't worry. I was talking about the coaches. So we're gonna have <laughs> no. The Kyle and Roy are both really cool. So um. <laughs> Yo. Yo, oh, Roy here. How's it coming? Um, congratulations on your team for beating Kyle. Yeah. Kyle's team. Kyle's team sucks. <laughs> I don't mean it in a mean way. They're probably they're good. I mean, I didn't know who was gonna win, but Kyle's just never gonna hear the end of this now because yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pinged Kyle to see if he can come and join us and give his a uh, give his side of the story. I hope he joins. I hope he does. Um, Kyle, hello. hello. Yo, what's up, loser? Hello. Whatever, dude. It's <laughs> So, what do you think your teams need to work on? Uh, I'm probably not playing with George. Yeah, imagine. that's. I mean, well, I tell you what, though, it's it's a comfort pick. So, whatever makes people feel comfortable, especially if they have trouble quickly adapting to a new character in a situation they're not familiar with. Anyway, I don't I don't mind uh, the comfort pick, but it's it's like any competitive game at any level where when you lose fights, it becomes ten times harder to make correct decisions. Like they only made one rotational mistake really in that one my team did snuck up donated c and when he did it uh just caused a massive downhill roll and the problem was they lost a couple fights after that and then decision making becomes nearly impossible i mean it's not impossible there are the right decisions to make but the more fights you lose the harder it is to have a decision that actually turns the game around uh they were close though and their spirits are high and they'll be fine so we're gonna go yeah, through and win all not, the games in the losers yet. bracket and then we're gonna beat uh, Rowett's team in the grand finals. So let's well, go, yeah. baby. <laughs> no, I don't mind the George pick, man. I mean, look, I mean, man. We all know that we all know that he's not good, right? We all know that another pick, if played properly, would be way more useful than George. But if you feel comfortable in the char and he can block better, look, he he was not the cause of that first game loss. So that's you know. It, nobody was. It was just the same thing. You just keep losing fights, and then when you lose fights, you can't be in the right spot. But no, I was proud of him. It's not like it's a super serious journey, too. So if I had like some one trick George, I probably would have just let them play. Yeah, exactly. If he one tricks George, what am I going to say? Like, oh, learn to play Scent like tomorrow. Yeah. Or, okay, man. If you don't play one of the best characters in the game, then you're fucking trolling me. And yeah. I'm going to be pissed. But I don't know. If it's a four fun tourney. Just let them have fun. And it is fun, too. I'm really excited. Yeah, I've been having fun watching. Because mm. I don't know who's winning. <laughs> no, I don't know anybody. Best part. I have no idea how this tournament's going to end. I have no idea what it's going to look like in the end, and that's what makes it even more awesome. Indeed. Yeah, it's good. And you guys played... that. Your team played well in the first, the first few matches they did. We saw a few. Um, uh, Ledgemeister definitely lived up to his name of Ledging. Um Yo, know, did you? I don't know if you guys, you guys didn't get to see it because you didn't get to spectate it because uh, you were watching another game, which was really good. I was watching that one too. But uh, Zay, man, the Black Prior, he had a play that was so insane earlier, man. You guys, it was on the replay of the other Overwatch, and uh, that, that guy went nuts. Everybody's had their moments today. Uh, Monty's played well at times and showed out. Uh, Ledge went 15 and 5 on the first map. Snucko didn't get uh, the KD credit he deserved on the first map but some of his stalls were absolutely awesome today so um yeah man i mean robert's team played great they definitely deserved to win but i'm definitely proud of my team too I, I, I really like this tournament man i think it's good for the community i think it's good to watch so all positive from my end 
I wonder if any team playing in this tournament will play in Dom Series too. If, I hope so. Yeah. That'd be cool to see. Yeah, that's, that's cool. um I really hope that as well. So yeah, I I will feel like it's been a great success if we get you know what even if one team joins the, the Dom series, I'll feel like it's done we've done a really good job with this. Well it's cool because yeah. we get to do this again in a month, right? Yeah. So these, exactly. these guys these guys get their feet wet. They understand what it's about now. It's not so fresh, you know. Two of the guys I'm playing with, they never played in a tournament before. So, you know, it's all new. They're kind of feeling out how it's going. And so now they kind of get what it is. They've been, you know, in this stressful situation where they have people watching them and stuff. And, you know, they can only just get better from it. Uh, there is somebody asking in tourney chat. And oh, they right, said I mean, one of their teammates had to go. I don't know if they have a sub on yeah, their I'm roster. Just looking not. at that. Is that... Um... Is that JK? Well, JK, I don't know who yeah. Steam they're on. Also, I don't mean to to bring up uh, admin issues here, but the first bracket of the losers hasn't been fought, so our bracket and losers is two sets behind. Yeah, they are. They were getting so we had a uh, the Aussies were being slow. I think they are now doing airs though. Um... All right. Well. A uh, little bit of a uh, more stream-related news. We have a match to watch now, I believe. Blame it on the Rippy versus Button Mashers. Good oh, luck, hi. gamers. We'll see you soon. Roger that. Thank you for your time, coaches. Yeah, thank you much for joining us. I'll yeah. let you guys go back to your your co your teams, uh, giving pep talks for the next matches. Which the tournament should be ticking along. Um, the losers bracket will move a bit faster because one team had drop out due to a uh, a roof collapse. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a sadness yeah so things will be moving along um there now what was the other Actually, dispute that i have to go to Doop -doop. okay all right let me double check and make sure this is the match that i believe it is uh loctopus i think is the target here uh unless i'm looking at completely the wrong match hang on a minute have i have i made a boo-boo no this is a 4v4 does it, can anyone recognize these players immediately from just their names? So I haven't put uh, the wrong team yep, on screen. So that is uh, Bash for Heavy versus um, two out of five. It's the losers place bracket. Oh, we're doing losers. Okay. Th is this the match that was delayed? Uh, yes. So we are now catching up with them. Okay, sure. Why not? Well, let's take a trip down to the losers bracket for a little bit. We've been following along with the winners for the majority of the tournament. So let's take a trip down to losers. And yeah, uh, double confirm this for me since I was busy doing on-stream stuff. Dem says it in the Twitch chat. Is this a cross-continental matchup? Uh, yes, it is. So we've got an Australian team versus an EU team. If they have lag issues, which is certainly possible, uh, they might have to replay on peer-to-peer. -peer. So I will see if that happens. If When that happens, if that, if that happens, when it happens. Uh, Span, can I ask I... something? Yep. Uh, so our team matched up with an NA team, and in the first game they had ping issues, so we just basically asked them, is it okay if we host an uh, EU this time? And yep. they said it's okay. Yep, is that fine. a problem? Okay. No, cool. let's go ahead. Um, if you can do you host on EU or you can host it on peer to peer, it's probably more reliable to host on peer to peer. I mean, they EU. are playing right now, and the match is almost over. So. Okay. Well, if it if it worked out fine for them, then that worked out fine. Um, it looks like we're seeing three firsts for this, um, for today. Uh, our first JJ, our first Warmonger, and our first Shaman, looks like. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I did jump in midway through the match to make sure we hadn't delayed too much since I didn't click immediately as I was sorting things out. Just to triple check, two out of five people I believe is defense and Bush for Heavy is... Uh, on the uh, is in the orange rather. I forget the UI change because so both teams aren't necessarily the same color. I'll adjust yep. to that if that's incorrect. But into the actual fight, Citadel Gate. Uh, remind me, Spaniard, is this tournament where you have to start on one map to start the tournament, or can you start on any? If so you bracket? can pick any map. Is it, we are following the same format as the Dominion series is using because okay. for consistency. And sorry, I'm hearing somebody else's voice in the background as well. There's somebody chatting with their family in the background. I think I to... We appreciate Thank socializing you, in 2021, but we do want to keep yeah. the audio as clean as we can, considering we have yeah. all of the boys in the Discord. So we have all of the all of the fellas are here. Um, chime in if you've got a question, by all means. Yes. But yeah, uh, 
ch talking in the background. I'm sorry if I get distracted, but yeah. Um, so yes, we allow map bans. The, the way it goes is we have. Oh no, the. Oh, someone's got a bad mic. Hello, who's that? Got another bad. Who's that? Uh, meet sweats, oh, my me. boy. Meet my boy. They did, and they've changed the geometry on a lot of points. This. Ah, oh, I'm meet. Mute. I'm meet. sorry, your meet. microphone is out straight out of hell. Yeah, yeah, meet. You have to um uh, go and sort that out before you um. I'll, I'll unmute you and see if that. You... That's no. okay. Okay, meet. Yeah, if you go you to the VC, sort your sort your mic out before you come back. Yeah. All right. You did uh, um, mention any questions. What role does Warmonger play here in uh, Dominion? Would it just be with her feats? I mean, uh, she is a team fighter with her feats. Essentially, she can, and she also helps facilitate ganks because she has. When your opponent is corrupted, they can't. Your their allies can't peel from them. They can't help help them unless they've got like a long range feat or something, without causing massive damage to both them and. And the, the the person they're supposed to be helping, nice recovery cancel to Sifu there. Um, so that is her role. It is but the difficulty at the moment with Warmonger, why he's dropped out of the meta a little bit, is because oh, nice, he externally parried that, mm -hmm. so he was punished from the out stamina. Um, oh. So the reason why uh, she's fallen out of the meta somewhat is because they don't have. Uh, it's so much harder to apply that that. Um, the corruption to the short duration. We have a shaman in this match. Yeah, they brought so um, they brought the tier one down from fifteen to eight, if I remember right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's just much much harder to apply that. And we're looking like orange is going to have a triple cap. The blue team here were fighting off their point, hmm. um, and basically gave the orange a free cap of their of their. Um, it's been home years since I've seen someone ledge there. <laughs> That's because there is a bad place to fight, and luckily, a it worked out for them. But yeah, they were fighting off their home point and donated it, which led to them breaking. And luckily, they have been able to pull this back, and they're going to unbreak mid and pull it back for them. But that was not good place I'm to position themselves. To say, man, a shaman here? Yeah, I was gonna yes, ask so what you don't see shaman very much in in the year of our Lord 2021. Uh, and, and I would be talking more, but my family's being a little loud in the background, so all good. It's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we don't see shaman very much anymore because her gank has is, is pales in comparison now to Centurion, Gladiator, and I mean to some extent Hitakiri's um, gank. In that it just takes so long to do damage. It feeds it feeds a lot of revenge. But the main issue is it just takes a very long time. So we you probably won't see much of it here because it takes quite a lot of coordination to pull this off in in a match. But um, you'll see a lot of like quick ganks happening um, in with with scents on on teams and stuff like that because oh that was a bad Aww. kick there. Um, one monger so, did seem to uh, get actually good use out of her tier one, but it did lead to well, that. Well, I'm not sure she did actually, because there was a l very low health other player at the back who they. So what they could have done is kept the the black prior one person instead of ganking the black prior who had full health and is tier four. They should have kept one guy on him and chased after the guy who was on low health who couldn't be peeled by the black prior because the black prior was had corruption on him. But this match has turned around very quickly. Now they're we're in double breaking. Um, Orange have to break mid, or they will not be able. To, they will not be able to unbreak themselves. Two out of five um, people in the blue bush for heavy in the orange. Oh, they yep, two. Then they have managed to break. They have managed to push mid and break mid. So now ah, didn't respawn. All right. Two. And now blue team is also permanently breaking. It's permanently breaking, but they have now give. They will now be door breaking. Uh, good play there from the orange black prior, making sure he's guarding the so they can't run out and get a free res. Like the shaman, who is very fast, was likely to want to do that. Um, but now she's not unable to get there. Don't see why they re the blue team would have to push there. I think they were a better place to just stall on their home point. Um, because another corruption coming out. That's getting a lot of damage on the orange team. Again, they can have another free gank. Black Pride doing well to put shield on, prevent the damage coming out. It um, looked like JJ was moving forward to make use of that quick revive and hopefully get a sneaky one off on their last teammate. Mm. I mean, he could have tried, but I think it would have been very difficult to do in the middle of the minions. 
Um, at least try and give it a bash. Sometimes you can get out of the way of the minions and they don't go for you. The minions in this, bless their hearts, they can be a bit uh, absent-minded sometimes. We'll put a point <laughs> <away. laughs> That is putting it lightly. Oh, unfortunately, he... well, what happens there? Well, Thanks. when you're faced with another armory of people just like you, it's kind of hard to focus. <laughs> True. That's a fair point. Yeah. Too many people. As a... I was recently watching... h needs to be a little bit wary that he doesn't get pinned. He is going to be the back. Yeah, there we are. Backers roll. Get out of shot. You get out of dodge, rather. Loopy activates the Inspire. Going to provide extra damage. However, no Most team needs to actually double get breaking. And Orange with low health overall is actually very... Well, the, again, the blue team, are, uh, they're donating the... Oh, no. They are going to contest their home point. This is actually winnable for the blue... Oh, uh, okay. I, was, I spoke too soon. Rip. Was winnable for the blue team. Uh, and now it is... Uh, yeah. GG's there. Uh, well done to the Aussies. Hopefully there is no... Right, JJ didn't go back in there to support his teammates. With yeah, so they did... They came off that home point, and I think probably wasn't a good play for them. They probably should have stayed there, carried on boosting to get their their feats, because they, they came into that fight with the feat disadvantage, and and they did eventually get to double, double break in because the other team didn't come and contest them on their home point. But they could have done a bit further, um, I think, if they'd been... They just stayed stayed on that home point. Let me have a look at the bracket. I will see. Yeah, I don't want to put a point in either team's favor because hopefully we can find out if that was a one nil or a two nil or a one one. Oh, I can check the. Um, yes, let me check the. Yeah, I think that is. All right. So they were. Yeah, I'll wait to see if another eye appears. They pick Citadel. So that was their first one. I think they are going to play on peer-to-peer. -peer okay. Because, um, they must maybe let, yeah, there was lag issues. All right, that's, that's fine. They have, they do have the right to invoke that. So looks like we're going to head to peer-to-peer. -peer, so let's see if we can get another match up and going. Well, Lucidus is playing. Mary is, Mary is if I mean, um, Prince's team from... Uh, is in the winner's bracket, I think. So Mary there with the, the bottom of the eye should be a good one to go and look at. Righto. Uh, Mary. Brackets. See which map this is. They're not launching peer-to-peer -peer with loading in. Oh, wait. No, we've been bamboozled. We actually could see the second part. Locked up a oh. switch chat. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Oh, and um, this match has a gladiator in it. Ah. Rip. Oh. Well, this is a good one. Anyway, this is the winner's semi-final on the lower half of the bracket. So it's an interesting one to see. We've got a gladiator... Uh, we've got, well, very similar pick, actually. So comps, they're just swapping out Gladiator for a Zhenhu. So we've got a full... This is the, the the comp that I was talking about beforehand here. We've got Goki, JJ, Warlord, and Zhenhu. Are basically a full team fight comp against a similar comp, but with a dedicated ganker. So we will see if Fern's team here, which I think is called Aggressive Potatoes... Wait, no. Am I Aggressive Potatoes? Uh, this is Team Killing uh, Sus versus Fingo yeah, Slayers. Insulted. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. So I got the got the names wrong. In that case, they are. Oh, this isn't actually a loser bracket. I got the team wrong. My bad. Yeah. This um, this is so... loser bracket. Which is coming along alright. Um. So we we'll see if they have practiced their ganks to make good use of that ganking pick versus a full team fight pick, okay. or if it will be. Uh, um, quick question, opinion from everyone here. We did technically jump into another match. Do you, do we want to go back and see the conclusion of that last, like, round one losers bracket or continue watching this? Yay, nay. We're already oh, here, right? So we keep going. Okay. Yeah. Might as well just continue. So a bit. I just wanted to get everyone's opinion. We can opinion. finally exist again, hopefully. <laughs> we can finally exist. Full yes, there's not, there, there is enough. There is a, enough of a lack of noise for me to probably consistently chime in for better or for worse <laughs> it is the advantage and disadvantage of having a fifth like what feels like a 50 man commentary desk there are moments where you can chill and yeah. you know just work the production but then there's other times when there's nothing happening like uh is someone else gonna take duties uh i guess i'll do it <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but we're here yeah, i'm now. always worried about to start talking and then someone else is gonna do the exact same thing and it's so they're giving away c here oh yeah so this is actually a fairly common rotation to give away C. I mean, the Russians were using it a lot in the... Oh, eating a lot of damage there. Um, a lot in the Dominion series. Nice dodge cancel to avoid yeah, the Attacker spawn uh, going to C is kind of a pain on this map. Yeah, so that's why a lot of the time the defenders donate C, um, because they go and find mid instead and come to get A. What happened there? 
Some mm. Got nudged, I think, by the uh, body of Double C. Nice dodge into roll. That was really good from the this Shigoki. Yeah, Shigoki's playing points. really well, but he's got to be careful not to put He's making recovery. good use of his wide heavies to keep John Hu off. And the enhanced lights. How long can he keep this up? They've, they've dropped revenge tanks. He's now got oh, a heal. Oh, oh, and he's managed. Well done for that. So that is really good. He really made him in play. just in yeah. time, and now it's down yes. to a 1v1. So one v one, but more importantly, you know, it didn't donate the point. So dying on that point is not giving them. Oh, the oh. zone up just let him to deflect, and oh, he didn't go for the full punish because he could have got a wall splat off that. But and that's going to be dead anyway. Nice one. The gladiator takes point nice, A. Nice job, so yeah, so you see, often see that the actually, well, at this point, the defenders have got C, but the starting off the red tend to they tend to avoid going to C because the attackers can get to C very very quickly and cap it to go all three before the defenders can get there. That means that any fight that goes on there will give defender an out to the attackers if they kill mm. anybody on that point, which is incredibly unfavorable to put yourself in. So a lot of the time then the defenders have basically stopped going towards that point because it's so unfavorable to go there and fight on uh, a place where you, can, you have a massive renown uh, potential disadvantage. So they basically stop fighting there and then go into mid instead which is what we saw here but what whether they were thinking that i'm not sure but that is why you'll see a lot of teams choosing to do that um nowadays in the mess so hey, you got a C still is... that was Sorry. a bit of a strange disengagement there yes it was a bit odd i think he decided to come back and help gank on c and now we've got all four of them here which is pretty uh, like one of them just left I mean, the Goki there is doing that is doing the right choice, getting out of dodge, not feeding Defender Renown, because all four of them were there on that point. If he had died on that point to, let's say, to a heavy or a... Well, actually, they're all heavies or hybrids. He would have given 20 yeah. Renown to every single person on that point, which would have been 80 Renown to the entire team, which would have been a massive swing in Blue's favor. So it was very sensible for him to not die on that point. And that's what you can definitely apply to yourself if you're in, in your matchmaking games. Don't feed on enemy home points because or enemy held points. Yeah, running then, away uh, to survive another day is a very valid tactic. And then you have those kids uh, complaining, "Murder, running away." <laughs> well, they they won't complain oh, bro, if you win. I can't win. believe you're running away versus like three heavies on a point. You're literally throwing. <laughs> I can't believe you're not. I can't believe you would let not us, lose. Uh, yeah, I can't believe you're choosing to let us, you know, not not win easily. If you're gonna die, then die like a man. Uh, nice. And then proceeds to complain, hey, we lost the game because of you. Well, he didn't earn, only earn one kill. I feed off. No, I have well. a question about uh, the, uh, the stream. Oh! Yeah, what's up? Good game. Very solid hug. Yeah, what's the question for the stream? Can... Yeah, I need the uh, the Twitch link for this. I heard there's a um, If you go into Dojo Info and Announcements, it's in there. Yeah, it is twitch.tv slash forhonor discord dojo. But uh, the hyperlink should be in the place that was mentioned. Down to a 2v1, but that John Hu nearly has revenge. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No problem. I find it funny how common people poke on Shugoki after he did the headbutt. Oh, is that a trend? Nice recovery. Very cancel, solid though. dodge cancel. Ooh! He's still oh, going! Oh, and Geo goes down, and now well. it's a oh, it's a 2v1 with one of them with revenge. Off. Let's oh, go! Man, you'll be, you will be annoyed about that Goki interrupting oh. his throw punish. Nice! Oh, nice. Oh, again. So, again, unfortunately, team. his Goki teammate there basically... I mean, he basically did exactly what you should not be doing in... in and I bet there's some spicy comms there, because Never what he attacked. did was ruin the revenge punish. Uh, and then feed revenge because he gave the guy a tag and then lead to his death and also lead to defender renown on a point because a because the defenders own this point uh, and Fern would be rightfully annoyed if that is a so I bet the spicy comms going on there but both points are contested they're fairly equal point scores overall yeah. Um, a quick moment to look at the scoreboard here. You know, Renown's looking somewhat okay, although Adam at Renown is in is blue team's great. favor. This is this is the the effect of dying on enemy control points because they have had some deaths on these points and they have got big defender renown for it. So you know, 
Um, he's going to come in and kill that. That that Goki is dead now. Um, gets a guard break in a team fight. Unwise. I'm I'm um, going over here now. We've watched who stayed on C for too long. What's going on on the other point? We got an assassin. Looks versus like a big two v two. Another two v two. This is an interesting comp as well. Um, the, in the blue team comp is much better team fighting because they just got gladiator is not really a team fighter even though wall's so good. Well, but now the thing is this yeah, comp is one. not a particularly good ganking comp. And they have messed up that gank. That was should have been a guard break from one of them to confirm the. I like Gladiator the best anti ganker though, so it kind of balances out. Yeah. It was about uh, to be back oh, up now, to two v two, but now two v one again. Plays us right. Yeah, but Goki, this is a this is definitely a favorable two v one um, for the Goki here. So, and again, this is blue team's. Oh, this is blue team's point. So if the they got defender now for the previous one, the, yeah, the the JJ's oh, on this tier four now, as oh. you can see. So whilst that's a, oh that's two v three now the, uh, and, and the phalanx. Uh, phalanx comes out so he protects his and then two v three again but in the other direction. Okay, I saw I, I heard someone key. call out the phalanx there for a moment. Why is that significant? So that basically saved the the Zhang Hu, yeah, it, it allowed saved, the JJ saved, to save, like two of them on point while the JJ made his escape. It saved the Zhang yeah, Hu on point and it allowed the JJ yeah. to the escape. Oh. Uh, the Zhang Hu did up, save right? it. And then right. Jan Hu yeah, no, was cause, cause JJ used saved the phalanx in the to secure the Jan Hu's life and his own. Then he guys, just guys, Spaniard is trying points, to guess. speak. Please. Yeah. So okay. th now this is they. This is a very difficult place for them to gank because the Goki has. Well, he's got a hun almost 90% around. He's popped Jug as well. So that should be a dead ward if the other guy's paying attention. No, it wasn't quite. Um, so yeah, they they the. If the Glad puts a... T there we go. That's the way, <laughs> the only way you can kill somebody holding that much revenge. Uh, I was about to mention the only way they can kill me is with a projectile, and that is just what happened. Oh. So well played for that Glad. Missed the deflect it's punish, unfortunately. Um, now it's a 3v1. Yeah, I'm not Actual sure I'd necessarily the best... Oh, there we go. They got the point anyway in the end, so... Yeah, the other guy just decided to leave. Alright, fair enough. The neutral oh. hug! We don't see that. Actually, very often saved now, Double C's life. I think that actually that that small bit of healing that, saved them. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Again, the parry is necessary on that because if you don't parry it, the headbutt afterwards is confirmed. I'm not sure if the guy knows it. Oh, that's good. To know. Now here, will the Goki will he does have a place to heal, but they got blue can come and contest that heal if they are fast enough, which I think yeah, that I think, might be what the, the JJ was going up there, is right? doing. No one's going. No, he's decided no. to go to mid, mid no. instead. I mean, this is an important mid fight here. There's a there's a lot of renown come out on the blue teams, in blue team here. They've got a massive renown advantage. Uh, I think they've all got tier fours. Um, oh, sorry, hit pings. Oh, good. If you need to take a second to sort things out, Spaniard, by all means, we've got a bunch of other people in. Yeah, just to let you guys know, you're watching right now. Team Killian Service is in the blue. And fake OS Slayers is in the red, we, or the orange rather. We are not 100% clear on if this is a nil nil or one nil or a one one or a two nil. We'll find out. But currently, what we are seeing is Aether executing someone. A long execution in mid lane. Knock him out of it, I guess. Hmm. I know there are. Bl I've played with some Black Priors who will deliberately use their bash to end executions early. I know that's a tech. Is there any yeah, other bashes allied, that do that? I know ally bashes can uh, interrupt ally executions. Most bashes, I think, can do it. You just have to angle them weird. You just have to, yeah, you just have to actually aim it correctly because you can't lock on your teammates. Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> Who the crap is just shooting a longbow from A? Apparently Robin Hood. Looks like there's Shigoki. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. Oh, yeah, Let me swap oh, yeah, the cam. Me yeah, double C. Oh, I think yeah. double C was doing it. When you say Robin Hood, there is a Mary. Hey, Mary but can we please ban Norgos from the server? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this it is stand-up material. Uh, <laughs> I'm just jealous. I'm not. I have no comedy bones in me whatsoever. And Fern has no bones in him whatsoever because he's just been killed. Well, not the two v two. It's well, okay. it's coming I'm up, I noticed. Two v two is doing very is well for Orange Team. Here. Links again? Okay, good. That may have just saved both of them. Yeah, because here comes the warlord over the ledge somewhere. It at least bought them time for teammates to come. Yeah. Defenders are breaking. Oh, but now they're both breaking, so maybe that maybe the phalanx wasn't actually the best idea. 
the jug. The interrupt. Their interruption's not gonna happen. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. That was a bit odd. Oh no! Oh, just about. That was oh. some freeform jazz style of gank, to put it politely. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that counts as dead. Juggernaut, yeah. Very good use of Juggernaut oh, on both sides, really. Will there be a yes, comeback? The, the attackers, attackers will, yes, yeah, they have a long break, break now, yeah, so. Yeah, guess not. So that was, he, so. he could have got a free throw punish then, because the, um... Uh, also, yeah, the throw also counts for it. Yeah. <laughs> Sent that man to space. Very nice. Team kill and service takes at least the 1 nil. It could be a 2 nil. Well, I can check with that. Yeah, um, you can check that on your end. I still hate the Shugo sprint, by the way. Just gonna throw it out there. Why? Hey, so I love weird. It. Why is that? I mean, it's a pretty good tool. It's just so weird watching him do that, but it's a good tool. It's good for roaming, you know, good for catching. One. That was one nil for them. Just okay. imagine like a freak train just rushing toward you. Ah, uh, my Ferrata crashed. Uh, Spectator does that. One moment, folks. This is a certified Bravo, but... Uh, no, I come back and the stream's dead. What did I miss? Yeah, uh, Spectator, after a certain period of time, it just decides I'm not working anymore. Goodbye, and kills itself. So yeah, I'll get my game back up as quick as I can. All right. All right. Yeah. Come on, Frono, you're on an SSD. Bloody prove it. So something we saw a little earlier I didn't get a chance to comment on. In the middle of that really big fight in mid lane, uh, we did see, I think it was a 3v2 or 3v1 situation in favor of the attackers. The There was a skewer that was landed in the middle of the team fight. And the good thing about that is it's not just a ganking tool. If you can land it and you can actually keep the teammate out, you know, being able to actually attack or defend, you can actually keep somebody out of the fight for just a few moments, even if you can't actually get damage on top of them. And again, there toward the end, we did see that get used again. But they, although they did throw him on the ground, that would have been a perfect opportunity to take that big Shigoki heavy, knock him on the ground, and get some extra damage. Yep. Um, well, as we kind of mentioned, how the power of, some, of the why Shaman has fallen out of the meta because you have characters like Scent and Glad who can pull off these very quick, like mini ganks within team fights, and mm -hmm. and and that was an example there. You land a skewer, I mean, you can, and you can land skewers um, just normally. And then you've got, uh, you know, free heavy from your ally, and you also can dodge cancel out of it, so you're safe to land that. Um, if somebody tries to peel, you can dodge away and not get punished. Always for forget you can dodge landing. cancel out of out of landed skewers. Yep, it's a very strong ability. So compared to, that's what makes Glad a better team fighter than Centurion. If Glad, if Cent is doing winding up his big old punch where he lands his pin, um, he's stuck in that animation and he can't cancel it, but and he can get peeled on quite easily. The actual recovery from landing it is pretty low, but before you do that, you're quite vulnerable. Whereas, set, whereas Glad can just dodge out of it, and he's fine. And quite also so. the wind-up for Skewer is considerably shorter than a full charge punch. Yes, so it is. It's, it's only 900 mess versus 1600 or something like that. Um, okay. Right, we are yeah. into the second match. This is... Going to be 1 0 to Team Killian Service. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but ah well. And. And that Killian experience. Someone needs <laughs> to get that reference. Wow, that's it. That's a. I, that's a YouTuber I've not watched in years, Observer. Wow. I he, he's, he, he's still. He's still, like, uploading content. He's still alive? Regularly. Yeah, he's, he's still going fairly strong. I think his last video was about a month ago. Oh. Huh. Ah, today I learned. Teams are on the correct sides. Yeah, Team Killian Service. I'm using Mary as my sort of tag marker because I always get them on the wrong side. But uh, Mary, you get the, the stream is not back up yeah. yet. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's, oh, on, it's on Twitch only. Yeah, uh, yeah. let me get the Discord version back up. Yeah, on, on One Discord, moment. Yeah, yeah we, we keep the Discord version up as well. There we are. Mm -hmm. Stream is actually up now. Let's go from beginning. Everyone pile in. Gather around. Everyone, get in here! Yeah, see all those Defender Soldiers, that's everyone getting into the stream. <laughs> now you see from here to the mid lane, uh, that's exactly a quarter mile. On green, I'm going for it. 
Oh, I... the drag race. Who's going to win? Ah, Orange gets there first. Team Killian Service wins the quarter mile. <laughs> I like this. Is a uh, Team Killian Service is uh, Prince's coach. Prince is coaching them, and he has he is obviously played Team Killing Service. Hmm. And they, in fact, they won the most recent uh, Dominion Series Major, season one. So I like that he's he's coaching an off off brand <laughs> like Walmart version of <laughs> his. His real team, as it were. Uh, oh, uh, like thank that. you, Rawit. Apparently, I entered the number in the wrong box. Fake OS Slayers won the last game, not Team Killian. My bad. Thank you for that uh, little addendum, Rawit. It's actually 1 0 to Fake OS Slayers. But, although, that's, that's, right. that's going to be Fake OS Slayers taking the dub. No, they can't get the comeback. They do have Fern here now, at so least. They lost the 2v2 on mid in time for Fern to come back and cap C. That was really well played by Fern. And this is a this is a good time to get a um, re re uh, revised because it gives him a big renown boost and he has enough time because all the enemies are dead for these guys to heal up and so that was a really good play from Fern there so well done as uh, him you can see the blue team have gone to take the sort of con the consolation prize of the um, of A but they're already being contested by somebody who's gone up there to contest them. Let's get a wide um, shot for a moment. Who is that? That is Adam, I believe. That is the Warlord. Let me hop on over. Yep, I'm Dask. Yep, oh, nice. I thought, I thought that Warlord was the Gladiator Warlord. contesting, and I was kind of confused for a minute. Although someone else come over to assist, so, that would be Shugo. Oh, yeah, so this is... Look, and yeah, he's doing... That, that is, is a very good move to get that, off the point. That is a very good situation. That you do well, not want to get ganked well. on an enemy home point and give them revenge, uh, renown unnecessary, especially when your team is now losing mid. Um... So, although they have the two are very low on mid, see, this is the benefit. Here's a good demonstration of the benefit of having point C over point A. Look how long it takes this guy to go back to his home point to heal. Like, Seven that's years. like 10 seconds. That's as, as much dying and respawning almost. And by the time he heals back to get back into the fight, it's going to be a very long time. Adam getting on a point before he dies, before they could take it, which is good. Um, even though he did die up for it, it was still beneficial to be on that point and not donate it to them. Um, blue team in a strong position here, if they can... Well, that should be dead. So, yeah, Demon Ball has super armor throughout the entire duration of the attack portion um, after it's landed. And you are basically 100% dead if you get uh, caught in that on being pinged by things. So I'm looking what that is. Um, we did just come back to C point, and I do have a quick question. We saw them going for revives there earlier for renown. Does that get any extra boost on your own point? Uh, no. Um, just for kills there. Yeah. All right. Aether gonna be primarily heading up this defense on C. See if they can grab the defender renown bonus. Pegasus on the gladiator, considering his options carefully. If he can get us into a skewer gank, that would be ideal, but he does have the Warlord to worry about. Makura again, she. Health total starting to drop rather rapidly. Adam and Dask, I keep calling Adam for some reason. Very low. Ledge is still there. That is a threat. Pegasus, one tap. That's all he needs left. And Dask is down. Things are going to start turning very quickly. Time for the one twos. The two just got removed off the board, though. Makura versus Pegasus. I think we're going to see, unfortunately, a DC in the middle of this match. Are we? Um, Aww. Is that what you are answering? Yes, I think that turns out that we are spectating the match where the DC happened. Let me just is this going to be restarted or is this match valid? Uh, I think I will probably get to restart it. Um, they haven't had a restart yet. Have they got... The bot should be in there by now, actually, I think. If you look at the scoreboard for me. Uh, let's have a gander. No, people are still in weird. No. 50 minutes maybe, and 22. Uh, you know, maybe it's a different, maybe it's the second map in that case, actually. Fine, false um, alarm. We'll wait to see if we actually see a DC we'll in this see. or not. Uh, so far, I'm liking how this match is going. It's been relatively close. Oh, okay, why did he not get screwed over by the bots this time from the bow? Usually when I do that, the bots block the shots. Or okay, the, the minions do. Called them. It was, it the was just good RNG, man. Hmm. <laughs> just had a better gaming chair. Better gaming Possibly. chair. I would say the problem is between the chair and the keyboard. 
<laughs> yeah, plus <laughs> five to the luck stat. Just gotta, had to make sure the cord was all the way plugged in. This time, next time on whose line is it anyway? Mary, could have had to considering their next chances to live. Almost got the complete kill on the mix-up. No, just one more tap. It's all you need. Nope, nope, that, please block top, thank you. Okay, just get out of there, Mary. Oh. There you go. Swap it out. Yeah, there's the DC. Uh, looks like we... The Shugo on fake yep. OS Slayers got swapped out. Yeah, and that is pretty middle of the match as well. So oh, I'm going to give him the replay on this guy because these guys haven't had a replay yet. Um, Alright, we'll keep watching this match anyway just to see how it resolves. But yeah, Spaniard, do let me know what like the official standing is if this is a 1-0 still by the end of this. Uh, I got a screenshot of the. Uh, this one will be a, uh, a a replay. I'll tell. I'll go and tell them to do that. Um, ah, should we just back out of this? Uh, spec hey, yeah, up to you if you want to. They're, I'm not. Sure, they'll probably carry on playing it. Um, we'll keep going just for the sake of not. Because when an eye is up, you can't tell which match it is. There's no way of previewing. So we'll keep going just for the sake of knowing. We're not going to get. A let me have a check where this is on the brackets because I might need to. Oh. Oh no, they're not. They're, they're ahead, so they can be playing. Mary, one versus one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a break. Someone else take over. We got enough people. Goz, nominates Goz. Mary's gonna take a point here and uh, clear it out. Very nice. Their teammates already rotated away. Uh, we're gonna see oh, here on C point. Look who's going back up to A to clean up the scraps, so to speak. Am I muted? No, we can hear you guys. Um, no, you're quite All quiet right. on my end, but maybe that's just me. You're kind of quiet, but yeah, hmm. that's really it. Okay. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an issue with the, the with the equipment with this to the warlord, who is in turn. Oh, I'm gonna turn Goz up if I can. Well, it only turns up for me. But... Try using the push to talk thing. Not having Goz. a great time. He really needs to get out of there, but will he be able to? Oh, Guys, you can use push to talk to get um, voice priority that'll make you a bit louder. I'll switch yeah. it. I'll switch it. Hang on. Hello? Oh? Is that better? But are you hearing the beeps? Nope. We, uh, we can eat fine. Sounds, sounds good to me. Um... Yeah, where are we right now? So, team's relatively even. And looks like something's about to happen on C point, Goz. Although the bot's currently taking a holiday on mid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so is the Warlord just kind of hanging out there in mid. He's talking with the bot, seeing what's going on in AI land. And we got a nice little team fight for forming here on C point. Those two are discussing their plans of rebelling against the system. Very, very, uh, very nice uh, usage of the demon ball there. That could have been a little bit of extra damage there from the Warlord. Doesn't like it like he actually took it though. The failing he comes save, in. Though. Oh, or rather, Eighth. Here comes the JJ with all of his feats. Oh, miss. There was an attempt. Yep. A all good right. time to get out of, get all out right, of Everyone's here. leaving. Nothing, nothing, nothing to see here, folks. Are breaking. Oh, well, this could be quite bad. Especially for uh, the almost dead John Who. They are breaking. They need to find a place to heal. They don't have one, however. So they're just going to clear out some mid, do what they can, but their team's going to have to take uh, a point. Both of the healing zones are contested. The bot doing doing some bot stuff here. Hey, there we are, scorching deluge. Oh, Very deluge. good use of the Jean Hu tier four. Ask about that one earlier, and I guess it does is coming does come into use here. And speaking of tier four, another fire flask. Another scorching deluge. A second deluge. deluge. Oh, that was a mean not, that was a mean feat combo. Well, they will be replaying this one because yeah. the bot DC in the uh, DC was in the middle, at very even scores. The bot DC'd, yes. And um, yeah, the bot <laughs> bot they DC'd and had a bot in the in the middle, uh, very even scores, and they aren't behind on the brackets. So um. all right, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I noticed some logistical issues, some malfunction at the junction, if you will. So next <laughs> game we watch on stream, which will be that one, I'm gonna nominate. I'm gonna nominate a pair. And it's going to be just them oh. for the match. Because I notice people coming in. Goz, you're up. Goz, choose a partner. 
What? To commentate, to with. commentate with. He wants you to choose a second person to help you commentate. The entire match, start to end. Since I noticed everyone was kind of trying to figure out who was commentating. Let's get the things a bit smoother. Rock. Now we're doing the student coaching commentary, I see. Hmm. Basically. Oh. Rock, you're up. You fancy All right, it? Alright, we'll, we'll... Sure. Happy days. Alright, let's get the match All right. stream. Well, I'm just waiting for an eye to appear. And this is still going to be our, this is a replay of game two, correct? Yes, if they are, yeah, if you're doing it. Um... Just got to wait to see if they're going to, it's going to show up, right? By the way, yeah. FY, you yeah. don't have to comment it if you don't want to anyone, by the way. I'm just doing it because I noticed everyone, everyone was kind of going in. No one was quite sure what was going on. Well, this is like my first attempt at something like this, and I do want the experience. Yeah, <laughs> sure, why not? Right, Ironically, it is sort of, yeah, coach and student, because Goz has got the bloody experience to back it up. He do indeed have the experience, um... Hmm. I also talked about oh, wanting to do something like this in Goz's chat, I think. It was either Goz's or Rush's. Alright, see ya, Bishy. Bishy's Not later, Bishy. Alright, and I'll... All right, let's just make sure the actual replay is going well. All right, I forgot. I got to push the talk now. I mean, turn, you... Now that we have it set, I'm going to turn it back to uh, voice activated. Yes, you can. There we go. Okay, so we got a replay of game two. Uh, if you're just now joining us, we have a bot that was dis that disconnected uh, for the attacking team. I, don't, I didn't catch who that was that actually disconnected. It was, uh, it was their Shigoki that Shigoki. got disconnected. Yeah, we'll see. Shigoki disconnected. Uh, there was some interesting chatter we saw in mid lane uh, between uh, the Warlord and the Goki, depending on what was going on with, in, in AI land. And ultimately, that didn't. That was not a strategy that paid off for them in the end. We are seeing the replay here on Temple Garden. Uh, so we've got the team killing Suivis versus the fake OS Slayers. And in the attacker side, you can see the fake OS Slayers. Double C, AM Dask. We've got Pegasus, Korg, and Fern. That's going to be for Silver. And then Majestic Prince, who was the team captain of this team, also captains Team TKS, which is Team Killing Service. So sort of an off-brand of that. Kind of like the play on that as well. I agree with Verb and, and Spaniard on that. We see, we're going to see Mary and the Mary Band of the Robin Hoods. And we have the Aether and the Makura and Shisui right here on the defender side we're just waiting on everything to get settled in what do you think about this rock we saw a little we saw a lot of team fighting going on earlier in the previous match what are your what are your what are your picks for this um i'm not quite too sure about how this is going to go with uh with this map going again because i'm pretty sure one team did have a pretty solid start on mid last time that was a good advantage for them to start with especially because they got c right after that we do see. Let's see. We got the opening bell right now. We're going to see a 2 2 split right away. Goki trying to super sprint on over to C point on both sides here. We're going to see a Goki on Goki action. And we're going to see Warlord coming in for fake OS Slayers. Here we go. All right. Coming in with a nice little JJ pick. A little bit of unblockable action. Very good parry here. Warlord taking a lot of damage right now. Gets bushed. A lot of damage. Double C's that to come in there and peel for him. And right there, going to see a lot of... Still, a lot of damage coming in on the attacker side here. One-on-ones, they've been split up. Right there, a lot, little bit of an opportunity, that if they could, to potentially get them out of stamina, but they don't have the pressure, unfortunately, to get that happen. All right, here we go. Potential gain coming out. Maybe. Just needs a bash, and hey, well, there we go. C point is captured. A point is still up for grabs. Nobody's gone up there yet. Right now, they do have. Uh, looks like we have Fern on the on for fake OS layers, determining whether or not they want to go up to grab A point. A point again, still open, and he wasn't the only person who had that idea. That did look like it was going to be a Jean Hu versus a Jean Hu with one at disadvantage, but we are getting a um, a gladiator gank. So that might be a good way to take A early on. 
Yeah, John, who is since the rework we've seen, uh, I, d getting the bash, really good way of setting up ganks. Uh, very soft play. Right there, a good, again, a good skewer. We're looking for the heavy, then right there, just enough damage. The bleed is going to take him out of the fight. He's trying to get a little bit of damage in before he falls. It's too late. It's over with. Again, might see a repeat. Trying to throw out the skewer, not getting it confirmed. Teammate is low on health. There we go. Nice little toe stab gank to finish it off. That's all you need is just a little bit of confirm to finish off the gank. Either a guard break or a toe stab to finish that up. And they did a very good job right there. Another team fight coming in on C point. Uh, fake OS Slayers coming in with the... Um I'm sorry, I got distracted from something behind me. Um, we have... Um a not, okay, right here, going to see a big heavy come out. They are going to get revenge. However, sometimes you want to take as much damage as you can. They are going to get punished for it, however, so Warlord's got to be really careful, really disciplined, but he's in it. But again, here we see oh, uh, fake OS layers coming in from the side, but we are also going to see a rotation in for Team Kill and Soivus. And a very nice, very nice cleanup there on the, uh, the Goki there. All right, we've got uh, 2v2 coming on. 3v2 coming in here. Unfortunately, Skewer didn't land, didn't get the confirmation. But now a lot of Looks damage like coming in on... 3v3, and mm -hmm. back down to 3v2. A lots of back and forth here. There we go, good JJ. Okay, we've seen this before with the Shugo and the JJ. They have, pra they have clearly practiced this gank before. If they can land the Shugo hug, they're going to go in for uh for a follow-up uh with the unblockable you definitely love to see it right there again you land the guard break you get the you get the hug and then you follow up with the with the heavy finisher very 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 nice stuff what do you think about it rock very solid duo for a hug gank these two players they've yeah they've definitely practiced with each other m probably more often than the enemy team has and you gotta you gotta love to see it. One of my favorite things this game is ganking. Now we've seen here A point and C point is captured from the defender side, and that is something that's really important. And why is that important? Because uh, you have nowhere to heal for fake OS slayers. They have to go. They are forced to take one of these one of these fights on the sides, and they are trying to do that. They are trying to make. They are trying to get both A and C point. But anybody who dies on those points during those fights is defender renowned for Team Kill and Service. And unfortunately for them, that is going to be, uh, or fortunately for Team Kill and Service, Fake West Slayers is going to take them on A point. Still a really close match, taken out externally. Again, this 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 pair between the Goki and and the and the JJ are just cleaning up house here on C point. This is the Goki Swamp. He's not letting anything happen, and JJ's right there to back him up. Guan Yu clearly taught this, ta taught them very, very well. They are not messing around here. Big team fight coming in here in the mid lane, and it, it's it's still anybody's game. It's a very, very close game we've seen, and this made it. This may kind of give us a, an idea about what happened to the rest of the match here. This is a sort of a three v two situation, a one v one and a two v one situation, respectively, over here. Unfortunately, does put himself out of stamina here. Fern does, and is going to get punished by the JJ for it. Uh, meanwhile, A point swung around and got capped while this was going on. Very good job with the back cap. I didn't catch who got that. Uh, that was that Warlord that got peeled for a moment ago. Either very, Warlord very or John nice. who. Here we go. One. There we go. Just right there. The bash and the light for the skewer. Confirms the kill. And they've got to go out and heal. But they've got nowhere to go. Out of stamina. Good delay on that. Good delay on that. You have to time your punishes properly with Shugo if you do it a certain way. Otherwise, you will do will put yourself in danger of being guard broken. We can talk more about that later. We do see a rotation from his teammate. He's going to go try and... No, he's going to stay in the fight. Defender Renown could be potentially had here. That's three tags now on the Jean Hu, however. Jisoo. JJ and Jean Hu there really turned around that skewer gang. Bash for heavy, as you can see the confirm. We do not. Uh, that was have been a guard break for the finisher on the Jean Hu or a light from either of them on the external guard if it lands and confirms that for them. Again, we're not seeing the, the synergy between these two the same as we did against the with the JJ and the Shugo. Juggernaut is there. Bash is going to have to happen. There we go. Good quick thinking from the JJ. Low health here from the Warlord and Shisu on the on the Jean Hu. 
They've got it. They just one shot. Very nice zone. Very nice zone. All right, here we go. Again, one bash to start it off. Are we going to see the bash? The bash hits. Lands. There we go. But again, they're both going for their finishers. A and little there's... bit scuffed, but it worked in their favor. It did. It did. Goki, big unblockables, letting them go two times now. Let me hear it two times now. He's going, he look, he's like, he's trying to look for that guard break. Maybe trying to get a demon's ball in here. Yeah, I'm, there we go. Good, good, good binge pop there. Low on health, was critical under pressure. Have three enemies there. You don't want to have set, you don't want to hold it too long. You definitely want to get something for it. If you can pop me, I'll pop it and get a parry, uh, or a revenge parry. But unfortunately, but in, in that situation, you definitely want to make sure that you stay alive. This is a really important fight here. The, almost the entire team from both sides have gone over here to C-Point, and it is owned by the defenders. So that means that Team Killing Service here, for all the deaths that they, uh, all, the, all the kills that they get here, they are getting, again, defender renowned. So that is really big for their team. And still, the good, uh, it is... It is, a, it is a good stall from uh, from oh, fake OS players, but at some point they have to determine, are they going to go back and get A point? Because A point's been open this entire time, uh, and we're not seeing them, uh, them go for it. They're constantly going for C, and they're feeding a ton of renown for the enemy team. We saw a very big punish on that out of Samurai John Hu a moment ago. Um, mostly from the uh, from the gladiator and who else was that? The JJ. I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Oh, not the JJ. We saw a big out of stamina challenge on that John Hu a moment ago. Uh, knocked down that gladiator and someone else got pretty big damage off on them. And you want to take as much damage as you can to get those opportunities. It looks like Peck, it looks like uh, Cork was going up there to A point to, to maybe contest or grab some or maybe grab it to heal, but that didn't that that wasn't going to happen. He was uh, going to get out and take the C point or go over to C point rather so he can uh, he can heal up safely. He didn't he saw that they that was not going to get God for free, and you'll have to forgive me. I need to step away for just a moment. All problem observer right. emergency takeover. Hello, I can come and join in as well. Uh, oh, okay, Spanier, that was a 1v1, nice, uh, two shooters nice versus each other on A, but now there is a Warlord in the fray, lower health than than his teammate. But with that Phalanx, that might not matter too much. Yeah, they need to pull up a quick gank here, really, because this point is quite critical to win this, this fight, and considering it has... how close the, the points are. We are likely to be getting to a breaking scenario. If, they, if the orange team can get this point, in fact, if the Orange team get this point, they're going to be breaking. And if mid goes either way, like it's going to, we're likely this, this fight may play out into breaking. So, all oh, that was a good use of their yeah. range speed then, because again, like I said, very good them team's wrath. And they've been boosting on C. So another another projectile fleet comes out and sure. hits the Orange Warlord. Did they... you just deflect the out of the blocking away from him? zone i mean that's it's a, it's a thing you can do nice baits the zone option select into fully into the half stamina punish and i think he's gonna get nice that jj is dead unless oh no he gets his soothing mist off just in time but Very yeah this fight is looking pretty bad for the blue team uh, oh yeah the knockdown means he gets that free punish easily we got another projectile feet coming out Again, they keep on pouring to this point so that they can't get revives and they can't keep generate any more points. So the blue team to have a chance of coming back. Looks like this is Silver's team, the orange team. Fire Plus Very comes nice. out. Burn is going to be dead off this. He's okay, Norgos is health. back. Spaniard, shush. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That was a flash, but we didn't see the Fury. The Fury probably would have killed both of those both of those teammates there and maybe give them a little bit of, of breathing room to heal. Unfortunately, that didn't happen for them, though. Uh, there's still three people here on one, but again, they keep, like, at least we noticed, they keep piling in here. They don't have a chance to actually heal up. They really, really, really needed that opportunity to heal, and we didn't get that from the Flask. Uh, unfortunately, at this point, it's, it's down to one player, and that's all she wrote for team healing service in this round and we're gonna go on to i actually don't remember who uh, who took the first round uh that was fake os slayer so that's uh 2-0 i believe 
Yeah. Let's to the scene. All right. All, All right. right. I'm liking this format. Good commentary, Rockwood and Norgaz. All right. Next up, we'll do. We'll try something similar. I'm liking the clean audio. Observer, you there? Observer. Oh, I missed who won the match, man. That was that was fake OS there, but Observer. I noticed uh, a little earlier right. on you were keen. Do you want to give the give it a go? Dedicated commentary. Yeah, I could. Pick a partner. Oh jeez, I have to pick this. Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you do. I've been paying attention to who's been talking, man. Someone else can volunteer if they want. I can right. always volunteer. I'm happy to go again. I'm happy to do some commentating. I had a bit of a break there. Let's rest my pipes. Um, should we have a quick look at the brackets before we go oh, on to the next yes. match? Yes, good point. Actually, I can throw that up now. Let me pull the brackets for you. So we have. Da -da 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 -da. How this is going? So currently, the losers bracket is a little bit behind on one end of the losers uh, bracket. Oh yeah, the um, L section, like L17. Happens. Yeah. Um, Okay, we actually we have Posh hey, Potato Man would like generator. to commentate, so I'm going to unmute him so you can. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, so, Potato Man. I'm um, sorry if I was unmuted earlier. I don't know what happened. Uh, oh, that's alright. I think you had a um, noise in the background, and so I, I yeah. muted you briefly. That's okay. Um, so yeah, which match are we targeting? Noise, we uh, let's have a look at the bracket. So sorry about that. I had to go and mm -hmm. get dis get distracted. So we have. Raw Forge versus Blame It on Rippy should be active, um, and they are. Um, who's on Forge team that you have? Moist is on Raw Forge team, so I suggest we look at that one. This is Rohit's team versus Rippy's team, and right. if they lose, they're clearly going to be blaming it on Rippy. So. Oh, Hito Kiri. Winners. Oh, 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 there is a pick. Oh, there is a Hito there. Okay. That's an exciting pick. So yeah, um, indeed. Is that a Nobushi as well? Is that a Nobushi as yep, well? Yep, that's a Nobushi. Yes, it is. Yep, yeah. yeah, Nobushi. Yeah. Nobushi is a very strong team fighter with her, um, at zone with her un with her undodgeables. The un uh, yeah, the undodgeable heavies of the zone. Pressure. It's effective the pressure. Bleed can synergize well with other certain heroes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's head, let's man. now that we're getting into the match here. Who's on commentary? Observer and Potato. Was it? It was me. Yeah. Yes. Right. All, All right. 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 Leave Winners it. round five. The floor is yours, gentlemen. Mm. No real okay, experience so commentating last time, best anyway. Yep, very brand new to this, both the sub, uh, both the server and commentating. But I'll give it my first shot and hopefully it'll go well. But let's see as soon as the game starts. Uh, this is our first time seeing the uh, whoever's on the attackers this stream, I believe. Ooh. Okay, okay. I believe, yeah, we've seen we've seen a few of Raw Forge's matches, but the other guys, I think they were blaming on Rippy. Yeah, it's the first time mm -hmm. seeing them. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see how this plays out. Sort of a yeah. new challenge. Uh, do we know what map this is on? Or uh, no, we don't. Do we? Let me get that for you. If I can tell you which map it's on. Um, they Harbor. are mm. on uh, Harbor. Yeah, Harbor, which is their first map. All right. so it's gonna be Harbor, Zell, and then Temple if there's a tiebreaker. Oh, I feel bad for these minions getting stuck in time loops. All the time. Uh, I like to think they have their name like Danny or something. Uh, okay, so let's well, they see. All... We'd expect to see. The, the uh, attackers are. Oh, I thought they're all rushing C. No, three are going to mid. It yep. seems the. Uh... Yeah, defenders are splitting Ooh. off to the side points. Oh, they're going to A. They're defenders not heading to B straight away. Yeah. Yes, they're taking the healing point okay. quickly. This Hitokiri has uh, only Ooh. barely survived getting deleted. But it's, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, to the now there's three, and three attackers. They could get the quick call on the Hito for that renown, though. Yep. The zone so is the Hito will let them. not oh, yep. there we go. Any, anyway yet, nice so it boost. doesn't matter about... Shugo's the getting out of there, rightfully so. Yep. Or he's trying to, anyway. Oh, wait, no, yeah, he, he did escape. Thanks to help from, uh, I think that was the Bobu? Oh, no, it was Jean who on that team. Oh. That tent should be dead. Sets, and... Set's bleeding now, but he's trying to do some damage yep. while he can. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Ito came in to finish that, though. 
It seems like Hito's gonna try and finish off the Zhanhu up here as well. Successfully, might I add. Uh, so, uh, who's that? Shugoki on A? I think that's Shugo on A, yes. Yeah. He's just kind of chilling there. A lot of Not entirely sure there's much else he can do at this build. point, though. Yeah. It's just a way for his teammate to get back in before he can really do anything besides mm -hmm. boost. And that seems to be exactly what's happening. His teammates are getting back in. Yeah. Little nice. I think it's a 3v3 on mid. Because I'm pretty uh, sure both their yeah. fourths are back boosting. Yeah. This is Jan who's about to. Yep. Oh, Shugo's and gotten now... off of A. He's gotten oh, back on. It's... Someone else has gotten back on A. Never mind. Seems like it's 3v2 right now? Yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah someone died. Uh, this Hito's about to die. Unless. No. And there's the Nobu over there is also on Death Store. Yeah. And that Warlord big... is dead. I think a big sudden shift. Oh. To the game. This could turn no, quite. This could turn in the defender's favor. Yeah. Pr pretty quickly. No, they're gonna back off it probably. Oh, I think to. Uh, I would highly advise against the scent backing off into two other guys back there. I guess you could stop them oh, from healing. Right, right. Yeah. I guess if anything, you could have stopped them from healing, but I guess he would. I would. I probably would have been up the mindset to try and finish off the warlord as well. To be fair. Yeah. I, I mislooked, I misread the situation. Yeah, set, and thanks to Scent holding out, Warlords come in to assist, and I think there's somebody else, I think the Shugo coming down to assist as well. Nope, it's uh, the Zhanu. Yeah, Shugo no, is there though. Shugo. Shugo is in fact there though. But thanks to that, they have left A They're gonna vulnerable. Get C, or at least try. It's gonna be an attempt at C it seems. Bit of a team fight here. And even Jan up there, around mid. Kill. Yeah. And John, who's coming down? Kito coming out at the nick of time. Three on to... Okay, Ooh. is that three? Okay, yeah, three. I thought all four were there for a minute. No, it's just... A little bit difficult. Oh, never mind. Their, their scent uh... is probably off. Oh, their scent is boosting A. Yes, I think it's the scent. Well, this is going to be a problem now with the Hito Kiri having the revenge. Hito's got revenge, and two of her teammates are charging onto point, so this may have just yeah. been a... That huge. that may just be a huge, huge boost of renown Wait. for attackers. Yep. Oh, well, the Hito's the out of B revenge. Is, is but, anyone currently at B? Is anyone trying to get B? It's currently neutral, but I think there is somebody there. No, yeah. Yeah, there it's is. Warlord. Let's see. Uh, and Scent is in a bit of a tight spot. No, you guys warlord with him. Oh, here comes warlord though. Looking for the save. Still Which means Sense gonna switch off to fight the other warlord in an actual 1v1. Probably a better idea than trying to 1v2 a Sent. Yeah. And speaking of 1v2, uh, this warlord just lost nah, one heavily, lost. thanks to Ito's <laughs> sweeping. Ito, Ito certainly swept away, swept, on, swept that into the rug, so to speak. There was never a warlord there. And see, there's never a warlord there either. That guy's running away to heal, I think. Of A the entire time, right? So far? A has been. I think A has been. Uh, Blue, by defenders Blue team the entire time. For the entire yeah. time. Yeah. None of them have tried to go and take it. It's been left clean a few times, though. Mm. Yeah, there goes uh, Shugo back off to heal at A as well. Yeah. And it might benefit the Zhanhu to try that as well, I think. I'm a bit surprised. Especially since Scent is dead, yeah. Oh, yeah, see, look. Zhanhu was smart. We've... Have we seen any assassins yet? Or yeah, there was a shaman in one match. Hmm. But other it... than that, I don't think there's been any assassins. Yeah. I think at least yeah. maybe like a. Double Berserker heavy for that massive revenge feed. Yeah. Here comes Shugo, off to. Hopefully finish these two off, I assume. Especially since his, uh, his teammate, his warlord over there, if he can survive for a little longer, oh, might get revenge. Yeah. Oh, but Sense here now. So they may as well just stop thinking and go unga bunga. Time to throw Oh, well, their warlord has left, I think. Capitalize. Oh. oh. Couldn't catch that roll, though. But, and now that is most definitely back. a dead warlord, though. 
That's a. Uh, and here comes Jean no, Hu over to contest. Yet again. All these bashes. Gonna give me a concussion over here. <laughs> I'm not. So, okay, that Jean Hu is, uh. The defender Jean Hu just kinda got on the point, then instantly <laughs> practically died. And Jean Hu's being oh. chased by. I <laughs> oh! Shot point blank. Love to see it. Let's see. Shugoki over here Hopefully. with the. It's the goddamn longbow draw the practical so speed of an light. Well, Jean, who did successfully escape, it seems. Ooh. And that's... Oh, how you don't seem to be very lucky. Nice yeah, renown boost there. Big amount of renown, yeah. And speaking of score, it seems that breaking might be a possibility for the, uh... for, for attackers soon. They haven't really like, been yeah. able to I think there's get two of them on C the right now, so it's gonna take a miracle for them to, yeah. to get out of breaking. The skirmish on midpoint, the boosting on C. It's not looking great for the defending team. Are oh, but I think oh, they've left C unguarded. Can the Jean Hu uh... get the cheeky back cap? No, oh, I know that Jean Hu was on that team. <laughs> I, may, I may be stupid. Oh. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's sent. sent. Three of them are almost yeah. dead, actually. One of them is dead. Uh oh. This might be the, Shigo whole the Shigoki's almost dead. Warward's getting ganked. This is not looking. This is not looking very great. That's sick. And now it's just these two left. The uh, hold on A. A oh, at least he has Juggernaut. That'll stall for a little longer, I guess, for whatever that's worth. Not very much, nah, by the looks of it. Yeah. And that's GG. <laughs> All right. That was really intense by the uh, orange team, how they just continuously kept control well of the match to mid lane and C. Yeah, they, they were holding down. They were holding down those two points well enough that A really didn't matter all that much. Mm -hmm. Especially when they kept trying to rush down to C and uh, take it, they just got a bunch of renown from that. Yeah. Alright, I am very quickly just confirming something in chat right now. Okay, one of the winner's semis has ended. I thought chat was debating me on the Blame It Rippy vs. Warforged matched ending. Unless that one has ended. Now, I must mention that since this being a coach and student stream, one thing that ended up happening in that commentary there, it was good. Uh, Potato kind of got run over. Which can happen <laughs> in literally you've been thrown together for the first time. Well, what? yeah, that we, we, we have no existing nah, synergy. Yeah, so. cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's an example of a pitfall that can occur. So sometimes it can be nice just to ask the other guy a question and just sort of give them a bit of room. Okay, it, okay, instead okay, of necessarily okay, yeah. both trying to go for the same room. Okay, yeah. I got you. <laughs> yeah, but... So I just got some info on that oh. match. That was the first match yes. of C29. Now I can talk better. The winner's <laughs> fine. Oh, I... oh, I'm coming up. Hey, right. you were good. Sorry to just interject. Uh, that was the first match of the winners' semi-finals. Blame it on Rippy versus Raw Forge. Um, they their next game they had a DC, so ah. quite early on. So they are replaying it. Okay. So you should the I should be it because it's real. The, I think it probably is, but um, yeah. So Citadel Gate. Yeah, it should be Citadel. Oh. Um, yeah. So this should be the probably a replay of it. If we if it does like end, we do see a DC early on, then it's still in the other one. But I don't think it will be because I think it'll be uh, the replay straight away. So all right, I'm actually going to give it a bash this time myself. Uh, Potato, you up for a round two? Sure, why not? Ish. Get, get your time. Get your time in the spotlight, buddy. I'll be in the back. <laughs> oh, no, let's give this a let's give this a bash. Now wait. Let me just make sure the overlay's looking all good. Although, once, once we get to Grand Finals, I'll open up the floor and it'll be complete chaos again. This is meant to be a chill thing, but mm. since we've got a long yeah. way to go, let's mix up the chaos and the bants with a little bit more structure. Once we hit, like,
grand finals, yeah, the floor's open. Anyone could chat shit. <laughs> but yeah, for now, just you and me, Potato. Very nice, very nice. All right. I'm not going to risk it from most recent position, as it is chance of that just rendering the buffer, or buffering the render. Ugh, words are hard. But here we go. Rawforged versus Blame It on Rippy. 1-0 to Rawforged. Let me just do a final check game. to make sure I've got them on the correct sides. Uh, da -da -da. What's happening right now in the yeah. match here, Potato, while I double check that? So it looks like they're sending three people on both sides to mid and then one person to go cap the home zone. And let's see. I, I, <laughs> I'm terrible at commentary, but... Oh, good. Um, uh, okay, yeah. So it seems like it's currently being dominated by attackers or defenders rather. And slowly, slowly they're pushing back the... Uh, the attackers. Uh, yeah, yeah, currently you can see Moist and Rico kind of on the deficit. Two versus three. Most of their teammates went back to reclaim points, oh, which is good. Moist is raging, match. though. He's got to be careful. Yeah. He's got to get something done here. Successfully gets Whoa. the execute. It's fast as well. Hito Kiri charging in the back line. And Arrow's thinking of potentially even finishing up the fight by himself here, Potato. Oh, but he managed to... He doesn't manage to get the 2v1. Getting a little bit now sloppy it's back here. Now another 2v2. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, let's see. A big chaotic fight here, but obviously, oh, stampeding charge into the heavies. Immediately target swap. Reinforcements have arrived though here, Potato, so that is good. Sherp Dude and 156 have come in. 56 off of the point himself. Moist looks like he's going to be positioning to go Ooh. take A back himself, which is going to be good. But I have a funny feeling, Potato, this fight is going to be lasting for a while yeah. as it's going to start roaming towards A. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be more attacker dominated by, by the looks of it, how they've already capped B and they're already progressing on to C. As it, it, they've capped C and B and progressing on to A. 156 fighting 2v1, Rico fighting sheep as well. Let's try and keep the wide angle here because reinforcements will be coming in from spawn and there they are. Fit I'm sorry, is that a graphics yeah. glitch or does Fiddle somehow have revenge coming in from spawn? <laughs> okay, no, that was a graphics <laughs> glitch. Nice yeah, the wide yeah. angles on spectator mode are bugged. You just ah, see thank the, you. Uh, the revenge bars as they previously were. Yep. Thank you, Spaniard, for the wings. Rico comes back in now himself. He's going to be able to regenerate, and it looks like we're going to be seeing a reclaim of the map overall. Potato, do you think that we're going to see a split push or everyone bundle onto the home point? Uh, I'm not sure. So, from I mean, I'm not the best Ferrano player either, but from what I would usually think, so some people are going to go try and cap B. There's this definitely small skirmish is going to happen at C but it's not gonna obviously go well for blue team and then uh, I'm not sure let's see um it definitely looks like blue team are really on a weak hand of the side right now orange uh, attackers are really dominating the pace of the match yeah raw forge right now sets 600 to 349 currently competing to keep the attacking, uh, the home point of Blame It On Pippi, yeah. or Blame It On Rippy, excuse me, to their own. It's going to be a humongous advantage. The meta has flipped more towards a side point oriented way of thinking ever since the slow but sequential nerfs to clearing mid quickly. Although we may see a rise of that. Oh. That's good. That was strategic suicide <laughs> there. Reset it helped, yeah. Very nice. Like, why is that important, Potato? You sometimes see that. Well, I think for the most point, you don't want to feed Renown to anything. He can't really gain his health since both A and C are capped. So I guess the easiest way is just to end up killing yourself and then probably someone can also come and revive you. Though it will put you at half health, that will give them some amount of Renown too. I would think at least. Yeah, it's a good way to 
also regain tempo of if you know your teammates are coming back to respawn and get yourself into a scenario like this where you're able to try and fight at as most of an even keel as possible. Huge hit from Arrow onto Moist. Actually, I think that was hit. I might have missed there last second. Revenge totals are slowly building. Tags are being applied, but this is sneaky yeah. resurrection here. Congratulations oh. there. That was 156 coming in on the flank on the Nabushi. Able to get the resurrection. Like yeah, he's about to be taken out. Oh. I'm not liking this potato. This is looking a little bit... Yeah, that's a lot of... Very sussy. <laughs> but... Yeah, they're just dominant. Attackers are just really dominating hard. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Seems like they're slowly turning just as I say that. <laughs> But it depends on how long this Shigoki can stall. He's getting the- Oh! Oh! Slowly trying to build up his revenge. They po both- Possible commentator's curse? Such an easy way to engage on him. He's still going. Oh! He's Just GB! Still there. Someone GB! Please! Literally oh. anyone! <laughs> Okay, no. fine. Oh, Just... but he managed to get reinforcements. <laughs> Just throw enough so, unblockables, okay. that'll do. <laughs> And by the time that, yeah, Zhan Hu and the, what is that, Raider? Yeah, they've managed to come back and they're obviously gonna help secure the point. I've got to give promise to Aura though. They are fighting incredibly well considering the scenario. Yeah. They are having to go into the home point and they're being quite frankly dominated. Just look at the score. It's kind of look barbaric. That, oh, and he's about to, yep, that's the Hero Kiri down. Now it's down to three. Nabushi is also look. Oh! Can she turn him with the revenge though? Let's. See. Ace up your sleeve! Ace up your sleeve! No! Oh! oh. <laughs> we hold it for too long. It's a tragedy. And there's a little bit of the scuffle in mid, but obviously, I think. This is clean up now, I think, Potato. This is just straight yeah. clean up. And that, and as they say, the is that. One. That's just how the cookie comes. Now I'm hungry. I blame you. <laughs> that is 2 0 to Raw Forged. Any final thoughts on that potato? How that match went? Aside from Lamau, it was a stomp. It was uh, quite the stomp. I think it's, but it's nothing short of unfortunate, I don't think. I, I think. I think it was just simply the fact that just the way of how the attackers kept the tempo kept disrupting the way of the defenders. It, it, there's nothing much they could have done. You can see it even with the renowned scores. Mm, yeah, look, things looking a bit dark. At the dark. very least, I, I do admire the Valiant fighting. Mm, indeed. Mm -hmm, yeah, Alright. Mm -hmm. And that is that match over with. That is the other winner's semi-finals. Let me actually double check my facts on that one. But yeah, that was the 2-0. Hasn't been updated yet. Yeah, best of three still in the semis. It's only once we get to winners finals that we get best of five onwards and we will definitely be watching hello. that hello ah spaniel are you back on duty or are you having to do admin stuff I'm back on duty all right that was a nice batch there i Enjoyed enjoyed watching good commentating potato indeed hey thank you very much and verb uh, of course <laughs> thank you all right spaniel you know and what it's your Go on. yes what were you uh, i was to gonna say it's, it's potatoes i mean i feel like maybe we should let potato can carry on a little bit in the in the in the fight uh, in the women's final because one of their teams is playing is the aggressive potatoes so potentially uh, that would be nice but we also have like a bunch of other people in the VoIP who may want to have a bash yep. before we yep. get to the open floor of grand final exactly. so is it is anyone else here who hasn't had the floor want to give it a go can i, can I just say one thing about uh, having a bash i prefer to flex thank you <laughs> oh no if I Thank hadn't you, met Nora. you in person and given you a hug, Norgoz, I'd have you booted from this bloody Discord. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> right, so since no one has raised their hand by the look of it, unless I'm missing something in voice text chat. Yeah, unless there's something in the voice text. I, I, yeah, was, I was hearing nothing. Um, yeah, Observer, do you want do you want a round two? I, I, I could go for another, yeah. Who do you want to pair it with? As for my foil... You know, let, 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 let's take let's take the Spaniard on the spot. All right, all right. 
So we are One heading, I guess, to the, the winners' card. finals. Yep. Um, and the team here is. Five. It's and we have raw forged versus. Let me. I was literally just looking. Potatoes, yeah. But. Oh, the potatoes. Oh no, this is. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm. I'm mistaken. Oh. Was, I forgot that the raw forged lost the first match. This is actually the last match. Oh, I thought they, the... it was two nil. Have I just bamboozled myself? I think. Have we, we might been, have bamboozled ourselves. Have we been yeah. juked? It's oh, one one. Just... Real my... Okay. I was the mind game all along. The tiebreaker is Temple, so this must be the tie in that case. Yeah, you see, um, this is why I don't do admin work because I can't keep track of simple bloody numbers. Well, they're not. Uh, I won't. I won't. Um, point fingers. They're not doing a, a fantastic job of reporting their scores on the on the brackets as the team. Oof. I put like required screenshots, and I don't think many game many of the gamers have been taking screenshots. So maybe next time I will relax it so they don't. Have, they can just report it without screenshots, and then I won't have to worry about. <laughs> Um, them not having taking screenshots and not reporting it properly, but that's okay. Um, we'll see how this Temple Garden game plays out. All right, the floor is yours, gents. Temple Garden's been quite. Temple Garden has been quite popular this tournament. Yes, Temple Garden is a regularly picked map. Um, it doesn't have. It, it doesn't have some of the unpleasant qualities to play on as. Uh, say yeah. maps like Saint little, uh, Bridge. That's some of those makeshift rock bridges got removed anyway. Yes, well, you can still get a lot of ledges on C, but it doesn't it's, have quite it's as... Not really, it's not really stupid anymore, is the point. It's, yeah, it's definitely playable. It's been playable for quite a while Speaking now. So that was an C, interesting rotation from uh, nice Raw. Someone who actually went up to capture A quite early. Yes, so they had an interesting rotation. They've decided to go and forego mid and go straight to cap A and then come back down to team fight. So we'll see if the, I think it was the Zhan Hu that went... To yeah. Clear, uh, pick A. Will he go to mid to clear and then rotate back, back into a four v four? I think he did. Oh, he's trying to take C. back mid over there. Somebody. So they. So what happened instead of having a four v four here, one of the members of um, well, he was doing quite well. Blame it on Rippy. But... Decided to stay in mid and leave it. Leave it as um, prevent it turning into a four v three. Uh, or probably four. So then, what happened is, yeah, they have he, he kept the Janhu in mid, um, and actually it worked out in favour yeah, for quite low health. for the blue team because Didn't despite being it, despite being outnumbered on their point um, initially, they have actually managed to hold that team fight and then win it. And now they have C, which is definitely advantageous in this map, as we've talked about before, has a lower. Um, rotation times to get That's to two, mid. Two, oh no, three v two on mid. Yep, we have a. Uh, I also have a feeling someone's gonna go back to C at some point. Yep, we see. John was going back to heal though, so I think there's two of them on there now. Yep, that's the benefit uh, yeah, of no, uh, this of having C is you can going, heal going and. Hard on mid. Nice one for the. Oh, that oh, was really. Up. Oh, that was a really good a um, counter rotation nice, there. Nice. So the. Ward went over to heal back on uh, C. The oh, Hitakiri came anyway. out to, to to heal for him, to let him get the rotation back. But then the Shugo was able to disengage and take the fight back to C and prevent it. And actually now they've yeah, captured C. That freaking Centurion like died to the chip damage from the from the Hito while he was being bled. That's sad. Uh, it happens. That's one of the benefits of having variable timed heavies they're hard to parry um and you can get chip damage and so they've not they've traded points but this is a still a trade that goes in favor for the attackers but the blue team do have a big point advantage they, they also the just chip. went and capped up a yep that's what i said about well, the trading points, well, a few points in their um, favor. shall we have a look at the re the scoreboard for a moment so as you can see blue is ahead on renown quite a lot they've all got their tier ones and they're coming off on their tier twos that nobu, that nobu, nobu has her tier two she's almost got a tier three almost tier three right yeah yep uh yeah, that's it she needs 50 more now for her tier three so like one more kill will do it um, yeah like that warlord that's up. and the other guys shugo, are still they've still got the other tier twos busy with the shugo sense almost down Seems to be very slightly in the defenders. So that favor. was a very good. See, the, the Nabushi managed to get land the bleed stab on the scent, and I think he will probably bleed. I no, think he, he managed already, to get oh, no. home just oh, in, time, in time. See, um, which would cl cleanse his bleed. But that was so. Despite the scent's very high, yeah. Venge 
gain. She was able to use her dodge lights to apply bleed because they have very low revenge themselves because bleed doesn't feed revenge. So that was what, how she was able to poke the scent, but it Probably didn't go around. I don't imagine we're going to A. I mean, he's yeah. either going to A or he's going to mid to clear minions and die. Um, he's going to attempt like to go around hot. to A, but uh, set uh -huh. right. Instead, he is yeah. rushed right into the Centurion's waiting heavy, so that is a not a good look. And it looks like we're going to get triple cap. Oh, they've just broken mid, but... Raw, raw 4 is, got, is now ahead. They've got both capture points, which is a big advantage for them. Yeah, just getting, this Blue nice. has nowhere to heal. Even, honestly. We're not having the best time over on C. That was a good guard break from the uh, Janhu to confirm Bushi's high Here damage. Comes Shugo in the and save it. And he missed with his unblockable, so Juggernaut popped. Juggernaut, oh. Oh, wait, it. no, yeah, they do own this point still. Okay. Yeah, so good? they really want to defend it, and they really can't gank. You can't gank uh, Shigoki with Juggernaut because he's just. Look at like, that big damage landed. Big revenge, but he's got Juggernaut, so it actually hardly did any damage for the amount of revenge. The Warlord was 99% and didn't manage to keep that revenge yeah. going and just kill the. I figured popped. the Warlord would have tried. I figured the Warlord was trying to stall for a bit, at least until the Shugoki got one of them down. But that doesn't seem to have worked out. I mean, he did stall for well enough. They they haven't taken this point. Yeah, they a very unfavorable the point, though, gank Gents here. Is still on it, and Warlord has returned to help. And that should be a and, uh, and yeah. there we go. Now it's now the tables have turned. And that's death for Jean. Somewhat scuffed gank there, but it worked out in the end. Um, it still worked. That's the important indeed, indeed. part. Uh, what's not going to work? Oh, however, she tried is that to. Been contesting. Yeah, they tried to interrupt uh, on chain hyper armor. That's so not going to fly. Um, and yeah. nice trade there from the. Well, that's going to be flying there is the Jean book, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the Jean whose body was indeed flying. Off the map and into heaven. Uh, um, so Nobu's very close cl on the scoreboard. Nobu's yeah, close to tier four, right? Uh, yes, the Nobu is going to have a tier four any second. Oh, she's already oh got right it. now, and yeah, um, that's a fire trap too. That's very dangerous. Yep. So she'll probably be deploying it. I'm not sure if she'll be waiting for. Oh, nice guard break for arrow strike there. That was good. What happened is the, uh, the arrow. arrow strike called it out, and her ally guard break make sure the. It hits their opponent, who is now on very low health. This could be a probably. very disgusting fire trap if it decides to happen. I think like this it. is probably too early for. It's too close to breaking for her to deploy. Oh, that it. is true. They are quite um, close to breaking. And also, fire trap kills your own minions, so you don't want to put it. In yeah, the but there front. was like three three attackers there. They could have pretty much secured the point anyway. I mean, but it's it probably more beneficial to anyway. save it for later. Yeah. Um, too late on that guard break. Could have caught him in recovery. Speaking of three of them on mid. Oh, there's a fire trap. So, so now what happened? They've, they've basically yeah. capped. They're going to cap mid any second. The minions will go there, and they put fire trap there to when the, the enemy come and clear it, they will be hit by the fire trap and and deadened. They'll be um, quite. They'll, they'll find quite the surprise. Indeed, but they have unfortunately not been paying attention to A, and they've lost A. The Goki gets. Speaking up, of gets fire traps, trap. uh, Shigoki's pretty much dead. I think Defenders he will die easy. before he can get to Is he going to make it that. in time? No. Oh, oh, he made it in time! Oh! That's singular the power pixel. of the Oni charge. So this is singular a really bad pixel. position for blue, but... Yeah, at, at, the very, take... at the very least, though, the Shigoki is still on the ropes against this Warlord. Yep, and they're sending another one to, first, to gank which, him oh, here. That's him. But he... There we go. The orange oh, is coming for a take back. Simultaneous. Okay. That was good Sh Shugo's there. almost down. It would probably benefit the. Uh oh. Uh, well, there's two deaths. And the last two are right Phalanx here. Phalanx came out there from the Centurion. Oh, the and Phalanx. I just noticed that Warlord too. Warlord yeah. is going to be. Warlord is. Uh, yeah, this is not a good position. To say the no, very least. He needs to position better because he's going to get ledged any second. Not like there's really much he can do about it, though. Not the. Uh, <laughs> There we go, and yeah. that is how these things end. And I think that is that's just how it, that's just how it goes, man. That was uh, raw that wasn't, forged. That was the tiebreaker, right? Yeah. Yep. It's two two one to raw forged. So GG to those guys. They that was that was quite close. Battle. Yes, that was quite close. I think I they they had the control of the map. Even though the scores were quite close, the renown 
if you look on the orange team, they were higher up, One. and they were yeah. keeping control over the map much or, better. Yeah, because attackers the actually team. held the points for a, a lot longer than the defenders did, which let them get more renown. Yeah. I have a quick question. Yes. Can you That's explain true. the uh, minions dying from your own feet? They don't physically die, but oh, the points no. are actually. No, they, they the do enemy? physically die. Fire trap they is do. Yeah. bugged, and it for some reason, unlike fire flaps, doesn't do damage to minions, but fire trap uh -huh. does. And yeah, fire your oh, own minions okay, will sure take damage from it and die in it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Killing them Thank will you. give Thank you your enemy team points. So it's that is one. also the back. That is also like. One of the backdrops to Lucius Caltrops. Yeah. Okay. Caltrop famously does. What, what else? What else can? Uh, what, what other feats can kill your own minion and what can't? Please tell me. Uh, things like well, pretty much all direct damage feats can kill your own minions, but uh, things that are really they good at killing your own minions they tend are to, things that hit, They typically things have reduced multiple... damage to your own minions, I believe, right? Uh, I, I, I would be able to tell you if you let me finish the sentence. Okay, sorry, okay. <laughs> um, things that are good at killing your own minions are things that hit multiple times. So, Arrow Strike, Spear Storm, um, Caltrops obviously is is good because, well, it just kills, does friendly fire damage. Fire Flat Trap also does, it, each tick of fire doesn't do much damage, but it does do enough that eventually they tick over and kill your own minions. So yeah, uh, lots of the AoE multiple hitting Tier fours are quite good at killing your own minions, so they do give your enemy points if you use them and kill your own minions with them. But any feat can kill your own minions, it just needs to hit them multiple times or they need to be on low health. Minions do actually have fractional health, even right. though we can all one shot them, any minions can't one shot them. So yeah. they will be poking each other and going down on health, and, event and then your bomb can kill them or something like that. Um, and you said no Fire Flask. And you said Fire Flask is now, is it probably bug right now? Is that what it's what's going uh, on? Fire Trap, yeah. Whereas all the other fire based feats like Fire Flask and um, uh, Jan Hu's feats, they don't do damage over time to your own minions. Ah, all right, all right. So cool, um, thank you. Yeah, no worries. All right, so we are moving on to the winner's final it's Raw Forge versus the Aggressive Potatoes. Which I now think... it's the potato match. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if they met early on in the... Hopefully this doesn't... Hopefully the no, the aggressive potatoes is not a description of the router. <laughs> well, they are... The aggressive potatoes are from... Be a description South of the connect... America. It better not be a description of what the connection's gonna be like. They are from South America, but they are playing against a team that's from West um, Coast NA, so they should have quite a good connection. Okay. So the maps are going Thank to be... Christ. Um, we are going to have Pick, Overwatch, Citadel, and then Temple. And then they have Harbour. And Sanctuary Bridge is the last map. So the one that is banned is High Fork. So this is a best of five, um, as it's the winner's finals. Yes. Which I think we should get in everybody to... Yeah, the, the we're now in best of five territory, so the floor is now open. If everyone can oh chat boy. the proverbial shit if they so wish. Everyone is here, boys. Here we go. Woo! Uh. You know, this is an interesting format, actually. This is a student coach thing. Have people, like, pair up just on commentary for, like, the middle of the yeah, bracket like where it. things get a little bit, like, not necessarily so-and-so, but not every match is going to be a guaranteed banger. I do, yeah. I do, I did like that idea. Um, yeah. An nice interesting one. little uh, on-the-spot decision there. Yeah, that, I just pulled that I out my backside. Like, I was thinking, like, okay, because everyone was having the problem worked. talking. I was like, huh, let's try that. Yeah. Seems to have worked out pretty well, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I commend to you. Yeah, however, yeah, the design of this overall from the what I've been told and from the VODs I've watched is more of a laid-back thing. This is not, you know, eSports, get your G Fuel out, yeah, lads, it's time to grind. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I... I, I don't have I don't have my Mountain Dew cans here with me, so good, thank God for that. Yeah, so because of that, you know, towards the finals, you know, everyone get your stuff out. It it's just time to have watch party essentially. Yeah, we'll see. Freeze is at a barbecue at the moment, but he's planning. He should be coming back at oh, some point. So yes, the celebratory the celebratory barbecue for ruining the game. I heard about that on Reddit. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's uh, oh. planning on re-nerfing Shinobi again. Um, 
<laughs> Bloody freeze. <laughs> Sounds uh, like freeze. Yeah, that's always enough. you know doing what he can to improve the game and. Yeah. I know it's outrageous. Freeze was apparently it? going to be joining this later. Did that get called off? No, no, he's or... he's as I'm saying, he's he's coming. He's just he's, having, he's at a barbecue at the moment. He's coming later. He, he's oh, a, he's okay. just doing ancillary things like socializing, all that nerd socializing. stuff. Socializing. I am he's actually coming. super jealous. You cannot I haven't had him. a barbecue for a very long time. Hmm. Same here. Well, you I'm see, in sure America, has, there's really. going to be a lot of that tomorrow. Oh, oh yes, Fourth yeah, of July. Yeah, Fourth of July. I I kind of forgot about that, despite living in America. Actually, where I am, yeah, it's it 4th of July. What do you say, Potato? I'm just happy I get a day off. Oh, it, currently it is 4th of July already where I am. Just hit it. Yeah, you're a time traveler though, so you don't count. <gasps> well, that, that yeah, just means... This is American Independence Day? <laughs> Excuse you? I don't care, I'll drink to it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Always Fourth of July somewhere in the world. Wait, exactly. Uh, that's, that's not how that works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, uh, yeah. yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, let's go with that. Spaniard, are you drunk? Get out of here. <laughs> if only, if only. I haven't drunk for a long time either. Okay, it's so, been a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, they are just uh, setting up the lobby now. I think. Right um, I hope they won't have to go peer to peer, but it's a possibility because, like I said, the aggressive potatoes are from South America. Well, some of them are from South America. Um, all right. But I think they have been doing all right so far, so I haven't had latency issues. If there's um, some teleporting Shigokis this match, I'm going to be vastly disappointed. <laughs> I'm sure you will see a Shigoki this match. Yeah. Let me check the brackets real quick. Cause if will worst there be comes... any teleporting ones? Hmm, maybe. But a little bit of point of order. If worst comes to worst and we do can't watch that, we do still have options. Uh, in L21, yeah, the losers. Yeah, we've got Hammer right. Slam Gaming versus Bush for Heavy. And... That one's on peer to peer as well, because Bush for heavy, oh, the right. Australian. And then, in that <laughs> case, round six, uh, L28, we have Blame It on the Rippy versus the Fake OS Slayer. So we have options in case this one goes peer to peer. Yeah. We, we do, in fact, have... We, we have options to consider, as this is for honor. We have many things we can do. We have the three point, the three proverbial points we can try and capture. It can indeed. We can select one of these options. Uh, yes. I was going to do that, and you yep. kind of stole my thunder. Uh, I was, like, <laughs> was going to oh, say, we, we, have have we, have <laughs> well, we have options to select on live, but we don't have anything to select on TG. Aw, oh, indeed. How are we feeling? How, how are we? you guys in playing with TG and enjoy, enjoying the lack of options select? So you find it much harder to... It's messing with me so hard. I, I play a lot of Conqueror next to my Kensei, and I use the option select as a crutch. I am getting my face smashed in until I get used to it. It is the worst. I mean, it's funny, beneficial funny for enough, the game, but I'm going getting going bodied because of it. Funny I mean, enough, for me, it's it's been... Uh, I've, I've been finding that option select still land because a lot of people still do uh, Fate to GP. And um, um, yeah, it'll it'll still hit them. Yeah. No, oh yeah, that is what it's right. Right. Yeah, but then that then. doesn't become a parry if they throw it. No, no they just I know. haven't been. They haven't been letting them go. Ow. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, my cat is on my desk, and sitting in front of the screen, and starting to swipe at me and, and nibble me, which is uh. Well, at least Conqueror still does that. have his zone, which he can use in chain as a sort of like bargain basement version of Blade Blockade, so like... because you can use it out of light hit stun normally to block chain lights. Was quite nice. So you still have a few option selects available. Didn't to you, have enough but... steel to buy Musha, so he has to go with the Conqueror for the discount block it. If essentially uh, all if parry wanna... selects are gone, right? Yes, pretty much. Uh, if we want to give feedback on the uh, um, on the testing grounds, I do have the link to the survey. I don't know if I can put it in chat or not. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The yeah. survey's yeah. already out. I didn't realize it was Ooh. already out. Nice, good shout. I didn't until this morning either. Apparently, it was live as of oh. the first. <laughs> And uh, it is now Permit. in Twitch chat, and I'll put it in uh, our Gauz. General? Oh, not Gauz. Oh, that's the wrong person. I did know Gauz's evil <laughs> cousin. <laughs> and then... There we are. Now, that should uh, let you post in Twitch chat. There we are. You have 60 seconds to post in Twitch chat, Norgoz, the survey link. I also permitted your evil cousin, not Goz. <laughs> the not Goz. 
you just I have a question. Yes. Hmm? There we go. Can anyone get into an unblockable faster than a raider with his zone? I mean, Black Prior can unblockable from neutral as well. Um Yeah. I was just I was playing the testing ground in Dominion and I mean it's chaos right now anyway, but I was having such a hard time because there was this raider who was just putting like infinite external pressure on me in a two v one. It was a headache to say the least. The freaking well, Beyblading raiders are so yeah, annoying. The testing grounds. The thing you can do against him is it is quite slow, so you should be able to actually interrupt. If you're fast enough, you should be able to interrupt it on reaction with a light attack. All right, we have an eye. Oh, thank you. There's, I was a, sleeping at the wheel. Mo yep. hey, moist a eye. moist eye. Hey, Don't moist say eye. the word moist eye ever again, Spanid, or I'm kicking you from your own server. Ooh, they've, <laughs> they've not, it, won't a, it won't be a moist eye left Rebellion. in the house at the end of this. Usurp him, depose game. him. It's his server, but somehow we'll figure out where to kick him. <laughs> We have a Highlander in the Yo! world. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. So, yeah. Highlander? And a Griffin. Exist? And a Griffin. Portland. Okay, you that do? was a Griffin. I'm not oh, Both yeah, on aggressive like potatoes. Accurate. That's both on aggressive potatoes in the blue. Raw Forged are in the red. Yeah. Or in the orange. So, these guys are. They're, so, they're the South American team. They do have more experience than some of the other teams. Because it just turns out yeah, to be you can that. Tell that warlord is from Brazil. Uh, sure. Um, they, yeah, they have more experience <laughs> during, um, <laughs> than some of the other teams because they. Well, it just so happens that all the players who entered from South America tend to happen to be a bit more experienced. And I, because I put teams together by region so they could all practice together, they. A little bit more experienced than others, but I'm surprised to see a Highlander. Diva is quite quite well known for posting Highlander techs. Um, so he's a few he's contributed oh. to the info hub with some Highlander knowledge before. So I'll be I'll be interested to see if we see any specific Highlander Goki ganks, for example. Well, I think there might be an infinite Highlander Goki gank. What do you say, Observer? Um, will he reveal new tech to us this match? Or maybe well, he has maybe already he will. matches that we missed. Maybe. We haven't seen them um, beforehand, so this is the first time we've expected them. Um, I think there probably is an infinite Highlander Goki gank where you hug and then um, you, off the back of the hug you land Kabatos and then you a heavy off Kabatos and then a hug off the heavy. So I will be interested to see if we find one of those. Um, Somehow, despite Highlander having one of the slowest speeds in the game and Goki being crazy, crazy fast, they both managed to get to the C point at about the same time, which boggles my mind a little bit, to be honest. But, um... Oh, actually, it looks like Highlander is going to get taken out. Yeah, oh. eating a lot of damage very quickly. Yeah. Brothers in arms, all together. We have four orange, and now we have five orange with the added revenge on Gwiffin. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, there we are. There's the GB you oh, finally wanted. Oh, he got the light parry. He could have gone for a full... Oh, dear. That was... Oh, Rico can't. could have... That was a guaranteed kill from just a regular charged heavy rather than going for that. But oh, you can't... If you dodge, you have to parry that. If you dodge it, confirms the headbutt. If you block it, confirms the headbutt. If you get hit by it, confirms the headbutt. It's a bit bugged at the moment, to be honest. And another reason why Goki is crazy good. So, so they haven't capped this point yet. So they're not feeding Defender Renown by dying on it, um, which is beneficial for Blue because they've died on it quite a lot already. But we'll see if they manage to get off here because they do have the numbers advantage in this team fight. Although it is taking quite a long time, and in that time, he has already got two points. They've had it for quite a while. Oh, that was a bad headbutt there. Gave him revenge. And you don't want to be that low against the Goki in revenge. Blue is all very low. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Man. Highlander Celtic Curse. Paying off from that time. C point still Warlord neutral two minutes into the match. Still neutral. This happens quite a lot in these maps that are very C focused, especially with teams that uh, don't have dedicated gankers or aren't practiced on their ganking because. The respawn time isn't that long, and, you, and if you manage to stall out for long enough, you can get a rotation back in quite easily. Um, so that's the benefit of having get, running gankers like Centurion, um, Gladiator. You can get off very quick ganks to finish off these. Um, oh, 
almost cheeky Fights. revive. Headbutt. Put pay to that, though. Reuse the roll. Keep himself out of dodge. Juggernaut pop to give himself a little bit of a reprieve to get his stamina back. I'm having a funny feeling, though, that this point isn't going to be breaking for at least another 30 seconds because I do spy yeah. reinforcements on both sides of the screen. Slowly, they're making their way back into C once again. And I think Blue is doing, making the same error that that we've seen on previous maps where very well, nice... Props to the Centurion boosting A the entire time. Oh yeah, Rico I mean, just vibing. The entire time. I think he's been. I mean, maybe he's been boosting the entire time. I think I he's mean, been boosting at least since like uh, since he died that one time. Because I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen him go to C. Ever I mean, since, he did because uh, he got three takedowns. Um, oh, he was there earlier. Right. Uh, Fair every once in a while, but he's not been a common face there. Fair enough. That was a guaranteed offensive dance light, which would have interrupted him there. Um, or a defensive sense kick, I think. But it's always easy to point out mistakes from the back seat. Are we going to see C point finally go to one team? <coughs> they got 3v1 on it. Unless, oh, of course. <laughs> Goki is now making. That's actually a good play here. He's going probably for the back cap on A, knowing that enough members of the Defenders orange team have left it. So they basically. I mean, we say donated it, but. Really, they didn't have um, much Question. of a choice there. Yes? Questionable play by that Warlord there, leaving their teammate there to um, on A yeah, point. I, th I was going to say there was some good comms yeah. by the two of them going under the point together to cap it, but um, maybe there's a mis miscommunication because the Warlord took off immediately. Yeah, and left his ally on half health against the Goki, which... <laughs> has not paid off for him. I do want to jump kid. in here for a moment real quick. We have a question from the chat. Kevin Han 99 asks, Hey guys, is there an up-to-date frame data after CCU? Yes. Yes, there's up-to-date frame data after CCU. The can... info hub is what you're looking for. If you go I into the um, uh, learning resources channel in the dojo, um, in, the do in the trials server, it's the first link there. Um, and I think... I'm not sure we've got a command for it, but quite a few channels do have an info hub command. That is your premium source of frame data for For Honor. Um, uh, what's the I do one? believe it is also linked, uh, is also pinned in the bigger uh, main For Honor server in the questions and answers chat. Yep, it's. Uh, I, I am the one who looks after that one. I maintain it. And nice light parry there from Sleep Whisperer. Yeah. Oh, and he somehow managed to not get hit. How is he alive? <laughs> um, I think he could probably try and get out of there. No. Oh, yeah. And he, he got out of there in uh, the wrong direction into uh, the, the Griffin's heavy attack. So this is not a very good matchup for Centurion and he has no um, nice light. Are we again. about to finally see C point taken by a team? Please. Unless, no, it finally. Finally! Ooh, I'm leaving yeah. the point and we're never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Taking of C point. Like, hey, like seven the... minutes into the match. <laughs> I am not <laughs> taking the, the camera before. back to C for the rest of the bloody game, so help me God. <laughs> well, I hope we don't miss any exciting ledges there. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think this game would have been a little bit closer to being breaking on the attacker's end if they'd have been able to grab mid while there was a lot of fighting going on as well earlier on. That's a fair point, actually. Yeah, yeah potentially try and divert people. I see what you mean there, Goz. I think they did for... The thing I'm mid is it takes yourself back time, again, so you have to be constantly right. paying attention to it, otherwise you'll lose it just by, by osmosis, as it were. Um... Jean, who's gonna... Jan who oh, he's got revenge! Yeah, nice! Probably off target, unblockable. You can't hug out of revenge armor, so... They're using the dodge cancel to put, keep himself constantly in... Oh no, he blocked it instead of parrying it. That headbutt's confirmed. But they've kept, they've swapped for zone C, so... That's beneficial to Orange, they do need to take mid. I think, did he hit the wall on the, on the back then? Potentially? Staggering blow is up. This is really dangerous for... It just dropped. No, it just it, dropped, yeah. and so did... So did the... Key. Goku. <laughs> so GB the Heavy is here with the Warlord. They're going to be at the These mercy. These guys are now getting their... 
they're now getting their renown back because they own this point. Um, oh, and they have right. been getting kill after kill on it. And you can see now the Highland has just unlocked his tier 4 feet. Goki can't be far off his either. Um, oh, this this is this is dead. Uh -oh. oh, no, this oh. is a... No! Okay, this is... Oh, there we go. Now it's dead. I mean, that's... Salute Whisperers should be able to... Oh, that is spear storm. That was cheeky you. from Deba. That was cheeky. That was a, cr a cross map spear storm. Spear storm. I think he got two kills with yep. it. Yeah, Rico Moist. He killed. Nice. Uh, I mean, you there. We don't see Highlander very often, but it's undeniable that, that feat is one of the most powerful feats in the game. And now they are in a very good position because they are double boosting against, and they have both of the capture points. Orange team have to commit Whoa. fully to one of them, and they're gonna, they're going to choose C. But yeah. it is very dangerous because they are likely to go into breaking during this fight. They don't have... Oh, wait, the Fury Flask come out. Two Fury Flasks will come out, I think. Is that one from each team? Yeah, that's I one from each team. I think it must be, though. right? There's one from each Warlord. Yeah, let's um, go white yeah. and see who spent it. Yeah, Manon of Astaroth burnt his, and so did GB for Heavy. Yeah, one from each team. But I don't think anybody really... Uh, one blue person died from it, right? And that's a uh, Staggering Blow has come out. Not bad. Has staggering blows Maybe. available. Let's see if he can make some good use out of it here. He's going to get parried once or twice. Going to go for the dash forward. No dice. That gets blocked. Go because in zones. Moist gets there dropped. Excellent gets headbutt, it. though, by Silent Whisperer to buy some space. Very Not nice. bad. It's actually they, been. They, is, they are sneaking in, in the meantime, by the way. And they've gone into very nice. G that was a GBOS there. Um, won't be possible for long. Defenders are, uh -oh. Defenders are breaking. They've captured A in the meantime. Yeah. And this is. Oh. Uh, they manage. They lose mid, so it's very close. But Frankie, that was a very that was touch and go for the defenders there. Been a hop off for now. Been fun vibing oh. in here. To our observer. Oh, thanks, thanks for coming on by. Well. Appreciate it. Yeah, it, it, it. Maybe I'll show up in the future, but uh, for now, peace out. Caesar. Peace. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Attackers are breaking. Oh, oh, very solid oh, turnaround. That is That's a, a bad turnaround. breaking. That is a huge turnaround. That during during the breakings, mm -hmm. um, coming in for the for the defender side, that Griffin just took out two teammates, and they didn't have enough time to actually be able to revive. They're down by two. Attackers are down by two. Yeah, well, it I looks think like they they have to. That's huge. A, yeah. Well, Moist there ran to A rather than going to what? clear mid, which was the. I think, I mean, it didn't help because his teammate got ledged, but if he'd cleared, if he'd focus on mid then, Zhenhu is one of the strongest mid characters because he can on, he can minion lock onto his, with his zone. Um, I think then that would have potentially unbroken them uh, because that's, at that point, they didn't have a full... Exactly. Well, the, the Zhenhu just barely caught them before they captured A point. Yeah, well, I mean, it didn't help him getting getting there anyway. If he'd, if they'd have unbroken and then they'd capture A point, it would have still respawned the two that were dead already. So you needed folks on unbreaking before, um, because that that let's say, that fight up on A wasn't winnable with two against four. So I think it changed when when they won C in that first fight for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, which with the first fight, which one? The one that lasted like. So, uh, yeah, the 20 yeah, minute fight at the minute. beginning of the, every <laughs> Overwatch game. All right, let's have a look at the brackets. See, so we have quite a lot of time for the. Hopefully, with the winner's final being best of five, the bracket will result. The losers, losers bracket will make good progress because we are now in round five of the losers bracket. Um, that should be. Oh, Hammer Slam Gaming have won their match against the Australians, and are oh. now against Button Mashers, which is the team belong uh, team coached by um, Academican. So Kyle's team might well be playing against might be play, might be playing ha might well be having a grudge match against uh, Raw Forged if they if they if they're lucky. So the second map here is going to be um sorry let me check i think it's going to be citadel yeah citadel is the next one and road steam will be raw forge will be playing as the attackers on citadel all right 
I did actually want to ask, is it mm -hmm. uh, common to see Aramushas or anything in uh, in these competitive series? Because I mean, not I, I thought he was in a relatively good state after his rework, but... It's... So, common is not maybe the, the right word. He is definitely a viable pick, and amongst the top teams, they have been switching more and more to playing Aramusha. So, there's been... A, a recently, has been a sort of... I mean, as happens in when you have a new meta, new characters, there's been yeah. a, a sort of period of experimentation. And immediately after the... Um, oh, we've got eyes, by the way. Thank you. Um, yeah. Immediately after the testing ground characters dropped, people were not rating JJ and Aramusha particularly highly for 4v4s, mm -hmm. and, and particularly Aramusha was rated kind of mid-level. But they top teams have been scrimming and practicing with him and experimenting, and now JJ and Aramusha are definitely very much features of the um, at, at the top. And partly the reason for that is because Aramusha has a strong gank with his um, Ring the Bell, and importantly, you can set it up. Ring the Bell is completely unreactable at the highest level, so mm. the, the top level, the very fastest players, they can react to four dodge bashes like Headbutt and Centurion's Kick. So set, mm. having ganks that set up from that is actually quite difficult, whereas Aramusha's, they can't react to his, and therefore he has an advantage yes. in terms of setting up ganks from that. So it's actually looking very interesting this game. It's, they've got a gladiator in addition to their Highlander now. Swapped in a Oh yeah, Mark Top is running Gladiator. Mark Top likes Gladiator and Peacekeeper as well. He's a big fan of both of those. Nice trying to rotate away. I'm not sure if he's trying to bait Rico into following him because Rico chasing in that situation was really not the play. Um because But they managed to win B. They have managed win B, and they're pushing on to C now as well. Big damage going out from Gladiator onto the Goki. A lot of that was a free so kill if the um, uh, Griffin okay. hadn't been if it hadn't been sleeping. Um, oh, that was a bit rude. Okay. Toast. You see Toast Stab. You. I mean, you have the light. You go for it. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, and see that. See Swatted that out tiny mistake. Air. That tiny mistake has cost them this push onto onto C point because yeah. they would have been, uh, yeah, uh, they would have had a numbers advantage and they could have done a quick gank on the guy who showed up. Instead, ended up as a two v two, and the guy, and then a three v two, and then the gladiator went down. And just that one mistake of missing sleeping on the toe stab gank was enough for them to. I mean, this is a losing fight here. That they, they can't yeah. the fight. And it was really, really, really not. Not bad, really ought to be getting the hell out of dodge. But I mean they are they are um you know stalling quite stalling point game quite considerably. They're also feeding a lot of renown. Um that and I think a quick look at the scoreboards. Yeah, you can see uh, the orange team despite being quite far behind on kills and uh you know, they're very far behind on points, they've they're ahead on renown and actually this early in the game. Is, that's pretty big. So one death, the guns guys are gone up from 120 renown to 160 renown. It's another lot of defenders renown gone. They're, they're, oh we've got tier three is going to be coming out on the center in. So yep. this, this is the the real disadvantage of pushing. Like these guys might have their, they might be up to their tier fours if they can get another kill on this point. I mean they are l losing the actual score in a big way, and then don't need to add a third tag in on a guy. That was, that was bad. Like, adding third tags is not something we want to do. Um, and so whilst they are big, very behind on score now, they have a, going to have a big renown advantage that might help them push in. in Spaniard, admirable Sorry. effort, but have you considered taking a breath within the next seven business days? <laughs> <laughs> Chill, my uh, dude. We've no. got plenty. We've got plenty of people Breathing. here. Breathings for the week. <laughs> Bre breathing is for the week. <laughs> that's, that's why you react to like... everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't react to anything. Daniel I'm just like... confirmed. Oh. But they, they did a really did good job of. Yeah, that's a big push. 
No, guys, what's going on? They did a great job with the yeah. opening. <laughs> they did a great job. I just, I just wanted to point out how great their opening was, but as Spaniard pointed out, that one botched gank there or lack of commitment on it was what really turned this around, and it could have been a... It could have, I mean, clearly the score is still in favor of the defenders, but this could have been a lot different uh, if they had uh, finished it up earlier on and made it a little bit cleaner. It was a really strong start. They you know, pretty much team wiped everybody, and they pushed onto the point, and they practically had it. But yeah, I mean, good good plays overall. I agree with Spaniard on the uh, on that. That was a bit of an upset there. It allowed the uh, attackers to get in there. Yeah, I mean, the gamble seems to have paid off for them, though, uh, because yeah. they are so far ahead yeah. on points. This is now... This game is a foregone conclusion, really. Um, I don't see any way that Blue can bring this back. I'm uh, sorry, Orange can bring this back with, you know, 600 point deficit. Goldie and Wallard also are a little bit behind on Banana, I think, compared to everyone else. Here's a scoreboard for you, Potato. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that's not great. Just an FYI for those of you just joining us, this is the Widders Finals. This is the second match. Aggressive Potatoes 1-0 up against Raw Forge, fishing for a 2-0 in this best of five. Not Deba currently getting punched repeatedly. I'm fairly sure this is Scoy. Ah, there's the weapon bounce we were talking about yeah. earlier on today. Deborah's no. left light attack actually ended up clipping the wall. Dead oh, that was a around. really Heal. good car break from Noobringer there. That, I mean, maybe a bit jammy and a bit lucky, but I probably would have gone for a bash instead, but it was, it saved Debra's life, at least momentarily. All we need is the Griffin to pull off another one of those two kills at the end of this the game. This is a tier and, 4 uh... opportunity now for the, the orange team. He's not using his tier 4, saving it for next game. Yep, Oof. there we go. Pint tier 4 then could have, could have killed the, the Griffin outright. Um, mm -hmm. And given them, a, let them gank with a scent against the Goki on half health. So Great that would have captured the point. Confirmed. Mark Top doing a really good job of stalling against uh, this this warlord. Nice bash select there. Get out of there. Yeah, play it good safe. Don't feed. He's done a, He's been playing fantastic. I mean, from the very beginning when he came over here and he tried to... Again, I don't. Well, I, I agree. I don't know if he was. they were trying to bait them into chasing or not, but they did a great number on the... Uh, since Shireen got the kill on there and then moved on up and w even was in a 1v1 there for a bit and just managed to, to, to saw up her teammates. And a very nice tier 3 coming out from neutral. Yeah. <laughs> you hate to yeah. see it. I think he did, did the same thing. Yeah, time for that. Was, oh, oh, he got shot instead. Shot, <laughs> they are going to get this point. There's another. We all got fighting in multiple parts of the map. I'm trying to get a good camera angle, but everyone's all over the place. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. See that Apologies. very good guard break from Noobringer there. Times to mm. confirm the fully charged unblockable from his uh, his um, Goki, and this is going to give them the back cap. My camera angles mm. will be a lot smoother, Maybe. but my controller ran out of battery, so I'm making this up with my, as I go along. Gladiator has Hyper. walked into a 1v2 of his own accord, and now it's a 2v2. Goki has his tier 4 up, which is, yeah, Ooh. not oh. what you want. Nice toe stab. Toe stab obviously interrupting hyper armor. Juggernaut comes out. Drops. Rico, I think, does he drop to his own Goki? Oh. Yeah, yeah the feed affects your allies, right? Yeah, I think he got clipped and killed by his own, I mean, like, dropped full stop. Nice dodge. Oh. Oh, hey! Hey! oh, and this is really, really bad for the Attackers orange team. Raw Forge. It, for Raw Forge. It was Ford. a huge risk, but it paid off in a big way. Yeah. yeah. All, all pushing on to C. Which is, all, all C. I mean, they have to do that, but they also need they need mid and they need A to unbreak. So I think this is I think this is gonna go one way. Yeah. And I guess. Uh, uh, the aggressive potatoes early push into this point had, really did pay off for them. So that that point generation was enough to offset the renown advantage, um, which they gave. Nice fury flask in there. From the, you see the Highlander on this map picked fury flask because both of the yeah, uh, point capture are points indoors. are open, are closed rather. So he can't use his can't use um what's in the space can't use spear storm. Yeah, that's it. You can't use that in, in closed points. He picked Fury Flask, and they also didn't have a wall either, so 
they wouldn't have a wall to, to stop picking through Flask. Very nice to play from these guys. You know, a common question that comes up with, with Fury Flask is when to use Fury. Would you like to go into that? So, um, one of the... Yeah, I can go into that. Um, Fury is one of these feats that's really good on its own, but comes, like, incredibly good with fl Flask. And you can use it to stall. So, sometimes wars have a tendency to save it to only use Fury Flask and not pop Fury when they need to use Fury to... Um, keep themselves alive in an anti-gank, but in general, uh, you want to don't want to give people to, want to give people warning that you're going to be throwing out flask. So it's best to throw the flask and then pop fury just before the flask explodes, which gives you enough time to get the damage buff on the flask, but doesn't give people warning that you've popped fury and you're about to throw a flask. Having said that, good teams now will. Like they see a warlord approach, you can see the feats they've got available, mm -hmm. and they'll be they will see that there's a a flask and fury available, and they will know to not stick together too closely. Otherwise, you're going to give the warlord a very good opportunity to use that fury flask, and also to put pressure on him constantly, so he doesn't have the, doesn't have the opportunity to throw it away. The so warlord can peel out from the team fight, then he gets space to throw fury throw his flask. Then that's often a team fight winning thing. So you have to be keep a close eye on him. Hope that answered your question. Oh no, it was more. I was just giving. I was just saying that that's a common question, giving you the, the opportunity to discuss it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I, I knew you did. I knew. Although, you did. I knew you. Knew I feel like I feel like Spaniard <laughs> needs to chill for a bit because chat is asking Spaniard ASMR when. Oh, baby. Spaniard no. ASMR. Stop. Hey, hey, give well, it to us. Then, then I'll piggyback off of that. When it comes to like with with Fury and Flash, one thing you may uh, some things that you will also see is uh, typically when there is a Warlord on a point, preferably if you own that point, and you're going to be getting Defender Renown off kills, and you're getting close to your Tier Four, you may pop that preemptively, anticipating you're going to get your Tier Four. That way, it's already running when your Tier Four comes up, so that you can uh, skedaddle away really quickly and then throw that down, and uh, when your teammates come in and uh, finish up the team fight. Anyone got any prop yep. bets on if we're going to see any brand new particular heroes brought in? Because we've seen, what, Glad, Highlander, and Griffin, all brand new. I don't have a specific hero in mind, but I think that Highlander might get swapped out. I, oh, I think he's playing really well. Um, I don't think he will be swapped out. Diva is a big fan of Highlander, Highlander main. So I don't think he will be swapped out. And, oh, you can see he's not swapped out, so... Compositions are identical. And again, they've chosen not to go for Warlord, which is a really interesting choice, especially on this map where ledges on C are so much more prevalent than in uh, Citadel Gate or um, in the yeah, previous maps. So we'll see if GB for Heavy... No, is it GB for Heavy? Yeah, G if GB for yes. Heavy's Crashing Charge is is enough to swing this match in favor of them, which they need to, because otherwise this is the, uh, uh, what's it called? Round point? Match point? Yeah, match point. So we're, we're in, in winners' final. finals, best of five, and aggressive potatoes who are in the blue, unless I'm mistaken, are 2 nil up on Raw Forged. Yep, yeah, that is correct. I missed the map. I, I assume this, were, with the way you're talking about it, it's High Fort? No, this is, uh, Temple. Oh, it is Temple. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Another yeah, Temple C map. point. Oh, yeah, I, I thought is 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 just Warlord the map. Um, yeah. yeah, I think they've actually <laughs> banned that one. Um, yeah, we banned High Fort. Oh. oh, good. Wait. Oh, hello. Who is that in Nash? Hello, Nash. Hello. hello. So yes, yeah, so this is Nash's uh, team. He is he's the coach. Do you want to yes, tell sir. us a little bit about your training regimen you've been put these guys through? You see, the the, the, the really big thing here is that they we basically didn't do anything. They were pretty much all organized already. And <laughs> my team has pretty much got it all on their set on their own. So I basically just trusted them and I'm coming to check out on them and uh, you know give them any details of what they're missing out on or things they could change. It's been going great so far. I don't think we have lost one single round yet, so nice. Very nice. Well I hope you can continue to be proud of them. Yeah, it's going great. You know what? Change of oh, yeah. pace. Let's look at A first. We could look at C all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I've, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing how this plays out. Mark's been playing really solid on Gladiator for uh, at least, you know, last couple of games. Oh, this is a very nice GB. Not falling for that. But going out of stamina, they ball yeah, the light. stamina light. You love to see it. We've been seeing a lot of those these last two matches. Oh, good light parry. Oh, dinosaur arms! First time we've yeah, seen it today. Oh. And you turn it around, almost. Oh! oh. oh. Give him the full oh. camera. Oh, that was a hype moment. God damn! What a yeah. comeback! Oh, Very I good. Think, I think Moist could have thrown him off the edge then. If he, I think he was close enough to get uh, a ledge. He gets the spotlight for the entire thing based on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll follow Mark around. Oh, you, you just... oh yeah, I guess he's watching over. Hmm. And they've capped C as well, so this is a very good start for the, the blue team. Good guard break there on the recovery. Um, did knock him too far for the warlord to get damage. <laughs> See that little turret spin around? That's what we call. That's the demon drift in action. Oh, we actually have some text-based commentary from uh, Swanhu in the chat. Yeah, the Xianhu forward throw could have ledged. Ah, that's good to know. Yeah, we, we have these missed opportunities sometimes. Yeah, everyone's smooth brains on various things. Yes, I'm oh, keeping an eye on Discord, Swan. You're going in too. One way or another. I don't even call it smooth brain. You, like, you're hyper-focusing on a uh, on nice guard break for the skewer there. That should be an execution as well. Yeah, may maybe it is a little bit... Uh, maybe it's too deprecating to say smooth brain, but yeah, sometimes the simple things just go out the window when you've got the adrenaline going of a tournament. Yeah. yeah, especially in a really close 1v1 like that, map awareness, you know, isn't always the first thing on your mind. Where was this? The the chat? Uh, in a oh, dojo, in a voice, dojo text. voice text. In the, in the Discord. Oh, thank you. Basically the way for people to talk without in the chat without having a voice. There it is. I, I was making sure I didn't miss something and I was not oh, good. Uh, going crazy. Sleep Whisperer, speaking of things talking quietly or not at all, gonna be quite low HP. Has reinforcements coming though, never mind he lost his toes. I'm gonna shut up now because I be cursing people. <laughs> you usually, that's, un you know you know what, something, you know, commentation on the commentator, that's something Burp does very, very well, is, is cursing <laughs> everyone that he talks about. Every single time. It's a talent, I tell you. Good job, man. We love you for it, we love you for it. Yeah. It's amazing as well because obviously a spectator's mode is on delay. It's gonna be. So, no. Oh, how did he not get ledged then? That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. New bringer is suffering against Warlord's constant frame advantage, but he was too aggressive and put himself out of stamina, which is not where you want to be. Nice. That would have been a free GB, but teammate came in. That's a that's a ledge. How? No, how? No, oh, there, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> for a second, for a second, he might have been safe. <laughs> And then the the magnetic water just the magnetic water just <laughs> reached out for him. Reached out its <laughs> aqueous tendrils. That's gonna be an A cap. Oh yeah, that That's is gonna be a free A cap. Moist They're coming out on the now. I don't think he will get enough heal off before he gets Half. rotated on though. Um, this is going to be a. Oh, I don't know. maybe. Damn, I'm good. Elf. Very nice, Norgoz. <laughs> Let's see what we can do in the 1v1 here with the Gwiffin versus the Jean Hu. Jean Hu did a really good job even under pressure with, with the Gladiator. I was actually impressed they didn't uh, they didn't uh, kind of buckle under it, although they were really behind on the HP. Again, in this situation, also behind on HP. Nice baiting out dodge attack there. Not for much longer if things keep going the way they're going. We saw then the Griffin. Oh! Oh! Shotgun just got blocked. They saw the Griffin then interrupting uh, the Zhang Hu's finisher, finisher heavies, which it's very good at doing off light. It's done, so. Nice one there from the Goki. Didn't, didn't roll out far enough. I mean, this is looking. This map is very snowball y, like, as to be honest, most are, but um, it is not looking like it's going to go for. <laughs> for Accidental 400 IQ out of stamina heavy interrupts the attempt of the bash. <laughs> Accidental is entirely, uh, entirely oh, intended. Oh, oh. oh, he's going for the ledge himself. 
question is, can he? Yoki's not having any of it. He's not falling for it. Good, good discipline from both players oh. there, honestly. Oh, wow. no. Ooh, in the light. <laughs> nice trade. Oh, the mean. juggernaut pop. He can't take another hit, I, though. I think it did save him, but he... It put himself... He also got hit by it hit by that heavy during the Juggernaut pop, and he hasn't got he much did. health to trade with, so it might not actually really have been a good one. Oh, maybe? No. That was have been... The sense should have confirmed that. Yeah. Um, right. The guard break. Oof. Rico is unfortunately getting attacked by a hitbox and ends up dropping. What were you saying to do? I'm surprised the sense didn't go for the revive on Shugoki, right? It was out of range. Right? Or would it not have been possible? And it's also not necessarily a good thing. It's, it's easy to peel against. You've got four seconds to do it. And what happens? You end up with a Shigoki on half health at this point, and it takes about the same amount of time for him to die and respawn and come back anyway, because seeing as Shigoki is super fast nowadays. Again, we see that finisher heavy being interrupted by the light by the Griffin. He knows how to do that. He's going to be exploiting the fact that Moist isn't parrying on lights very easily. For those of you just joining us, this is the third match. Sorry, just due to the status of the real quick, because I am seeing one or two retweets, so there might be some new people coming in. This is the winner's finals. This is the best of five in the For Honor, Discord, For Honor Dojo's student and coaches tournament, I believe is the official title. It is currently the winner's finals. Aggressive Potatoes 2-0 up against Raw Forged in a best of five series. We have... Basically all of the boys in the Discord right now, just kind of doing a sort of pseudo watch party, pseudo mass commentary desk going on. And we're also seeing Debus hit people repeatedly with the back of his sword. Did he get hit with the front of his sword? Nice oh, somebody gets punched Two off the edge. Oh, skewed Very off the edge solid well. double dead. Okay, I'm calling it right now. Glad's freaking MVP. Hmm. I mean, I quite like the long-range spear storm oh, in, in the previous one, but in, maybe it's definitely true. MVP of this game, I think. Yeah, Mark Top has done some pretty slick stuff. We're going to see a nice jug pop oh. there. He, that was a really good jug pop, actually. Um, I think he knew that Mark had his um, fear itself jammed and out there, and he was basically just wasted it on the guy with the. Uh, with um. Juggernaut, but I'm not sure that's going to make make a difference in the end of things. Um, this could be it. This is the first time we've seen breaking, be. and it's raw forged on the back end of it. What? What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, dodge bash. Well, yeah. You, Centurion just really can't do much against that dodge bash. He doesn't want dodge attack of his own to punish it. Oh, Whoa, very nice. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Can't roll away from him forever. Right in uh, the back. Not oh, that it's going to make a difference win. at the end of the day. <laughs> Three nil. Well, that's it. Aggressive potatoes. That's that aggressive is the potatoes. winners Thank decided. You. So aggressive potatoes get Very the golden parachute. Indeed, they have to lose twice if in the uh, in the grand finals, which will be not for a, a a decent amount of time. I think we are going. Have a look at the progress on the loser's bracket at the moment. Oh, yeah, let's actually pull those brackets up and have a look now. Refresh. Survey says we've got. Femboy, Femboy Army, Army Hammer Slam. Hammer Slam Gaming. All right, I imagine that's going to be the match we're going to be watching next. However, before we do, break time for everyone. I desperately need to go to the toilet. So, everyone, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves for a bit. I'll leave you all live. Please be behave, all of you. I'll be right back. For well, honor's life, pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to think of, of doing that. It would be rather unpleasant. Might do a voice break as well. I've been talking a lot. Cat is also yeah. yelling at me and wanting attention and jumping at me and biting me, which is. If I'm, that's a, that's if a I'm being perfectly cat honest, that's kind of why I had to step away for a minute earlier. My cats yeah. are freaking out. Cats are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're not listening to me. You're not paying me attention. I'm going to. Nibble your elbows until you do so. Gotta love cats. I want to see if we can get Rohit in because his team won't be in for. Yeah. His team won't be playing for a while, so he might be talking to them now. Um, giving them a sort of a, uh, a dressing dressing room pep talk. Hello. Yep. 
Rohit, how's it going? Oh, oh, there he is. Um, doing good. How are you um, feeling? I'm just, I don't know, I'm shocked. Because I have no idea who these other people were on the other team. But they just fucking, like, stopped. They're doing very, very well. I think they play matchmaking together quite a lot. There's not a huge number of South American players, so I ended up yeah. playing on the same team, and I guess they play together quite a lot as well. Um, according to Nash, they were taking care of They're playing really training. well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they probably already knew what to do. Uh, just, I could tell that by watching, but they're playing really good for South Americans, because I don't really, I mean, there's no real South American scene. So I'm it's cool seeing that. Brazilian tournaments a while, like, a while back, but... Well, those are, like, once in a blue moon, but, I mean, it's cool seeing South American players. Yeah, definitely. I what do you think your team needs to do to, um, to bring it back if they fight them again? I think, uh, my team was just outclassed. Hard. So, uh, they're beatable. I think we're probably just going to watch some of the games back while we wait, to be honest. Because there's not a whole lot I can tell. Just by memory. Okay, um, I am it's a good thing they're recording. There you are. Uh, we, we have Rohit with us, um, ah. coach of the uh, Raw Forge, which is, I guess that's the pun on your name, Rohit. I'm assuming, yeah, they picked the team name. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't like the team they didn't like, didn't like my team. team. <laughs> they yeah. did like the uh, the Pro ball drop picture, photo. or yeah. yeah, they had no <laughs> idea like who it was. Things. Company for just a second to let you know. Uh, Kyle said that they're starting game one. Thank you, much appreciated. Nice. Uh, can I get a target for that? Uh, actually, let me just look for it. That will. That was uh, the oh, Ledgemeister. Monty. Yeah, Monty yeah. Bucks Ledgemeister. Oh yeah, Ledgemeister. Yeah. yeah. Monty Bucks Ledgemeister. All right, let me get them inputted into my. Not exactly high tech overlay, but my overlay, and then. Oh yeah, oh sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, just go on. I, I was finished. I was just reading. I was reading Twitch chat, and one of the uh, South American players were saying they have a scene, but they never get the chance to play. Yeah, well, I'm so. glad that we can be a. Uh, this can be a tournament that you guys can participate in because yeah, South American, uh, South America is often. Yeah, because I I've never heard of any of these players in my life, so it's cool knowing them now. That there's like actual, they're pretty decent, like. It just shocked me, I guess. I don't really know what it is to say. <laughs> well, well I know a few of them uh, from contributing with, on the Info Hub and some other things. So they do, they, 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 they knew that. They know their shit. Time. Yeah, they yeah. do. And they're showing it off nicely. I didn't see any of the Highlander Goki Infinite Gank that I was hoping to see. So maybe if you can go watch. It would have been very interesting to see. <laughs> Wait, what? The, How yeah, have I not heard this? Are you, um,. You basically uh, caber toss off a. You land a hug, so you guard break for hug, and then you caber toss off the end of the hug, and then you land a heavy and you land another hug, and you repeat that until they die. Um, it used to be a thing when back in. when Goki was, you know, back in before season 9 when he had his neutral hug, and it's a, it's a thing again now. It's just a. The old version. That's yeah. I'd just, actually, I'd just like to point like, out that my, my Yorm hey, has Kyle. made it back. Yeah. My Yorm, my Yorm has been eliminating Aussies, EU folks, whatever, man. So Taking names. Yorm, they didn't know. Okay? Yorm yeah. was the... Yorm we was we the, will put respect Yorm's on Yorm's machine. name, lest we invoke <laughs> the wrath of Norgos. Or Psy. <laughs> no, it's charged pretty bad. But with no OS, it's charged pretty good, because it's terrifying then. Yeah. Unlockables that wall splash you and do tons of damage. Completely yeah. different game in no OS world too, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still think he will lose out on account of not having any dodge attack, so he has no option yeah. himself yeah. to defend That's... against anything that Faint Guard Break would... Um, All he has to do is get into a gank situation, though, and then no. it's huge. Yeah, yeah. Now what? to be, to be clear, you mean Sorry. no side dodges, right? He has no side dash attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. sorry. Yeah. yeah, when I say dodge attack, I don't mean like forward dodge attack. I mean, yeah, ca ca attack. characters with no dash attack suffer in no right. OS world, nor guys. A lot Very of characters much. suffer in general. Yeah, and then some general. characters get uh, some real power creep because if, depending on how hard it is to get into your chain, it can, it can yeah, get like, kind of nuts. Ra Raider's really good in no off just like world. It won't, oh, yeah, at no, least, he's, yeah. He's improved in, uh... 
I haven't seen the character much in four v four, but yeah, in ones, uh, I mean one v ones, no option selects is amazing. Oh yeah, but in four v fours is a whole different game. Also, the game starts well, you guys. Absolutely, you defending against external and blockables is a nightmare. Yeah, really, just a, weird -looking a wall horrible spot. experience, but. You know, it's something to get used to. Snucko getting out big damage with that unblockable. They hit both of them for. Snucko has found his heavy button and he's vibing. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Look, look at that. Hail well Hydra. Done. To the end of time. Oh, Rawit, by the way, this is like a full esports thing. So once the match starts, like, shit talking can still commence. Like,. I'm here, but that doesn't mean this yeah. isn't a full, like, eSports tournament. I wasn't sure how it was being ran. I it's cool. This rude. is basically just a really fancy version of a watch party, and I'm streaming it. Yeah. Pretty much. We're, we're, I, we're I just didn't chill. want to keep talking about, you know... I appreciate the concern, though, yeah, Robert. That's nice of you. Yeah. We love you, Rob. We're on the attack is to get C-point right away, but defenders do so appointly. Yeah, they won the fine mid, I think. I'm gonna get out second to my I character. think this is the first Kenshi I've seen play in the three kit. Oh yeah, you're right, it is. Oh yeah, Ken's uh no, we saw one Kensei before. One Kensei before. Yeah. We oh, saw one in Kensei before doing really good in Was it on this VX's. team? Because I, I haven't watched uh, Moorish D Dan, no, it was not on this team. This oh, is the first time we've seen Fenboy Army. Yeah, this is Square. Uh I would like really it. good name. I don't know, one of, one of your opinions, where, where do you think Kensei's uh, strengths lie now that uh, that the meta has shifted? Quite quite a lot, actually. I mean, he's still re like really good in team fighting. He's just outclassed yeah. by Zaku and Shigoki. Yeah. It's not, he's still strong in the same place bad. he's always been, but he got power yeah. creeps like hard. Yeah, like yeah. a bunch of the characters that are played now are just way better than the good, the already good characters. Like BP, another really good character. He's just outclassed by the characters that are better than him. Our team is running a BP though, isn't it? Oh, uh, your team that you... Well, GG's running a, a BP, isn't it? Yeah, they are. I'm not... I mean, I haven't really kept up because I don't play anymore, but... I think the BP pick is more of a comfort pick. Fair enough. Rave likes playing BP, so... You don't want to take a guy off of a character yeah. who is playing... And who he's very good at. Yeah. Like, no. he's still fine, but you're gonna lose both sides. better. Did you say you don't play anymore? Yeah, I haven't played. Or, I'm not playing comp. Ah, fair play. Oh. Fair play. I haven't made it public. Because. Till now. Congratulations. Yeah. You're free. <laughs> I'm retired. Yeah, literally. I haven't played uh, For Honor as much till the TG drop. I've been grinding it, but I'm sure once the TG's gone. I'll be playing other games. That is the natural yeah. way of things, you know. People come in, people go, you know. Bodrat yeah. wants Bodrat, you know, I learn, score. Bo Bodrat, use... yeah. Bodrat didn't play for two years, came back, won everything, left again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are in year yeah, five. Yeah, we are on year five, season two now of the game, not even including alphas and betas. Like, you know, there are going to be people who come in and come out. It's just the way of things. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I'll come back. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just too much of a time investment. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've taken the opportunity and the, the still hanging around and knowledgeable enough. Well, of course you're knowledgeable enough, Oh, yeah. Still, you're taking the, the very pleased that you have been coaching. Um, yeah, the coaching's been hella fun. I mean, I don't mind trying to help people get better. I think We've been good. working, me and him, since we, because I stopped playing as well, and then we've both been working with another team for the Dominion series, so that's been a ton yeah. of fun, too. Oh, you've got a horse a, in the race. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We've both been, uh, we've both been coaching his team. Yeah, he's been helping another team. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So he's, 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 he's been helping a long time. Yeah, I'll never lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has, yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of built his way in here. Well, technically I have three because, you know, I'm, I'm still under Guidance Gaming. But I let them do their own thing because obviously they're the best team in NA. Probably yeah, they, they, got a, they got a pretty good coach running that team with a smiley face emblem. Yeah, they got some yeah. I don't he's think all he's alright, man. <laughs> nice. Uh, Props to Degger, who is ooh. absolutely zooming right now. Yeah. Gets the 1v2 as yeah. well. Get in there. Degger is, is powerful. Is yeah, Degger yeah. is a powerful gamer. Yeah. Degger, he's a 2 machine. Yeah. That's weird to play with fours. Yeah, he is one of the um, 
the definitely the more experienced players in the tournament. Mm. Um, but I put him on there because he hasn't got any. Oh, did we get one ledge? Oh, I, think... I tried to get them both. Uh, yeah, it was one ledge. Oh no! No. Very poorly timed for that. Zay got the right. respawn though. Zay at least got the respawn. They'll get mid. Yeah, they get mid. Yeah. They'll yeah. break it. So. Uh, yeah, Dagger is uh, definitely yeah, one of the stronger players in the tournament. But uh, I, time to go, time to go die with, with your friends. Oh, Everybody, pick a point so we can all die together. Yeah. The saddest part of it now. now. Carry it to Deep. the next map. Yeah. yeah, basically chalk, but might as well go out in a bang. Even even I, if you triple captain and held, you yeah. probably just eventually yeah. just break and run out timer. Like there's you'll just end up losing do. one fight. Yeah. Yeah. And it is unfortunate that Fonrys is, is really low to that. get him out and then get Zay with him. Oh, oh no. that hit as he hugged him. Very powerful Scorching Deluge. Yeah, yeah that was a good Scorching Deluge pop. I think it hit three people. I think yeah, hit two, the, and uh, two and a half. Two and a half, because it was an half. ally. These guys, <laughs> spirit, these guys' spirits aren't down, though. Led just had 1,400 or now in the last game, so he's not he's not down. He believes he can come back. Yeah, yeah, all the guys have been well. having fun. My team might have got 3 0 but they've been having fun. Yeah. Your team been kicking ass the entire time through, so I'm really, really pleased them to make it to the winners' final, and yeah, I, I was, they make I, it up to the grand final as well. I mean, yeah. I went into it with no expectations, but like that's a huge fucking step. Uh, two oh, points I, of order, real quick though. Uh, two points of order. One, uh -huh. one nil to Femboy Oni for those who just joining us, and they say that because apparently Toad Mine tried to raid the channel, and raiding isn't working here. Hello. Hello. Maybe you have to be an affiliate now to get rated or something? Possibly. Uh, also, hi, Toad. Nice to see you. It's an option in settings. Hey, Toad. Thanks for, thanks for the... Oh, he's hosted as well, so thank you very much could, for that. It could be turned yeah. off in the settings. Yeah. I think there's I, a setting. I didn't even know it was a setting now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll make sure we... Um, we'll make sure I mean, we... Is good enough too. Yeah, thanks very much for that. That's great. We've got a hundred people watching. That's great. All listen or to us blabber on. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got match number two, or game number two. It's going to be Overwatch. Yeah, and if we make it to the third, it'll be Harbor. Cool, 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 I cool. Believe, I, believe I believe too. You guys. Let's it's go, Yorm. It's going to be me and Kyle on the losers fine. Man, what a game. Oh, that's the, what I want to see. The rematch. Listen, my team, is already, my team is already talking trash if they don't get to fight you again for next month. They, okay, were, already, they were already getting fired up in chat. Yeah, because as, as you remember, this is the round one of the... Uh, Dominion series, oh, not Dominion series, round one of the coaches and students tournament, and we have after this there is a break the of a few months of a month and a bit uh, when the Dominion series qualifiers are happening. They start next week, so if you're interested, sign up. Um, and hopefully some of these teams will be playing as will be signing up as well to get practice and keep. And also, you know, I think they stand a good chance with um, you know, pushing ahead like this. And after the Dominion series qualifiers are done, in before the first major, there is a round two tournament for. Uh, the coaching students and we will see who has improved who goes on if the, if the if the rankings change and i think we'll maybe see if some, some teams shuffle around if they they want to redo rejig some of their players and that kind of stuff i have a secret thing to announce as well oh, yeah. secret thing oh. so it's yeah. a secret thing Yo, wait, i want to know i want to know who beat this degree team was it the south americans uh i think so had yes. to have been had to have been yeah. i don't see how anybody else is beaten yeah uh, the South, beaten the, uh, yeah the south american teams between him and stagmatica that's kind of uh that's a really solid 2z carry like uh, yeah they they two they were last two one to the um aggressive potatoes but we, got the, we got legend snucko who are gonna fight him well yo this i got my experience 2z versus their experience so let's see what happens oh let's see what happens Keeping the camera wide for a moment because a bit of a strange rollout. A is completely a ghost town. No one went to it. Oh, let's go, Snucko. That's the normally the uh, the strat on this on this map. Stag and Dego both have been out. Come on, let's go. And they've got the health advantage as well. Your uh, Carl seem to. Stag. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Come on, Snucko. One v one now. Oh, let me actually get the correct camera. I believe in Snucko. Yeah, look at him lighten. Oh, you even ready. Hit the right side as well. He avoided um, Morish DA. Come on, somebody get there and help oh, my man. Somebody get there and help my man. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh let's go, Snucko. Ah, oh, oh, how did that even catch him? Oh, they didn't cap. They didn't cap. Zay's got it. Zay's got it. Oh, we're going to have another oh. hour one five for C. 
Yeah, here we go. C is gonna be Switzerland oh. for several hundred years. Yeah. It's gonna be neutral. No one's got it. Oh. I've got a lot more fighting Whoa. Switzerland normally has. True. <laughs> Boy, that's with a big um, kill. We big kill that. An early right. kill as well. Get a good gank here. He's gonna bash. We... Oh, he's too far away. Wait for right. revenge, don't have heavy air. Need to get a oh, prediction on the over under on three minutes. Hmm, fair point. Oh, uh, question in the chat that should be answered by MKUltra9976. Will a player who didn't participate in round one be allowed to join in round two? If they're on, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're very flexible. It, like, if teams fall apart because somebody can't play anymore, doesn't want to play anymore, we can sub in and, and that kind of thing. So, like, we aren't, it's not the most super competitive thing ever. It's mostly about learning and improvement. So if there is a team player who wasn't, in, or no, won't be making new teams, but if there are teams that need rejigging because of um, because of uh, any issues, then we will. Oh, Dramatic I think Norgoth was right. Three minutes, Rose two and a half minutes. They gave the one guy revenge that they really didn't need to give revenge. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's time to watch the orange, the yellow bar. I'm assuming here that they're going to go two two. That would be my expect. I'm just thinking Zay and Money. They'll probably all get mid here, then Zay and Money will go oh. A and Legend Snug will go C. Thank you, uh, FH Earn in the chat for correcting me. I had the stream UI backwards. There we are. Now we uh, Hammer Slam's in the blue, Femboy Army's in the red. Thanks for that. Verbs black in today. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, Verbs is slaying today. It's been a Don't little while since I've done this, so I, I, there's a couple things I'm slacking on. Although I, I, I all, even in my best moments, I always forget which team is on which side. It's basically my signature when I'm on production. I'm so glad it's not just me. <laughs> like, I forget the names of them when I'm looking at them. Like, uh, know, right? uh which color is this one? <laughs> so, you know, I think you're doing a better job than most of them. My team fought hard today, man. They were so close. It's all right, though. Coming back. I'm just going to yeah. be raw with the team next time. That's all that really matters. What's the wide shot looking that's like? That's the that's the thing about these like Overwatch maps, right? Holding, especially holding those two side points. Like mm. once once one or two fights doesn't go your way, it's over. It also I mean it gives you a chance to get back in them if you win, um, but you lose one or two of those fights over there and it just spells in. No one no one played poorly here, but it just happens that you just yeah. lost the, the fight at the end every time. And so that happens. This map's just like Sanctuary Bridge, but you just flip it onto the side. It's, exactly it's such that. a snowball, you know. Defenders are breaking. Bloody hell, that was fast! This has been a very strong lead for the attacking team this whole time. <laughs> yeah, Femboy yeah, Army's just, looking for a 2 They both the side points and they can't get them back. Now oh, there we go. They'll at least uh, get a little KD to pad their uh, their stats where they head out. Snucko's done this edu this execution in every fight today, even in team fights. So he's yes, on a roll. we've seen him do it in the min min minion lane, which definitely. Uh, How he keeps getting away with it, I have no idea. All the way through it in the minion lane. Yeah. Yo, and Yorm got a kill too. KDs are being saved around the map, folks. S S the Shigoki got that execution during a fight on C. <laughs> <laughs> How he did that, I have no yeah. idea. Last game. Oh, oh super man, armor! Nice, that is nice. Big. That should be dead. Oh, he's just right. Good. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good. Just wow. sit down, Goki. I'll stop. I'll stop. That's what I'm stop. talking about. Go push A. Look, they ain't dead yet. Oh uh, yeah, you got time. I mean, they got some fight in them. Yeah, you gotta take the whole map. You're, You're down by a lot. They keep pushing back this hard. They yeah, they, that's the only way to bring it back yeah. now. It's to... Uh, Ledge isn't gonna get help, so he's heading out. Oh, massive thunderstorm right where are you? Snuckers parrying lights, it's over for these folks. Oh, you got chased. Asters, yeah, you got... you there are very few characters in the meta you can get away from now. That is a low list of people. Yeah. Conqueror Christ, um, the corner. To uh, plug a freeze video, the one we did recently, we just uh, examined the chase, of and pretty much every character in the meta has strong chase. Like, you know, at the best you're getting away from them on a, like a good read, but many of them can catch you on reaction. So you really need to like, the you know, only time you can roll away is if you light parry. Look, see that? You're not getting away from that unless you get a light parry, pretty much, to get yourself out, of, get yourself out of them. Um, he could have got a light off that, yeah. Very solid GB confirm. Oh. Let's go, Snucko. Just ledge everybody, man. Yeah, just kill everybody, man. Oh. Get a bow, too. Yeah. Someone goes out. That guy's Zay just got a ledge. Man. Oh, he's going to. There we go. Snucko just got a kill with a bow, actually. 
Is that a full yeah. longbow in the middle of a team fight? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Shugo is a fast really longbow. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, Rookie has 600 MS bow, so yeah. 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 Compared to like Highlander longbow or something. The Highlander's like not days. bad. The, the really bad one is Nabushi and. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Who's. They're the ones. Uh, Highlander, I think, is 600 MS as well. Is it? Oh, it's not corrected. Uh, sorry, 700 MS, but it's almost 600 MS. Whoop. All right. Well, I tell you what. God, I'm rooting. Mm -hmm. Our team's coming back with a vengeance in a month, but for the rest of the day, it's go raw forged. I believe in them. Yeah. They're oh, coming back and they're taking out the South Americans. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, chat with my team. I shall return. Thank you for your time, well, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for commentating. Thanks, Kyle. All right. Femboy Army charged through to a decisive 2 0, and this is the only kind of area where you could say that sentence unironically. Let's see mm -hmm. here. So now we stand in the brackets. We are going to be seeing um, Femboy Army versus the Fake OS Slayers. This is Silver's team, if I remember. Silver's team is still in it. All right. Yeah, with Fern, um, Double C, Pegasus, and uh, AMDS. AMD Ask. Fern has been playing really, really well. It's been impressive stuff from him. He's playing. Yeah, I, I've heard he's gen. not a big option selector too. So no, he is not a big he's option selector. Really well. like yeah. he, he refuses to use them. Um, but he has been playing it. really nicely um, on his Janhu. Yeah. I mean, prepare, prepare yourself, you know, because that's how it's going to be. So a lot of us have had to unlearn how to use, uh, unlearn using option selects, and he's uh, he's ahead of the curve. Well, these guys will be um, Oh, wrong training. eye. Whoops, my bad. No, that's right. Uh -oh. the, the other ones won't have set up their match yet. Yeah. Um, they're just picking. This is why I'd like to see in the future, if there's a spectator upgrade, the ability to just hover over the eye and see what matches in progress because i get baited by fake eyes constantly <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, well, i'd love to have uh, a recording as well like if you could record your record the match would be oh amazing. that would be lovely that would be fantastic. i wish there was a theater mode. theater mode would be sick yes is that you mean like uh yeah. play like yeah so, yeah yeah so you play a game and it'll just record or save it for you and you can watch it back later in the game yeah that'd be yeah, i think we're talking about the same thing I yeah, mean, like many fighting games have that because it's really useful. VOD review is basically the best way yeah. to train. Um, I mean, it's built in, and level. players don't have to use some third-party thing mm. that can possibly, you know, tank their frames is the main issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the thing is, we know that the game—that's how the game works with spectator mode as well. Because it, it, you know, you can spectate asynchronously, and you can hold spectator mode in like the, um, you know, the start, beginning, middle, current, or quit out screen mm -hmm. you can hold it there for as long as you want um i'm not sure there even is a time limit um uh to an extent from what i understand without going into too heavy detail it's essentially trying to uh reconstruct the match as a simulation it's not a straight recording so some of it could work but uh from what i understand it would take a decent chunk of work to get in a full replay mode and considering that the game is in a situation where a common complaint on various forums, for example, Reddit, is that we're getting universal executions and that kind of content, maybe they're not in the best mm. place to do that right now. Yeah, possibly. But I mean, it, it is a it's a you know simulation based on the inputs, which is essentially the same thing as a recording. Mm. It's just yeah, um, same reason why you can't see any lag shenanigans in spectator ever. It's like I've been tripped up a couple times on tournaments where I've been mm. like that, you know, that person got killed because of a really good thing. They were sleeping on the job and then I someone appears in chat five minutes later. So yeah, this person was teleporting because he's playing from fucking Hawaii. <laughs> oh boy. Or Australia. Well, good thing the game has a really good lag comp now. Mm. Wait, uh, South America, Australia? Is that what I came back to? Mm -hmm. No. Bird um, was I don't... Saying, making an example out of like a Hawaiian player playing against like I don't know somebody else, but yeah, there was one. There the was energy. like one Hawaiian Yorm who constantly kept getting shit from people yeah. in chat or something. Yes, yeah, I. Yeah, yeah so it sigh. was Sai. I mean, yeah, hmm. that was pre CCU and the live comp before it was terrible. Sai's never been a problem post CCU for me at all. I can't tell the difference. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I remember before CCU, it was the common complaints in chat after my commentary was the Hawaiian Yorm, the Middle Easterners, there was a large group of them, and then very occasionally Russians. It was just all the reaction players complaining about the Perry Flash being flickered pre-CCU when they were playing into the George. So, um, a very funny complaint. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we, didn't, we didn't go as far as delaying, uh, banning delayed feints. 
Yeah, yeah we didn't delay go faints. Full, full silencer mode. We didn't start delaying faints. Man, I heard they, they introduced, like, the parry flash flickering on faint. I missed delaying faints, because you literally just flick your parry flash. That was the best thing about it. Yeah, they should just add that back. I don't know how else you can fool, like, a really cracked reaction player if you can't flick your parry flash anymore. Yeah, I mean, they just, well, I mean, I think they just need to add it back, really. I mean, like, make yeah. faint show the last. I mean, faints have 200 ms recovery before you can do anything. So, in theory, they can have, uh, you know, just show the whole parry indicator in that turn of mess. I mean, it's a bit extreme, but... And soft faints don't work the same way, so they, they wouldn't be able to show the parry flash, I guess. But, I mean... I just miss delaying attacks in general. I don't like that everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't... I, I, I get really pissed off at parry counters that have really strict input windows in particular. Like, But that's because I'm slow and I'm basically reacting to whether I get a parry. And then... I think, okay. No, well, parry, that no. you always had to buffer a parry counter. You couldn't really delay most of those before. I just missed delaying, like, feints and, you know, chain lights or whatever, for example. Yeah. I mean, you can if still we're... delay chain lights to mess up parry timings and stuff. But... Uh, point of if order real quick. A, uh... Sorry to interrupt. Point of order real quick. Uh, is this game in the loser's bracket on peer-to-peer? Because -peer? no I has appeared yet on Pegasus.org. Um, I'm looking at the match chat, and I don't They're see They're both any... you. It should the, be dead, the, yeah. so... They, if not the eyes bug. They are. I think they're just they're starting. I don't think there's. Um, yeah, they could be still banning they, maps. Okay, they I just want to check. Tie break. So the maps we have, um, temple, and then. Wait. Sorry, they ban high, ban high fort, ban beachhead, pick temple. Oh yeah, uh, Overwatch, and then the tiebreaker is harbor sorry i was confused by them referring to overwatch as uwu <laughs> that's I'll a non-standard right designation all right Norgos. yeah oh. they were they were the their opponents were also confused mm. so, weirdly <laughs> enough the fanboy army using using terms like uwu <laughs> for maps <laughs> who would have thought <laughs> Agreed. I'm just going to quickly see to my cat who's been yelling at me. All good. Um, go go see. Ever, ever, now is the time. Everyone, if you need to go to the toilet, go to the toilet. Sort your cats out. Norgos is sorting stuff out as well. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of an extended wait. So this is a good time for a break. Now's the time where I should have gone to the toilet. Oh, well. <laughs> about. You still uh, have time? Oh, yeah, no. I've, no, time. I, don't, I mean, before. I went to the toilet before and I delayed a match slightly because I wasn't here. Oh, it wasn't that big. Deal. Yeah. Gotta optimize the production. Gotta shave off a few tenths of a second. You speedrunning it or...? It, any percent, yeah. <laughs> Instant DQs if you don't start matches immediately. I say that as someone who has literally no admin power. I'm just here to hold the camera. Gotta get it frame perfect. <laughs> I never actually realized how much I rely, going back to the testing ground thing for a moment, how much I rely on Conqueror option selecting most things until it's gone. Well, they, and, it's so natural and ingrained into just how you play. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a, it's just a muscle memory thing for everybody. Because Zoning in a team game. fight is just, I mean, yeah. how else do you parry externals in a team fight? I mean, you just only use zone. I mean, that's... Or something like it's always just been what it is, or dodge. Even in less, even in an anti gank up. situation, like how you can't really do anything now. Ganking was really strong already. Now you're kind of just like fucked. You can't really do anything. You die to indicators now, or indicator games. If your teammate, uh, like if your teammate, the person on the external has unblockables, like it's just a fifty fifty. I mean, you don't even yeah. have to guarantee it for them. You just stand there and wait, and eventually they'll make they'll get it wrong. Like, they get GB'd, or the heavies just go through, and then when they get low enough, just to bash for heavy or whatever. Like, it becomes even yeah. easier not to get Venge, harder to stall. It's, uh... Stalling's mm -hmm. nearly impossible, too. The the way I look at it, or the best way to I, I compare it, is by looking at old Glad Gank and how busted it was. You had to make, like, ten right reads in a row if you wanted to get Venge or something, but now... Uh, with the no option selects being a thing, it's literally the same thing. If you don't make 10 right reads in a row, you're dead. 
Mm. Let me double check the bracket and make sure there is no score update or anything. Your guys' eyes bugged because he's streaming it right now. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me get a, s a second target real quick. Uh, double C, Pegasus oh, Fern, Amdask, Silver, what, Fanboy Army, Brands Bonaparte, oh. Durga, Static, Moorish. Bag. I mean, I think that normally it's a ma whole match thing that if the eye's bugged, it's not going to show up for anybody. Ah, joy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Stag doesn't Stag have it either. Brilliant. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to do anything like the do for the Dominion series and ask them to replay or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, that's a yeah. joy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, you're 800 points into a game, other team has like 100, 200. Sorry guys, we need you to restart your game. There's no eyeball. I know, well, I, I hate to tell you, as, as the guy who was uh, on the side of that once, on the 200 point side of that, it's it's not fun to restart then either, because you just feel like, even though you get a chance to do it again, it's, I don't know, it's daunting. It's just like, um, alright, let's go back and try that again. Um, yeah, and you feel like you've uh, you know, already been you kind of already chalked that game, like, all right, maybe we'll play the next one better. But now yeah, 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 and now you just got to go relive it again. You're like, relive this is our map, out. whatever this is, yeah. Yeah, and then you already have, and even if you do when you've got the feeling that, well, it's. A I bit mean, of it a sucks for cheap. both sides. Like, I mean, yeah. I've been on the other, I've been on the other end of it uh, in the first Dom series uh, Grand Finals. Uh, we lost all of our opening two v twos on Temple Garden. The other team was 600 points in, no eyeball, and then. Uh, we restarted, and we ended up winning the game just because of that. Like, yeah, the other team basically won the game. They had it done, but there was no eye. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real bummer. It's definitely been reported as like one of the biggest problems with spectator mode uh, too, um, in terms of like we, we told you be, be about it. So hopefully they can fix it for the next um, majors. I mean, I don't think it's likely, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's very difficult to get that. I hope they fix a lot of things, things for the next major. Yeah. I know this this next major is at the end of August apparently, which is yeah. crazy to me. Yep. Because what the first the first qualifier is next weekend, and then there isn't yep. another qualifier until like what two weeks after. No, I think it's. Uh, I, I can get the timetable actually. Yeah, but I believe I, it's I every more. week, right? I think it's every it's week every and then week a week and off. There's a two week gap in the middle yeah, for and the then, major. Oh yeah, I just one is 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 week it's week one week next week gap, week after week after gap major. Pretty yeah, sure yeah. that's how it goes. Oh, okay. There might be two weeks between the the, the final qualifying yeah. majors. Actually, let me double check. The it is Ooh. yeah. August seventh is the last qualifier. Yeah. And the twenty eighth is the major. Yes. So that's good. It's time yeah. to do our round I two. Heard, I heard somewhere else uh, somebody was saying like, oh, qualifier one is on the tenth, and then there's like a two week gap or something. But I guess I, they were No, wrong. no, it's, so it's, it's 10th, 17th, and then there's a two-week gap, and then it's 31st and 7th. Yeah. And then, I guess, a three-week gap. 7th to 28th? Oh, my brain just... No. Yeah, that's a three-week gap, isn't it? Math. I can't... My brain's frazzled. Yeah, yeah there's a three-week gap. Numbers, what even are they? What even are they? I mean, gives me time to do some... <laughs> uh, have, like, a weekend of doing some things. <laughs> you know, so help them with all these are busy every weekend hmm. now i think we're starting to open up a little bit after uh everything's been locked down for such a long time and then got busy busy on every weekend well not i mind i like i like doing the tournament stuff and like i like uh like helping the community Spaniard. So Spaniard. yeah we love you oh <laughs> love you too <laughs> F just, genuine just, of displays that... of affections on my stream? Absolutely <laughs> not. And there you have the uh, saying, Spaniard. Uh, what's it called? ASMR. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> For everyone who won, there it is. I, I, I baited it out. You're welcome. You're welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> I, I, I expect to be paid in full right now, immediately. First game, how much uh, that be? first game for this is almost over. They're I think I'm, I think I'm paying you in SMR. Recordings, <laughs> a private works, ASMR <laughs> recording. Yeah. Now, for those of you just joining us and wondering why this turned into a really weird podcast, this is the traditional something has happened we're not expected to on the production break in a front of tournament. We're just waiting for an eye to appear. The yeah, match is currently happening. Yeah, this this always happens. No matter to the biggest or the smallest tournament, something will go wrong somewhere to cause an unnecessary delay on the yeah. podcast. It's and you know rule. why this happened? 
this happened because that's the first thing you said when you when you pulled the cast up. It's like, you know, there's always there's always a delay. There's always something that goes wrong. And, you know, we're, we're planning for it. We're good for it. And then, sure enough, this is a new one. Yeah, this is a new you. one. <laughs> it's it's the eye not appearing. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> All right. Well, so in terms of matches... The, sorry. What's that The Degory team has lost the first game. Ah. Oh, no. Thank you, so, Mr. Guile. Fake OS layers are 1-0. Mm -hmm. All right, get Silver in to talk talk about his team in a bit. Um, mm. I'll ping him again. Who's... Silver? Yeah, Silver is is coaching the um, the uh, fake no, wait, it's a fake West Lairs, yeah. Oh, it's fake West Lairs, yeah. I know you said Silver, but my my brain had Silver as in Zilber Kreutz. I'm like, hang on oh, a minute. Yeah. That's a, I'm not sure if he's participating in this at all. No, he is not. I don't think he's played for enough for a while, has he? Uh, he I, I saw him on the game the other day. Daddy Law oh, stream. Oh, nice. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he, hope, he, hope he comes back. Yeah, like the retiree more. German contingent are still poking their heads. Like, Megailo was in the chat earlier on. Yo, Megailo! Yeah, like yep. the old German slash Bavarian brigade of Ferrana. They still poke their head in from time to time. As if uh, Freezer's coming up from his, uh, his barbecue. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that he's having a fun time at his barbecue and he's... That chatting to us is is not as enjoyable as you know stuffing your face full of meat, which is what. That, uh, that's an out of context doing. statement if I've ever heard one. <laughs> well, there was a reason I chose the wording I chose, and I do not regret it. <laughs> <laughs> God, we're gonna get full delusional if we don't get an eye soon. And it's uh, silver. Okay, but someone in chat, I don't know who I... said it before. Uh, oh, ZZ Explorer. Maybe they turned off spectator mode. If they clicked that button, I'm going to be a very unhappy Englishman. <laughs> I've told them not to, so, like, I don't think they will have done. Because, um... like, I understand going peer to peer. It is Megayla. <laughs> I miss Mac, dude. Holy shit. He's good people. I miss Mac streams. Every time I was on DJ and schedule, like, I was just my go-to streamer. Now there's nobody to watch at 4 or 5 a.m. <laughs> <Next up. laughs> there's a hole in the market. Yeah. Spectator is on. I don't know why you can't watch. Thank you, Corgi. Appreciate the update. But, yeah, I, I, is, I'm actually going to restart my game real quick, unless someone else can get an eye. They're loading in right now, so you can... Yeah, they're loading into the next game, yeah. And bollocks. Yeah. The, the, it, it just <laughs> bugged out for the first game. Yeah, it's normally just one game that bugs out, and the next time is fine. Alright, reboot as fast as I can. No. Although, no, I suppose it's... rebooting anyways is good, because it avoids the memory leak. Also, yes. Silver is here now. Hey! Hey, Silver! Hello! Hello, hello. I have been watching uh, from now, from like the last few games. And I can definitely tell, like, this game, before, we just... As you just watched, uh, I feel like the reason they got lost was kind of because like Diggory was AFK at the start. They got a free C cap, got a pretty decent lead. Oh yeah, and then they just cool. went up, and they just win every team fight from that run. Like if you I think it was like on A, they lost a team fight. For, otherwise, from there it was just they kept kept on winning team fights. All right, I'm getting the game back as fast as I can. You're fine. Go go go. Anyone got any good campfire stories? <laughs> Anyone got it? Well, you know that's when the, the table at the commentary desk has officially lost its mind. <laughs> got any good campfire story? <laughs> or honor trivia. Uh, what is the one hero that uses a hammer? Uh, <laughs> it's, a question. it's everyone. We always use hammers to hammer in points. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, what was that? What? I don't even get it. You're going crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't have to get it. It's fine. Yeah, I think the real the real campfire story is like and we were there and and they it, and they released the patch that removed option selects, but then his opponent could parry on flash. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. The yeah. real option select was real shit. Us all along. Yeah, no, shut Ah, uh, damn it, potato! <laughs> I missed it. Thankfully, the real option select was inside us all along. Give me an eye, well, please. Yeah. We have an eye. Thank <laughs> God, we're going in. I'm actually going to go in. Nice. Remember <laughs> the Discord screen share. Yeah, don't Thank forget you. that. Thank you. Yeah, it kind of helps to have everyone else in the Discord be able to actually see the bloody thing. Uh, there we are. 
All right, I'm actually going to take a bit of a gamble here and go in at current points. So we can actually get in straight away since that little delay. Let's hope the thing doesn't desync into oblivion. That should be all right. Um, oh, my cat has now decided that she's trying to... Like, she's been sick of being outside, and now she's inside and trying to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Camp. Help, my co commentator tried to bite me. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> it's the regular occurrence, especially, you know, if, I, if I'm playing a ranked match, she'll come and sit right in front of the screen. I think that's something that she. She's like. Instinct. Yeah. yeah. She's ama amazing that how she, like, can really pick the most critical point in a match to do it. But, well, I love her anyway, so. What can who's I do about it? Femboy Army, by the way. I don't think I know who's coaching that team. So Femboy Army is Razor. I think I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah. it is Razor's team. He is. He's in VC with them whenever they uh, play. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stag is uh, streaming. Oh, cool. Well, that's. I mean, that's, I think that's really cool. Like, um, I left it up to like the coaches if they cho if they chose to be in VC or to, um, or to you know to let the team f fly free, um, but. I think it's it's cool that the coaches have the opportunity to do that as well, be able to help yeah. them coach them. I mean, play. I think it, most it, coaches will. It's kind of hard not to just sit there and you know watch some mistakes happen. Yeah, you want to tell them where to go. And plus, they're like yeah. trying as hard as they humanly can, so they can't be thinking about other things yeah. like most, go to A. Most do of them are focused, like mm. nose in the monitor type shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's really good because you know that's something that this tournament can have that other tournaments can't have it in quite the same way. Um, well, I mean, they could, like, uh, oh, I mean, we've done it, like, when Baderat was a sub or when Rave was a sub, we always had that fifth guy just to be, like, the fifth eye. So okay, one, of us cool. would dis one of us would Discord stream and, like, if uh, we were missing a head count or something, that fifth person would just try to keep up with it. Oh, if you, if you were oh, awesome. in Counter-Strike, that's illegal, technically. Having the coach yeah. at the same time. But fortunately, this ain't Counter-Strike. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's a big bad. advantage. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's only good if the coach is good. Like... Yeah. My god, right, Miss Firm. If... Very early light. not really do a whole lot. Because... Yeah, I guess... At the end of the day. Yeah, I, I guess mean, there's not so much... I mean, uh... In in this game, like having a fifth eye can really help because you can make them do your shot caller. Like you yeah. have the, you have the fifth player that you know you can like you, when you're playing the game you can end up making a very dumb decision. Ooh, good effort. That attack? Yeah, like like that that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty dumb decision if I'm yeah. The yeah, gods called good. and uh, now I'm tilted because I fucking hate when people plunge on this map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the most annoying thing is when they don't call it out. But uh, yeah. Like, no, the gods called. So he just heard something in his head, felt like jumping. <laughs> I mean, hey, sometimes you hear voices and you just, you want to jump, but... Yeah. Three doesn't hit, that, but... that usually throws the whole game, so, you know. Yeah, let, let's mean, hope it were... didn't hear. Let's hope it didn't hear. Yeah, they yeah. were already behind in, at this point, because that was a blue team that missed that jump. And I think it would, it's the kind of thing that, if they had got it right, it could have led them to like it's a, a really, much, a really big yeah. advantage. Yeah, but yeah. it's one of these, it's a gamble because and you know unless you probably call it out and confirm it, and even probably calling out and confirming it can go wrong quite easily. It might suddenly aim at a minion at the last second, and then that minion will die, and then you'll. Okay, I need to call this real sec because it was off the side of the screen. It was really funny. Cmyk went for the suicide dive to get the resurrection. Morris just went nope and just left him to die on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That or well, I feel being pursued. Can we, can, we have, can we have a look at the scoreboard? I want sure, to see if it's... Mm. Okay. Pretty, pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they have pretty a even -ish. I mean, yeah, we have Daggery with, with eight, for... Yeah, Daggery yeah. has tier four and the Kenshi's about to have it too. Yeah. I don't know what he's running though. I think he's running Stalwart. We'll have, go have a look in a moment. Oh, oh that longbow. Oh. Bow into Jug. Oh. If, yeah. oh. That was a really good revenge pop there. Yeah, he's oh, no peel from Stag. That's, that's very unfortunate. I mean, I'm happy with it, but that's very unfortunate. Demon yeah, Ball. Demon Ball's a fine move, move everybody. I'd just oh, like yeah. everyone to know that. That is a totally fine guard break punish, along with Sickle Rain off GB. Those two things oh, are absolutely. great ideas. <laughs> he's running Bush, <laughs> At least hopefully they'll fix, they will fish, fix both of them, hopefully, uh, oh. in short. 
sometime. Fieldside reporter, I'm Herman. Oh, yeah, he's using unblockable. Yeah, Mr. Herman reports that, uh, yeah, Woosh Woosh is on the board. For those of you that don't know, Woosh Woosh is the translation okay. for the Kensei's unblockable tier 4 ability. I'm pretty sure Herman was actually a uh, part of the whole, like, giving them the idea for this comp. Ah. Speaking of tier four, that was a very I think it, nice I think his whole his, just now. Hmm. his whole idea was like he wanted to, you know, just have a have a comp that could just fuck people up in team fights. Because like, because I think this comp is is pretty strong in team fights. Maybe, maybe except like Warlord. I personally maybe I've chosen JJ instead. But otherwise, I think it's maybe on this map, comp. yeah. Um, oh, he hit the wall instead of the uh... jugs up. Oh man! Oh please, don't try to gank him with Jugga. They're gonna try to gank him with Jugga. Oh, no, they're gonna let him gank himself with jug up. Yeah, right, this guy's nuts. No, but he's he's feeling himself. Uh, oh, he is feeling himself. Oh, oh, little block oh, here. Little heavy there. Yo, let's oh, go. Oh, there he goes. Giving the bounty hunter proc. He, he, he dodged. It just cracked him when he dodged. Deggery's in a 1v1 situation. Where's Deggery from? Uh, I never the know. Spanish. He's Spanish. Is he? Oh, okay. He's People tell me he's South African. I don't fucking know who to believe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure he is, but he moved to Spain. Okay, yeah. No, people have been telling me that he plays and lives in South Africa. <laughs> I think we'd I'm being trolled. Thing. Yeah. I've never played against him, so I wouldn't know. Well, he's a great guy. He's... I, just, I just know that he plays with Iron. That's it. Yeah, that's because they're like, you know, Spanish, Spanish. Yeah. So it was weird hearing him in South Africa. Double C. One that's one of the things two. I like about about uh, this game, you get to meet people from all over the place. Um, mm. yeah. I think it's really fun to do an international tournament, actually. Like, I, I don't know how how it looks like. I mean, obviously, you, you can't tell in spectator mode because you can't see lag. But and I know there's been there been like a couple of issues with what like, the Australian team had a few lag issues. Unsurprisingly, playing. I think Aussies will have it the worst, regardless. Yeah. We played we played the South American team. They 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 were fine. Yeah. Oh, great. They were well, all below a hundred ping. Oh, that was a Fury the Blast. Didn't the oh! Aussies didn't lag for us. Uh, Deggery's team lagged more for us than the Aussies did. Those yeah, were... it just depends well, where I guess people uh, are at. Yeah, if you're West Coast, if, if it's West, West Coast, Coast versus EU, then it might be like frame quicker. But Well, I'm really glad that it, it seemed to work out without too many giant problems. I think he's burnt himself to death yeah. then. Fern is, well. is two, zero for two on Deluge is actually being effective, unfortunately, right now. Oh! oh. Oh, oh, he's, ooh, and, oh, he almost. I mean, so. My man Fern, he's my, he, oh, I gotta say, he's my there favorite. There we go, there we go. Fern's my favorite. Fern's the real option select player, holy he, shit. He doesn't, yeah, he, yeah man, oh. he's a, he said he's, he's not gonna use them. Who needs, but, uh, that's a huge ledge. Oh! I like him, I like him for it. Ooh, very nice spell. Oh, didn't roll, it didn't roll yeah, the right angle. Matter. Didn't nice. quite escape. Lost game. But does get the health back. That is 2-0 OS Slayers. Very nice. That means they they take it. I'm gonna go try to root my team now. Well done, right team. Is it? Team. E R B. Right, so Mr. Robert. Been a very important uh, team pep talk. Last one I like to hear. I'm really glad to see that the coaches are really getting involved as well. Oh, I've got a warm, glowy feeling in me in my heart. Oh. Miserations to Femboy Army. They are going to be slain. Yes. And now we're going to see Fake OS Slayers move up against the Raw Forged. Isn't is it? Isn't it the f best of three or best of five? I mean, best of three. Best of three in the losers okay. brackets and okay. the best of five in the winners final and okay, the grand okay, final. Okay, okay, okay. Because I'm used to losers also sometimes being best of five. Yeah, yeah. The plan was it, that can just drag out the losers final a very long time. So. Um, okay. There's also the opposite version where everything in losers final is or losers bracket is best of one up until finals and it's best of three and that's too quick. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a uh, Kyle's call Kyle's idea to make it the winners final um, best of five because yeah the losers bracket normally lags behind. This um, is actually going to be a revenge match then because we because my team lost the first game against oh, Rohit's team. Let me go look oh, at the bracket. You're right. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Let me refresh. They, they 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 lost the first game of the tourney and then they ever since then they've been winning every single game from losers. Oh yeah, C20 second round Raw Forge versus Fake OS Slayers got to uh, got they two owed them. Would you look at that? Well done. Bring it, bring it back. All this is losers bracket. That's powerful gaming. That's the front of, that's the front of tournament experience. That's for certain. Fighting hard, good on them. All, All right. right, folks. Place your predictions here. Place your predictions. <laughs> 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 
I don't know why um, we suddenly teleported him from the 1960s, but apparently we're here now. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, calm down now, copper. Oh dear, copper. I'm not even going to continue with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave now. <laughs> I can't. This got the stream. Hey, Daddy Laws in chat. Hello there. <laughs> oh, Daddy Laws in chat. Hello, Daddy. Fake OS Slayer's got this. I inspired the lads. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Daddy I mean, he did. He did. Is going to be a, a you know, Daddy Law, big Daddy Law fan. Must be because he never he never uses option select, and he's been powering through. I mean, I gotta say, the man, the man inspired myself. I don't use options likes anymore. Don't, I, don't I want, think it's don't good want. training. You gotta... I mean, I mean, I am. It's, uh, I'm practicing my appearing on Flash, and it's <laughs> getting better every day. <laughs> gotta practice you your, go. not your reading. <laughs> uh, who needs to read? Just parry on Flash, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think well, my controller. Didn't... I don't think you had the reactions to that, Silver. I thought you said you were slow. I mean, I, I, I have two twenty up, like on human benchmark. But in game, I, I can I can react to bashes, and I can react to parry flash just by doing a bunch of academy. Because I've been doing academy nonstop with Normie, and I'm oh, wow. slowly getting better at reacting. I'm the opposite in that I, you know, bad. Uh, I I did, I did get two twenty on human benchmark the other day, and I was like, this is amazing. I've never never achieved <laughs> I never achieved something like this in my entire life before. And then I decided, you know what, I'll do. I'll take my newfound reaction speed and go into the game, and then I immediately got like absolutely destroyed by. Six of us bashes. <laughs> Just waiting for an eye to appear. Um, yep. So the order of maps will be Overwatch, Temple, and Citadel. What we say, Norgos? I was just going to say I feel left out of the whole OS thing, so I just want to let you know my controller broke a month ago, and so that my, now I have a new controller, but I can't OS with my new controller, so I don't OS anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bought a controller with paddles to be able to option select on controller. Well, I have paddles. I just can't use the software. Oh, that's uh, right. yeah. yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I should be seen. Thank you, Fieldside Reporter Xdra, XDRA. I don't know how to pronounce that. Zudra. Extra. Zudra, thank Zedra. you. Zedra. Zedra. The eye should be soon. Is did your GPU explode yet? Oh yeah, he's got a he's somehow that bugger got a 3090. At MSRP. Wow. At M wait, he got an MSRP? Yes. How? Impressive. What? I just I don't know. I I just I don't know, Verb. Don't put me on the spot like that. Which person did he have did to threaten bribe? and or seduce to get that? I wish I was a fly on the wall. Is his seduction very threatening? <laughs> I just, he, it, it was involved a lot of refreshing, from what I understand. It was just like the fastest clicking in the West. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Fast fingers, Absolute bastard. Got an F3 oh, 3090 at MSRP. I'm actually jealous. My 2070 super's over here. It's doing its best. It's trying, but the stream can't maintain 60. <laughs> I'm a Rip rocking a 970. Empty. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hope his GPU is bugged and dies. Just cook off it, burns his whole PC. Okay, no. don't. Dem, don't curse him. Don't do that. He needs his PC it's for mean. his living. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Just cool. refreshed a page once after a Discord notification from a stock server. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Like, I, I'll admit I can't trash someone too hard for getting tech in a really weird way. I literally managed to get an Xbox Series X on release uh, by rolling out of bed slightly onto Amazon on my phone, and it was there ready for me. Nice. Like, nice. I, I basically uh, slept you... my way in. Oh, oh, is Moist on the... No, yeah, Moist should be on the... Yeah, Moist is a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Raw Forged, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So we and should be getting an eye from them. Yeah, yeah. Fingers Royce called. is more forged. Yeah, Zedra is also uh, raw forged. Wait, wait. Where am I? There we go. I was in the wrong tab. Ooh, me. Hey, we're in, boys. The eye has appeared. The eye of verb. Eyes. Oh god, it's I'm like just... two of everything. Yep, that Let's is go. identical Except comps. One. Oh, Except one. Really oh yeah. Send for sense stopping out for Glad. Mm. That's fair. Yeah, I mean that they are two very different gankers, and people are favoring Glad a little bit recently because Sense 
is very like glad glad ganks aren't as powerful and they don't they don't have a hundred O's very much as more. I mean, you, you still have hundred O's with some characters. I think with Nabushi hundred O's. Yeah. Um, but he's much better at team fighting and chase and all the other kind of things that Scent Scent can't do as well. And the only other thing that Scent does better than Glad is clearing mid, which isn't the most important thing. Um, so when you got Goki so and Shen. they actually started first game with playing with Scent because Double C was practicing Scent. Mm. But I think they like. Corgi said that he was very comfortable and glad, so I guess they switched after the first games, the first two games, they switched to, to double C on and glad, or what's it called, um, Chigoki instead. Which mm -hmm. I can clearly see is much better, like, we doing so much better after that. Oh, Especially nice. since Cor Corgi is, um, he already had, a, had some like, competitive ex experience on glad, which means, mm -hmm. so, you know, like, you know, he can play glad pretty well. Yeah. And then we have the benefit of, personally, I, I do think that glad is better than Scent, because um, glad has the benefit of, you can also play team fights with him. You can play one v ones with him. Where Scent has bad matchups against like probably every single character in comp in comp right now. Yeah, I can't except maybe him. himself, maybe himself, and I guess Kensei. But you don't really play Kensei anymore too often. Otherwise, I'd I'd say that uh, Glad also uh, Glad has like good matchups against most characters. Scent has bad matchups against everyone. They also have the issue of Scent can't team fight. Like, yes. I don't think I don't personally think Scent is a can do anything in a team fight except for like 700 ms heavies that's just peel and that's it yeah he's got kick's got a decent range but yeah yeah so your you kick, you... team yeah. oh no this is fake os slayers uh... is in the red and i must mention they managed to actually take c not in seven business days i think the presence yeah. of daddy law in chat <laughs> is buffing yeah. their resolve <laughs> it was a very uh moist took a big hit early on and then they did a very nice gank then as well with like indicator ganking until until they the revenge tags expired and then going for the finisher um finally on the guy after the guy had been like okay you're always going to fake these then you go in for the finisher the, you let it go and it worked rather well for them double c about but to have the double x's in his eyes if he's not careful gets revenge head did butt. they slightly mistimed that one or they did they did descent pinned way too late so which let him be able to dodge which gave him which then made the punch track, but it ended up being able to get revenge from the punch. Yeah. Pegasus now. Oh, very nice damage there. Damage. Reinforcements are coming, though. Nice guard break there for, you know... We're getting the rest in the back. Gun. That is... I think that was a good res, actually. That is a good res. That is a very good res. Yeah, and they, they get the... I think there was a miscommunication there that the... the, the um, other one of Riot's team didn't... Oh, didn't that hear. is unfortunate. Oh, never mind. Gets a free hook. Raw Forge did just grab C the, though in the meantime. The guard break was timed properly then because he did get the um, full damage off it. Just oh, hit, we're still fighting on just, it. Yeah, he, he ended up hitting it on the counter guard break animation. There we go. Excellent uh, damage. Good, good, very good indicator. Fern with eyes in the back of his bloody head, able to get around Sloot Whisperer charging in. But speaking of charging, Ad Adamsk with the crashing charge? No. Comes in with a simple walk, and let's see if he can get anything done here before Rico can get revenge. Nope, just dies to Fern instead. And uh, the, I don't know how I feel about this rest we're trying to get, but... Yeah. yeah Fern good, perhaps getting a little bit too altruistic. Have yeah. We got, have A been taken yet? Are we going to see the same thing as C, but with A? Possibly, yeah. We have... This is, I think this is a record at this No, it's not. No, it's not. C took like seven minutes, I think, earlier. <laughs> he didn't let it go. So well, this full damage. Tick. It is. The Again, folks, get your predictions. Man. That's a dead. Get your predictions. Oh, he messed up his out of stamina punish. No. Oh. oh. They got it! Hey. <laughs> And that was a good res again there. So you Back get to the see. renown and the guy can heal immediately. Guy can heal immediately. That's the kind of res you want to get for. That was Juggernaut saved. Ah, doesn't matter. He still dies on the point, but otherwise Juggernaut saved them and let him get the kill on the Sun Hill. What is this ladder based shenanigans going, going on here? For, uh, some chase over here. I think he will be able to get onto the point. Goki can't Connector. just force his. Oh, this is not good. Oh no! no. Oh, oh, yeah. man. You hate that. Could be a major upset. Um, 
and really push it back. Look, the scores have gone. Orange team were behind on scores, but now they are just creeping ahead. Yeah. Faco, who um, has slayed, had a really good start, but then War Rawforge started to make gains, but now they've immediately locked it back down. Yeah, I mean, it's still definitely too close to call the match at this point, but looking good for Faco Eslayers. I think the Warlord left and then came back. I don't know what that was about, but otherwise it seemed to... Faco Eslayers here is going to win this team fight. Yeah, especially with Thorne just bowing that guy. You she need to... Oh. Yeah. Nice getting the extra... That bow as well. He's got it pretty early into the game. He should be able to get it used in that oh. maybe one or two, one, one, one or two oh, more times. God, another bow came out, I think, then. Yeah. Another very good thing about Chigoki and Sanu, like a 50 damage bow off screen. You typically don't dodge those. That's that's really, yeah. really good. It's really good for finishing people off. Beautiful hook. That was confirmed by the uh, unblockable life. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's good pull spot. out a little bit on the camera here. Get a wider shot of this team fight that's starting to germinate on C. It is currently in the possession of Rawforge, so any kills they get here will have the extra 20 bonus per kill. Scorching oh, Deluge! Oh, out. he's got okay. the revenge! Oh, no. uh, I mean, the guy can't really use that too much. There's too many high HP people here. Plus, he's going to be burning out now. Yeah, no, I think that was a good yeah, tier That was a good tier 4. Yeah, he yeah. might even be able to get to use it one more time. And they win C here. I think this yeah. that's a triple cap. That might be... Yeah, I think that's... Might be it. Beginning of the end. I think they'll huh? cap, cap mid. Look at there's um. They're going to cap mid yeah, here, but... But yeah, it's... There's it's, just too much of a renown advantage for the enemy team. Like, I don't think Rod's team is going to be able to make it back here. There's a flask up there for the... Yeah. Um, Pegasus Slayer's ward. Yeah. Plus we have Shigoki having just tier 4 here. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. He also has Juggernaut and about to get Bow back. Yeah, I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think there's a way for them to come back from this game. And you see Rico here suffering this, this thing that Scent really does. That If he can't get ganks off, even though he's doing, you know... I mean, this is an unwinnable no, matchup. There's no, there's nothing Scent can do in this matchup. Yeah, it's... I mean, I don't want... This is... Uh, Rico is banned still, so... Yeah, that, that's the unfortunate thing. Like, Scent then goes against... Shigoki, he cannot win. Glad it has a chance yeah. at least, you know. Uh, yeah. Another thing, like quick, too, too many bad matchups for Sent. Uh, quick point of order about the stream. Apologies if any weird noises start coming through my microphone. Apparently, England just beat Ukraine four 0 in the Euros, so there's going to be some oh! drunk people outside. So yeah. there may be chanting coming through the microphone <laughs> soon. Just yeah. So just warning you now. That's what it is. There's no ghosts on the stream. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to update the score. Thank you, Nash. My apologies. I know how to use a spectator overlay. Faco Westler is now fishing for the 2 0. But he in a good place, too. It's 980 to 783. I mean, Rod's team has gotten a pretty decent comeback here. They went from yeah. 300 point, 300 point uh, behind. Really Misexecuted Glad get, uh, Send Gang there. That could have been a one. Oh, I think that's going to be. I think that. Was a bad four dodge heavy there. That would have that uh, needed to be dead away. Yeah. Defenders are breaking. Reinforcements like, finally for Fern. Oh, unfortunate roll there. He's stuck in the corner. Yeah, yeah oh. he's, he's, he gets out. He gets should be able to get out here. Never mind. His Team teammate leaves him. That's uh. Use the minions. Use the minions. He knows. He's too powerful. You're you're strong, Fern. You he's can survive. Bomb. Oh, um, no, he won't. There's, ah, two, there's a person. Ah, no. <laughs> he he dies before away. breaking. He dies before breaking. Oh, so. yeah. oh yeah, it is getting really close. We're going to be in double. Yeah. I think mid will probably roll back the other way. Um, before. Because we've got the your Goki there. Um, we've still got a Fury Flask waiting on got the a Lord. On. And full complement of tier 4s on. Double C. Glad and Burns tier four is about feet. to be come off cooldown, I imagine. Yeah, Glad again. No, no feet. This is a guess. Assassin Just now. About now. That, that, that is the, the one like big thing about Glad. You do not get to get any defender renown. Like five, five you get kill on a point. It's five. You have to kill people in one v ones. That's a. I don't, know how I, then. That's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that flask. I think it was pretty good. He got yeah, he is, yeah. one kill and he prevented him coming back into the point because of... That is true. Oh, See ya! For... Oh. Get it. oh. I mean, it is fine. They, they're not breaking. It's not a double breaking they're situation here. They're going though if they're not careful. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they can't stop that. 
Pegasus wants to die here before the breaking kicks in because it's going to come yeah. in very soon. They have a second chance. They have a second chance. They have used tier 4, but so has the enemy. I think Shigoki might still have tier 4. Shigoki still has his tier 4. Yeah, I'll, let me quickly you go to him. Oh, wait, no, My I bad. think he's used it. Yeah. No, this it's guy still gone. has his tier 4 up. I don't know why I don't know why Double C is pushing in here by himself. He I think really he doesn't do want to, he wants to prevent them getting up. Uh, That's like his point. Yeah, you are right. He doesn't want so to. It doesn't get them to get double breaking. I, mean, I don't think I don't think they'll get a third chance anyway because of the, you know, just the renown for killing people. I mean, at least maybe one person will be able to get back yeah. into the fight if one of them dies. I think a Lombo came out. Oh, this is getting chaotic. Yeah, let me get to he does got hey, exactly. That's actually really, really smart because he gets to come back to the fight now. So that was actually a really, really good play by him. Good, good spotted. Because he actually do gets to stop them, them for getting enough points. Oh, so that can... Do you see the gladiator there jumping in front of the longbow? Get down, Mr. President, he saved oh. the, uh, the warlord. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think Rico has just won his wall, and he's unlocked his tier 4 now. Um, that, I, it's not going to help. War, <laughs> warlord, the warlord still gets the respawn. Yeah, that's just GG. That's, this should be GG. Yeah. Indicators for everyone! Yes. Oh, Maybe. come on, man! <laughs> Can we get a full... <laughs> I mean, it's theoretically doable, and this would be the fucking play of the tournament if he did it. Come on, I want to see it. Rico versus the world. Hey, this man, is apparently just cause team. five. I, I, I want to see some new... Sh I wanna... No, actually, no, I don't, because this is my team, but, but still. <laughs> We're going to get the res. No feats left. Honorable 1v1s? No, I mean, I don't... They're then just not getting revenge, which I think is sensible. There we go. He a head, lands a get break and is punished for it immediately. Juggernaut in the 1v1. <laughs> oh, but it comes oh, out from off screen. The... They're not risking it. They're not <laughs> risking it. There we go. Firm, we're just waiting for the cooldown. <laughs> <laughs> well, well played. That was surprisingly that was... close at the end there. I All mean, right, it cool. went from being... A very, you know, very, like, we have this in the back kind of game, mm. to very close in the end. But I feel like they just had to, I mean, I think they, they kind of, they just gave up the points in the end. Like, they just let them have C and B for way too long, which then let them get a bunch of points building up. I think it might be an overconfidence there at the end. Yeah. It's typical for a lot of teams. Like, they see, oh, the enemy doesn't have a lot of points. We just got triple cap. This is an easy win. And then they end up. Either leaving points or like just letting the enemy cap points because mm. they get overconfident and think, oh, it doesn't matter. We 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 lose C here because they still get to, you know, we we can just come back from it. So yeah, I think that's I think that a lot of teams do. But they, that's they, as you can they, see, like they, they they made a bunch of really good plays, especially the one we called you pointed out with the Shigoki going on to the point there at the end. Even though his team wasn't there, he ended up stalling their point generation enough for that. Even though he died and the gladiator died. They still ended up being able to respawn and come back to the fight. Yeah, and that was critical. Yeah. Yeah, that was well if played. he hadn't done that, that would uh, totally, you know, it, that would probably have been a win for Rawhead's team. Yeah, and then we got an eye up again. So the next one that is yeah. that was two Thank nil, you. and it's best of three. I was thinking it was best of five. So grand finals is decided. Wait, no, that was one nil. Uh, we'll was that I, Chad said I hadn't updated the thing? Was that one uh, nil or two nil? Someone in chat baited me. That was Overwatch first. Pick Overwatch Temple, so this is the second match. Okay, so I got bait. Eyes up as well. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. Someone in chat said I hadn't updated the scoreboard. I was like, wait, what? No, it's only one match. I, I, I believe chat over myself at this point, but okay. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just look at it. The they've a screenshot for their um, their scoreboard. Uh, let me just share that in voice text. What the screenshot which they've uploaded. Um, <laughs> 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 They've uploaded a screenshot of Paul, um, oh, which is Rohit's <laughs> original pick. Rohit's original. Uh, oh no! First Aww. draft uh, caricature for the Dominion series, who came out white. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I've been I put need... through the wash a few times. Okay, damn it! If we had more of a delay, I would have put that on stream. Ah oh, well, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, big big point. You said grand finals. You mean losers finals, right? Uh, no, no, this is, the this losers, is finals. losers finals um, right yeah. now. Grand finals is up right. next. Yes. Correct. So yeah. fake OS slayers have to win this one to go to grands, and Raw Forge have to win two. Here we go. We're on. S What's the rollout going to be? Sloot is zooming his way onto A, so it's going to be a one zero three split by Raw Forged. 
This is always an interesting one. I've seen like the Russian teams play this mm -hmm. in the Minion series, and it's worked out really well for them in the past because what they do is they they get like a three. And they, oh, see, we've already got a very quick kill with the ledge because they had the numbers advantage, allowed the wall to get a ledge kill. So and then Goki is so fast, and then previously it was the Gladiator who played this, this role, but then Goki is so fast that he can rotate back in and end up with the and still join the fight um, as long as they can take B if they decided they've got it already but actually this is a really strong start for um, the blue team I think yeah Raw yeah, Forge are doing an okay job of things although they are losing map control to fake OS Slayers yeah they, they I thought I think they realized that there, there's no way they're gonna win on C and decided to just go capping and B yeah that was a good that was a good no, that, that is a smart play from the uh, from yeah. fake OS Slayers yeah I think Renown looking like Roar's team a little bit ahead yeah, they have like tier twos. Yeah, all of them have tier one. They're like the first guy is decently close to tier two, but otherwise, it's not a huge renowned advantage. Yeah. Oh, big heavy then. Yeah. Double C's just melting. Oh. oh down. Back to spawn. Rico getting his first kill. His boys, um, Rico getting getting ahead. Moist does not have the feet oh, to give him extra missed... stamina regeneration, so he's going to have to wait the full duration. And he missed the oh, stamina parry then. I think this is probably a good chase here. Like, hmm. this... that He's not going to have enough time to contest the heal. He's got a bash to get onto the point. Oh, having said that... Spaniard, uh, commentator's curse number two for you this turn. <laughs> Although, if Moist can actually clutch this... Think, no, you, can't, you just can't roll against the gladiator. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get you. <laughs> Excellent gank. Oh, Excellent oh, yeah. form gank there. As Again, Spaniard was roll, saying, right? you cannot roll. He can catch you on reaction. <laughs> How is it? Oh, oh, I think he caught a roll again or a backdash <laughs> at least. I think I said, how is he alive? And again, I, I did the whole Pathos Curse. The Glad pick really working out. I mean, I mean, Scent can also catch rolls, but he can't catch rolls nearly as well as, as Glad can. You just can't roll away from Glad at all. Um, bad position. Moist is in a dangerous position there. Could easily be ledged. I, the wall put himself out of stamina, so wasn't able to get the second one off. But That's going to suck for Rico. If Double C was in a better position, that could have been a double heavy. I mean, he could have dodged heavy, but I... True. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he thought of it in the moment. He probably just wanted... Sent to zooming be... around with the... His, oh, big unblockables coming out from Goki. That'll, that'll Peg, work, I guess he's doing a smart play here, deciding that it's probably better for him to leave now and go to he go to clear mid or go to heal. I don't know how winnable this fight is anymore. I mean, it's still, like, they're decently close HP. Nah, never mind. It's now not it's winnable. Not, yeah. Anymore. That now it's never, a problem. Never mind, have, there's no heavy on that, so I think it's still winnable. Fern's poking like a champion, though. Fer oh, Fern is Whoa. being a monster, oh. like always. The GB from fights. Double! That was a great GB from Double. Actually, saved Fern's life. What a parry. What a revenge here. What a revenge. And he's got so much. He, he can't. Nearly doesn't can touch him. Um, <gasps> Beautiful bounty hunter proc. Oh prop. my gosh. Ooh. Don't Ooh. call the comeback. Fern's getting out. He. Uh, he his uh, debut has been here. He, he's, he's out. He's out. He can't do anymore. <laughs> he's oh, played the best he can. Good. That was almost absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I think that Goki headbutt or a toe stab will kill now. So there's, there's an, and yeah. that's the benefit of I mean, Goki there's, and Glad. There's they Shigoki. Kill. Shigoki is coming in. So I mean, Goki and Glad can both kill on somebody holding revenge, uh, almost uh, revenge, because their bashes. Will, there you go. Oh. I mean, they can just light again. Light, lights will work. Lights will work as well. So despite okay. them not having taken this point yet, they're getting loads of kills on it. Um, I mean, they're 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 keeping the enemy off. I mean, yeah. If it, yeah. double C should have tried to get out there, but it's fine. Like they have all they have, the yeah, rest of the map, so it should be fine. Didn't feed too much renown there. And that has come back about, and it's gone about equal now. But they they they, yeah. they, they still have a little bit of an advantage, uh, blue team. But otherwise, yeah. We've seen this before in in these maps that teams have a tendency to hyper focus on C and then just let the rest of the points yeah. keep on building up on for the other team. And uh, the blue team here did a good job of actually finishing that fight um, and 
carry and you know be able to take the momentum back into the rest uh, of the map. And and the orange team also did could see that there there's no way way for there's no reason for them to keep on pushing here. That a lot yeah. of teams do. They keep on over pushing C thinking that still it's the only point because it's the best point. Like you, you, it's fine for you to have A or you know just have A for a bit and as long as you have a side point and you should be fine. Cool. The revive. Nope. Cheeky Breaky revives. Fern's Cheeky back in the revive. game. Is that a good revive there, though? Mm. It was almost about to respawn. Uh, it's fine. Oh, yeah, no, it's a good revive because you get uh. the gank off really fast. Okay, that yeah. was a good revive. And a lot of renown. Fern's got his tier 4 now. Um, about to get tier 4. Oh, did he? Okay, I thought I. I yeah, I think it was, was renown glitch. I've seen that happen as well. It looks like you get tier 4, but you don't. Let, let's go to Fern and find out. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, well. I've been many times. There, but, there's been um, there's been there's many visual glitches like the wide angle revenge glitch. You know, it is what it is. No big deal. Yeah. But however, could have farmed for more renown very quickly. Janhu, one of the premier mid farmers oh, they, in the game. They, they missed a backup on C. That's massive. Oh, double C. St How do you sneak with a Shigoki? Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're very quick. Fast. You're very quick. You could also hear him coming from a mile away. <laughs> Those thunderous <laughs> footsteps. Bonk. I think they don't know. Bonk. Have they practiced their? This is the importance of, of ganking with every combination, um, because there I think they didn't practice their. Ooh. Ganking. Mm. They could have saved that bow for a little bit until it was confirmed. Oh, this is really inopportune, actually. This is this is for the montage. This is for the montage right here. Double, Double C. Yes, bow as well. Playing amazing. Oh! Oh, he oh. oh, he he's feeling himself. Full he was punish. feeling himself. Full punish. He's he feeling himself too much. I'm thinking. <laughs> But, but, oh, oh. <laughs> and there it is. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful oh, play. Out of stamina, light parry into bow for the win. What a play. My man. Oh, my man. Oh, that's a way that to 2 0. Is... Yeah, I think that's, I think that's got to be play of the tournament so far for me. Like, Possibly. We'll have to see how what happens possibly. in grand finals. I mean, Mark Top had some amazing gladiator plays, but like, just, I think, getting an out of stamina, light parry into a bow. I mean, I know it's not. I know it wasn't critical for the result of that game, but damn, is it stylish! Like you said, All right, for the montage. So we are moving on to the winners. The sorry, the grand, grand final. The yeah. aggressive potatoes Silver's... coming in from the winners' side versus fake OS slayers coming up from the losers. Indeed. Let me actually make sure I update the W and the L in the overlay accordingly, because for those of you just joining us and who are not. 100% familiar, which is probably not too many of you, but you never know. we got new people coming all the time. The This bracket, the double elimination bracket format, has a concept I call the Golden Parachute, which is essentially, if you come in all the way through the upper bracket, you have to lose twice in this match. So, if I actually pull up the bracket itself while we're waiting for the eye to appear, you can actually see that for yourself. You see how there's two separate boxes here, C32 and C33. If fake OS Slayers lose this match, the tournament's done. But if aggressive potatoes lose, they get knocked down into losers, in quotation marks, and we just play it again. So that's the reward yeah. for aggressive potatoes for not losing in this format, is that they get the golden parachute. Yeah, double elimination means you have to lose twice to be eliminated. Um, so oh. they haven't lost yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, the journeys don't, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not... Speak of such things. Uh, sorry. Community ran Hello, through Rohit. Having bracket reset is <clears throat> yeah, crazy. Also, oh, imagine, oh. imagine, oh, doing, oh. imagine playing the double elimination format as intended. Rohit, welcome yeah. back. Uh, I mean, I'm How excited about friends. Kind it's hard to come. Them. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to come back if you kind of just keep losing team fights. Like Kyle was saying earlier, it's just really hard to tell if you're making the right decision in the heat of the moment because. You know the whole map's captured by the other team, mm. and the C point being donated was kind of. I mean, yeah, it that happens. C point donation. I mean, yeah, we spotted that at the end. It was a lot of massive. As, as soon as but... the C point got donated, it was it was just GG. But yeah. if they were able to keep it, it could have been like a double breaking game. Or... Yeah, it was very it close. Have, it could have yeah. still be going on, but yeah. I mean, the, the first game was extremely close at the end. Yeah, yeah. very closely matched the two teams. Uh, the, the, uh, as we were calling out here, the Shigoki going on the point early. My Shogi from my team, double, was he going on the point early? Actually, kind of saved them the game because it let him die once, which then it'll still come back in the yeah. end. I mean, that's the point of pushing early. It gives yeah. you maybe another chance of 
you know, another push. E even just one person being able to respawn extra can can save your can save the game, because like, I think if he hadn't been able to respawn there, or that they had waited until double breaking, then might have been a lost game. Uh, there was another thing. Oh, we probably could have won that Overwatch game too, because we saw a staring blow up from the previous fight. But uh, yeah, I saw just, that. Uh, it was just like an awareness thing. Nobody realized the staggering was still up. So they tried scent ganking instead of going off the... Oh, I look. see. Yeah. Uh, Spaniard, uh, question from the Dojo yeah. General real quick. Uh, be fan about... B. Gabriel, going by his other day, alias. B. Gabriel asks, where do we put the clip we got for the tournament? Is there a clip in the... Is there, like, a clip channel in the in the Discord? There's a sharing channel. We, you can put it in sharing channel, but, yeah, you can also just DM, DM it to me. Maybe um, maybe DM it to Stag. Uh, like, we'll, yeah, just put it in sharing channel for now, but you can also put it in Dojo General. That's fine as well. We will, I think maybe we'll, I'll try and persuade Stag to make a, a highlights montage of the, of the, of it, because cause Stag has been our, our, vis, uh, what's the name for, audio visual wizard, mm. and maybe he'll enjoy doing something like that, um, because that was really, really that, was, that, that clip at the end was amazing, <laughs> and I guess the <laughs> same question. thing with it, so your, the Goki double C had like the really critical play in the previous match, and also had the most stylish play in the, uh, the final Indeed. match. So. Did someone say they had a question I heard? Yeah, are the um are the tournaments only held on PC? Um this one is only PC. It was partly because I don't know if there's enough coaches for um console and it's easier to organize things on PC where lots of scrims happen on PCs. And most importantly, I didn't have the prize pool. Uh I could not afford to sponsor like tournaments for everybody, uh, unfortunately. Right. But if there's a lot of um uh, interest, then I will hope, try and do some console tournaments in the future. Um, it's definitely something I'd like to do more of. It's just it's a sad reality that there's more competitive players and more of a competitive scene on PC, and it's just easier for me to do it this way. But in the future, yeah, makes fingers crossed. Um, and of course... You're... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, no, you carry on. I was going to say, I hope you've been enjoying the screenshots I've been uploading. Pretty good. Oh? Oh, Wait, you... I mean, what, when I report game scores. Oh, but... right. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I put yeah. that. I put that in a. Uh, um... Yeah, I, I just saw it. So yeah, I, had a... I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're waiting for the eye still, I'm actually gonna throw that up on stream real quick because that one made me chuckle. <laughs> uh, hang on, Discord stream, Discord voice text. There we are. Let me put that visible and then put it up top. I can't see it on the Twitch. I'm putting it. I'm. I'm sorting out now. So yeah, uh, oh, I... this. <laughs> This is this is the picture I've that used was... like a couple of players of comp players. Oh, I'll have to go through. I'll have to go through the uh, the brackets. I know I have little. a I have a nature one in there somewhere in a bot or <laughs> one, but no eye just yet. Uh, I'm, I'm targeting Pegasus Cork. He's the one I can uh, remember. They, have... they could still be doing it. It's a best of five, so it might be taking a bit longer. Yeah, they oh, also yeah, could so be so taking a toilet fans... break. They are happening? setting up, so they've got. High Fort is banned, and then they are playing Citadel, Temple, um, and then Overwatch, and then Harbor, and Sanctuary, if there's a, a tiebreak. Um, which, whether well, we've seen a Sanctuary map this, this time, have we? Nope. I haven't seen a Sanctuary. Have we? Or a Beachhead. I think I saw a Beachhead earlier, um, like early on in the, in the, in the tournament, but I don't recall. All sanctuary. People, people have been banning Beachhead as well. Interesting to me. Yeah, um, it is. That's a great map. Yeah, I like oh, it. Yeah. Though. I, I don't. I don't enjoy playing. It, it. is so ass on it, and yeah, uh, yeah the, the bridge connecting is... both points kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't like the map. Yeah, I acknowledge the mid lane thing, but I I still like it. The bridge like connecting it. the two points together kind of just makes it. Really easy to rotate in and out if you're just pushing. It's, like, especially you're pushing with Shiroki being in the meta. Yeah, let's say you're pushing for a heal. That point is always going to be contested because of that bridge, because it's so easy to just get in and out to go heal. Yeah, I mean it does feel nicer to have it, I think, but like for it, the map is very I like very. The way the bridge based. looks, but yeah, I think yeah, the map but... sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think it's a good map. When I wrote, when I made that uh, uh, rework of. A rework beachhead rework um picture and that the bridge was the only thing of mine that 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 wasn't that wasn't in my rework that is in the 
<laughs> in the in the rework map. So I'm going to claim credit for everything else other than the bridge, which you just like. So, yeah. yeah. I have a question so for you gamers. You need to ask the question then, Irinikiku. I think that's it. We're supposed to build bridges, so I'm for it. Okay, they're having some issues inviting, but I'm sure that'll, that'll be resolved soonish. Red net type type shit. Is mayonnaise yeah. an instrument? No. <laughs> I, don't, I think I've seen Davy504 play a base cell on mayonnaise, so... Um... This guy made us wait a full two minutes before he asked if mayonnaise was an instrument. Can we ban this? <laughs> also, hello, Cerezo! Hello! He was making a reference, old man. Excuse How me? you doing, man? What was he referencing? Yeah, it, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yeah, it's a SpongeBob reference. <laughs> oh, two yeah. God, yeah, I'm two minutes it. for that. Come on. So what? Patrick. You say? <laughs> two minutes is a long Patrick? time. <laughs> oh my minutes. God, Norgos, that's uncanny. Good, stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> is this tournament worldwide? <laughs> uh, yeah, this yes, is, it is an actual tournament. tournament. So, in fact, the. In the grand finals, we have a team. Actually, this probably. I hope this doesn't cause issue. Your team. Oh, Silver, your team is NA, isn't it? Uh, like yes, NA, they NA. are. They, they are NA West with. Originally, we had Arcrubel um, on our team, but yeah. he had to leave because he had some PC problems. Um, something with his PC just crashing, being completely dead. So we um, we got a player from Normie's team, Fern. Oh, yes. Uh, Fern is you. And Fern is EU, yes. Um, yeah, he's, he's a Brit. Um, otherwise, otherwise, we have uh, NA players. So you should be have a, should be have a mostly okay connection to the team. Um, the, the I don't know. Fun. EU players might have a hard time, but well, it's only Fern is the only EU, only EU player. Oh, so, the rest. Of, okay. So the rest like, of NA uh, should be okay overall. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we. Uh, I don't have, the nice thing about having a tournament that's not so serious as, as like things like the Dominion series is that we can, you know, cope a little bit with a bit of these uh, um, lag situations if they if they occur, and we don't have to be quite as strict on regions and that kind of stuff, um, which is really nice. I, I I'm actually really pleased that the uh, we've had to have we've been able to have teams from all over the world, and it's nice to have NA versus EU, um, and nice to have like these uh, South American guys a chance to show off as well which they don't often get a chance to apparently south america so, yeah. had like a little bit of an uprising a, like a couple years back i distinctly remember there was a couple of random unannounced ubisoft streams where there were like south american lands at like some sort of game expo down in like south america yeah. like proper yeah, they, 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 bloody they, lands it was a big scene in brazil for, for a bit yeah yeah um, reminds me of the uh the random like uh south korean scene for for honor that popped about out of nowhere like, I don't remember that. Yeah, there was a there was a South Korean stream for For Honor, and it was just like, what the? There's like proper, like full on, like Korean commentators, you know, the full on, you know, Dota clip them going out of their minds. The classics. Oh, love it. <laughs> but for Honor, of all things, like I want to get Korean For Honor casters and like the I, I, they used to host. They used to host Korean one v one tourneys. I remember seeing one like two years ago. Like, awesome. I, I have the ability to missing. fluff up something on commentary pretty hard, but Koreans knock it out of the bloody park. <laughs> I think, I actually, I do remember a, a clip I've seen from some Korean for our players, which was one uh, Orochi surrounded by four enemy conquerors and chain deflecting their zone for like 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> uh, that was an amazing clip. And I think it had some Korean... Woo! Hype in the background as well, mm. so... Love love to hear it, love to see it. Alright, we're still waiting on them. I, uh, I'm i looking at the match chat at the moment, so they right they are inviting, but we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, we have a night, we have a night! Woo! Not a drill! Alright, before we go on in, uh, Discord stream, are we looking good? Yep, yep looks yeah. good to me. Twitch stream, are we yes. looking good? Yeah, it still looks good. There's gonna, gonna be, there's gonna be a delay for Twitch chat, so that's fine. <laughs> but either way, it guys, looks good on both. Either way, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to the grand finals of the Ferrana Dojo Discord co Student and Coach Series. We have a very large commentary desk, and we're about to head into the first game. Aggressive potatoes coming in from the winner's side. Mark Top, not bad, not Deborah, and New Bringer facing up against against Fake OS Slayers coming up from losers. Fern, a double C, Pegasus Korg, and Amdask gonna be repping that side. 
the compositions looking a little spicy you'd see because aggressive potatoes have been running the uh, the double combo of griffin and highlander but we are seeing marked up on his signature gladiator as we saw before but i'll throw it over to our collective desk opinions do we have any prop bets who's taken this well i have no fucking clue it, it, they, uh, these I haven't, guys I haven't, seen haven't fought play. each other this tournament i haven't yet. seen the other team play I, I, i'm i'm kind of surprised so, yeah. there's a highlander but uh I mean, they've been kicking I mean, ass with the Highlanders. The, they, have. they have the most experience out of everybody in the tourney, I'd say. They do, they okay. do. Um, okay. So but... you, your team might get fucking stomped for all I know. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I think they've done really, really well. They have been doing, and, they, and your team have been playing amazing. Fern has been doing amazing. Double C yeah. has had, like, you know, so far my play of the tournament with uh, the styles, and they've had I mean, some really good I mean, rotations. I mean, uh, straight up, considering that AMD only played, um, he was mostly a, uh, what's it called, AI player before this, I am... No excited. way. He really? he told he said that he had mostly been playing against AI, because he'd had like some issues, with, I think it was some internet issues that made it so he couldn't play PvP. And honestly, I am... I, I think he's been playing really, really well. Oh, well, my so bots are better than players, so awesome. shit. Awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Game. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make reads on those guys, then you can make reads on anybody. Um, yeah, that's true. But this could go either way because yeah, these guys haven't played together. These, these these teams haven't faced each other, which is quite unusual in this kind of double elimination format. You normally end up with the winners, the winner, somebody in the winners final. Um, it, often it's the winners final that then comes back up again for the grand final. Both teams as a repeat of that. But this is because Rohit's team knocked out um, Fake OS Slayers. In the first round, These they fought all up for losers, the... and this yeah. is the first time they have placed. And they are winning this first team fight rather comprehensively. Got the Gladiator 1v1 going on in the corner, marked up against Pegasus Corgi, and looks like Pegasus is winning that one. He's making the. He's going for the chase. This is a huge push for the heel. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean. I think somebody should have came with him, though. Yeah, because he's now. Because the point's going to be contested now. Good save oh, by Double C. Kill. Oh, this guy was a dash attack machine. It was making me very mad that nobody was carrying his shit. <laughs> I just All crushing sat counter, yeah. in silence and mauled it. Double parry. Two for one special. You buy one, you get one free. Not bad with some not bad damage. Double C has to be a little bit wary of getting caught. He has armor armor to trade, but they elf not to back up the investment. Offensive stance light for the last little tap. Ooh, oh, that was a bad no, one. That was Giving a... him... Ooh, this is just going to let him stall for a bit. Yeah. yeah. And, and Double C has been stalling really well. And again, they've messed up this. That was another guaranteed pug. That they... you should no try way. Go. I mean, hey. There it oh. is. Uh, he's gone now. There yeah, he yeah, yeah that is death, but... Beautiful stall, beautiful stall. Yeah, beautiful. Was... Mark Top has been doing the same thing on the other side, though. Let's so see if we can get. Was he 1v1ing AM? AM? No, he's got. It's been. He's been st using this positioning really well to avoid this gank, which is. You know, this is a, a nasty combo to be ganked by. Yeah, Mark Top is on the home point of Fake OS Slayers, so he's been stalling for like a champion right now. He's been playing really well today. He's been doing fantastic in 1v1s. Really solid rotations. Oh, hey, big hitboxes. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody died then. <laughs> uh, saying double C just back out. Oh, yeah, that's a oh, fair hey. point. Yeah, let's actually cut to the yeah. white shot if, here real quick. Uh, Honestly, that, that was a really good play. Yeah, I mean, hey, even though he loses that, it doesn't matter. The map. So, yeah. have control. That was a beautiful back out. Yeah, gonna, the back cap is being... Ooh, he left the point though. Know. He shouldn't have left. Yeah. 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 He went to go to farm mid, and he hasn't been able to make it in time to clear minions, and he's off lost the back cap. So now with a triple cap, yeah. is actually pretty. What well, has? That was a bit of a rotational error yeah, for certain. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a hard. It's a hard call to nice light parry there. It's a hard call to make in a situation like this where, where you're like, especially if like, okay, we're all piling onto our home point to try and. Try and bring it back. Bonk. And then oh, that was just feeding like... Renown. Yeah, yeah after, I I after, he, that. after he got the back half, the rest of his team on spawn would just push mid at that point. So he could have just stayed at A. 
I mean, I think they might. No, mind. It's a woman one. No, they pushed C instead of mid. Um. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if uh, Shug just stayed at A. Oh, the free god right um, there. Because they were losing the C fight already. They were going to stop the cap. They would have just. They should have just gone to mid after. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and now, now they're kind of just. Now now they're, they're, they're initial lead has been. Well, I mean, they haven't really got a choice because they have to go to one point, right? Um, yeah. Like, Makes sense to go to the home point, but as you can see, the renown lead's already given not bad a bow, which is used to get a kill into a. Oh, that was a uh, not quite the right gang there. Triple hit stun. Um, might have too early for it. Yeah. Should have done a the lead headbutt that would have confirmed the. And again, they slightly missed that. They missed again the um, a window for the skewer there to land that. Top head AMD button. gets to survive and not feed renown. And is he going to come back to? They kill this guy quick enough, they'll have it. Yeah, this is in the game. Just hit the wide shot for a moment. Amdask's Mark very low. Point. They're glad it's pushing A for... Well, he's probably... He's been stalling he's really yeah. well, but... He's gotta be feeling himself. He's just yeah. pushing in like that. Well, you don't want to go into that little spot. That's the... <laughs> that's, the as we call it, the, the hurt locker. Um... <laughs> oh... Oh, big. Big damage. They're about to have and people coming in off respawn. And also, too, again, another thing, they got the gland. Uh, they got Ooh, the revenge. revenge as well. Oh revenge. no! That inspiration's gonna stack as well with the Fire damage. Wolf. That revenge is gone. Yeah, Avenge was stalled because of the demon wall. That's a lot of renown for the enemy team. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. none. We'll take a look at the score well, after this the fight. Point, have they? It's, uh, it's still uh, the. Silver's team owns it. Yeah, yeah so... Fake OS Slayers still yeah. have it. Oof. You just, just ate that. Cut the I'm not sure if this guy's going to be able to stall for a teammate to show up. There's three people on this point. It's if they, yeah. If they, oh, they gave Venge. Oh, oh no! He got them. All they had to do was not give Venge. War is I mean, coming. They can time him out, I think. I think they're going to be able to get I mean, War, I think War might be able to get on point. Goki is coming on point. Goki's back in. Oh, man. Duke has Jug, too. Oh, the whole fucking family's here. They, they do not oh, want the to The Rahirim have arrived. Yeah. Giving giving phone revenge no. there was the oh, huge. No. <laughs> you, know, move. you know what he's trying to do. I move. I've had this happen. To me. No! Oh, oh my God. God. It's a disaster. <laughs> thing I would throw. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, oh wow. wow. Well, thank, thank you, Fern. Thank you, Fern. That's a clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clip. It's an absolute like, just, just... disaster. You just, you just leave. <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do? Oh, Fern died before he could use his bow. That's going to be... Yeah. Uh, now it's, oh it's no, SPG. and he's executed One's breaking. Dead. But SPG, they should yeah. get, they'll get it's mid, like, because look, they got two of mid. They should be able to yeah. um, Not Is bad the going back into breaking anyway, though? I, I think, I think him deciding to throw that light there, Corgi throwing that light might have thrown the entire game. Attackers are they might have been able to win the A point if... Uh, if yeah. he hadn't gone ledged. I mean, what a gamble from Mark, though. Uh, God, you got to hand it to him. I mean, dude, beautiful, oh, beautiful deflect. I'm, I'm, I, gotta, I mean, what else would you like, You might as well go for the light deflect in that situation. You yeah. either deflect or just dodge bash the guy off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, was... win, you, you win no matter what because you have one HP. It's not like it really matters. Ouch. There it is. Big damage. Yeah. Staggering blow. It's fine. Aggressive potato is really sputting. Big OS slays here. <laughs> That. It's fine. I know I can't I be guess. kicked out for bad puns because I'm controlling the camera. <laughs> I love bad puns. Look, anyways, all so. I'm saying, we might be a little behind on your puns, but I think we'll eventually catch up. Uh... Yeah, yeah, no, I guess. <sighs> potatoes no. catch up. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm with you. Um, I mean, I think you can choose better puns than that when the chips are down, but. Shut up! Shut uh, I'm gonna deafen. Def <laughs> yeah, just deafen. I'm, I'm just solo I'm casting this, excuse me. <laughs> We're just fried right now, I mean. <laughs> oh, no, that's a real. There's a lot of, there's a lot of skin off my back. in the VC that I didn't know about. That's a real starch. <laughs> You're on fire right now. What have I done? I'm stopping, I'm stopping now, I'm stopping now. I'm st <laughs> Stream is over. Really around this ever. Stream up, yeah. <laughs> I'm really surprised how well they're doing with uh, Highlander in their team. Yes, that's yeah, a good so point. 
They are. It, I mean, Highland is not the pick, and I have to be. They also haven't been doing some of the stuff that Highlander can do with. I'm like, I've, I've said, I want to see the Highlander Goki Infinite Gank, and they've been missing like a bunch. I've seen a bunch of times they've gone for Cable Toss and landed Hug at the same time and bounced them out of both, which is not really what you want to see. Um, but I guess they're playing so well the rest of the time that, and they've got the Glad Ganks down pat as well. That that's not throwing them off, but and I guess the Highlander's already he's he's well he's very experienced at playing Highlander, making the most of his um character and that but that does have a big impact, you know, if you if you know your character really well. You know, especially at this is not the highest level of play. You know, it's not like picks are gonna be playing your character well is more important than picking the most the best character. That makes sense. So so we saw the same thing with I just saw so Daddy Laura in chat saw what of someone used Zone OS so they lost by blessing. That OS is broken. <laughs> oh dear. They've lost I, I don't it believe was a Highlander that. using Highland I, I, Zone OS as well. Oh, I mean I don't I don't know if I believe that. I don't think um Fer Fern said he doesn't use option selects at all. And uh, I don't think AMD knows option selects. <laughs> so I don't I don't know. I, I don't need to I, Yeah. I mean they're doing completely fine without with uh, without them. I don't they can play however they want, I'm not gonna force them to do whatever. If and, they want to play without you options, don't need like, options like Wall, you just need you, crash and charge, right? I mean, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just crash and oh, charge no. everyone. I haven't seen anybody fish this journey. There was a oh, grand yeah, fishing yeah. earlier on. There was a game on High Fort where fish appeared in the chat just as people started getting ledged like crazy on sea. It was literally prodigious. I'm DMing fish right now. I'm DMing fish. Yeah, there, we there, also there, had a, a temple game where three people got ledged literally the same spot so I they were yeah. 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 falling oh, off the edge in a ball a glorious ball of Corp legs stack. and arms and yeah. <laughs> i just need a good chain crashing charge and we did see there was there was some fishing yeah. early on in, in there was a few garan charges i know i know you can't you know it's not from a tournament unless you see a few confirmed crashing charges there, there was a game that was blessed by fish on highfold so we, we got the daily intake of omega-3 <laughs> Hello, Smeek, by the way. I see you in chat. All right. This is going to be map number two in this grand finals. The winners, Aggressive Potatoes, are on the winner's side, up 1-0. Yeah, they have been un... un they've not dropped a, a map in this... in the finals. I think they've dropped one map. or They've definitely dropped one map this tournament because there was a 2-1 there was earlier. But I'm just seeing if they dropped anything else. No, they have so far only dropped one map against the Fenboy Army. Do these guys who um, Fake Ice Slayers beat, so maybe they'll be able to bring it back. Very hectic team fight starting off. Lots of high damage on hyper armored attacks and Highlander coming out. I'm interested to see how the different rotations, like the start of the map, they both did very, mm -hmm. very different things at the start. And it is working out for, I, I'm watching the Discord stream, but Blue Team sent 3 to C yeah. and 1 to A. And they have both side points now. And they'll probably go take mid, keep two people on A. So kind of not a normal rotation on this map, but it worked out. Yeah, it's the one we've seen sometimes the Russian teams using in... Um... Dominion series. I think they just absolutely stomped in that first team fight on C. Um, and these guys are now in a difficult position. They have to push mid to not get triple capped, but they got to go to one side point to get get it. So we have AMD and Double C coming on to try and gank the Goki on C. If they can get a fish, if they can get a crashing charge here, oh no, good rotation from. Diva yep. coming back to help his. Ooh, um, spicy! Nice rush encounter. Spicy. Oh, for those of you wondering why there's a strange noise in the background, that's from the event sound effects going on right now. You physically can't turn those off on the spectator, so nothing I can do there. If you're wondering what the weird humming noise is on C point. Uh, the, uh, Diva's the... kicking oh. ass as Highlander there. The damage he can put out oh. from those. From his unblockables is amazing. Yeah, he can't roll from Gladiator. He's going to get caught again. Oh, no. Mark Trump's Diva trying. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he dies from it. Yeah, he does. He does put you in recovery. So, uh, This is a very, very good start for uh, the aggressive potatoes. I, I don't know if this is something you can come back from. Yeah, no. This yeah. is on this map. This is, and the Renown, this, yeah. they've already got 
them? Are they, is there a tier three out, or are they just tier twos yet? Just uh, tier twos. So yeah, tier twos. Just got a tier three. Scoreboard, maybe. Yep. There's a tier three on Highlander. Yeah, yeah tier three on Highlander and Shug. Yeah. That, that, yeah, no. It's, it's a day I'm gonna say this is unwinnable, sadly. Yeah. Well, well, I have one great. more match after this if uh, before they get before they get dropped out. If we if we're going to be oh that was a really nice target watch unblockable then hitting the guy. Highland doesn't have gigantic hitboxes, um, but he did really well to hit the guy directly behind him. Probably thought he probably baited out a parry attempt and. That, oh, revenge pop that. on a point. However, new bringer one v oneing Korg. Let's see if he can hound his way to victory. Oh, oh deflect GB reads the back dash. Another one. Another one. Another one. Attackers cast his head. And D oh, the oh. save! Oh. Oh. Just in time. <laughs> and they get nice the resonant execution. as well. That's yeah, not a bad they, call for uh, they need, they the need kill the point. The kill point is when the arm comes off. So he stopped it just as the blade was gonna yeah. come in. That was really good timing. Yeah, that's the fastest 50 health execution that war the Highlander has as well. Clearly, guy knows his Highlander execution. Oh, uh, one zone. I don't know. Yeah, yeah right zone was. A zone or a dodge forward heavy? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. On reaction, baby. He was guarding top, so that's a definitely a reactable dodge. Yep, down heavy. Oh, nice. Uh, when it works, it works. Yeah, get out of there. I will commend Deba for having very good game sense and knowing when to leave. Twice now we've seen in this game a, point, said, a place where he doesn't need to stay and just leaves. I mean, I would have said that was a fire flask opportunity there. Because he had two guys and mid and plenty of time to come back if he needs to. I say so... don't rush it. You're in grand finals. Yeah, you could try and go for a fire flask, but come in with full HP and dot your eyes across your T's. Don't go too crazy. Yeah. He's still... I, I would have gone for flies too, because if the game could still be double breaking, like there's the potential of it, so you might as well try to get more uses out of your flask. Yeah. In case and you can see that the... Uh, well, he goes, that was a good flask. Oh! Wow. I apologize for talking shit there, bro. Yeah, an inspire flask. I think he's using rush to get onto the point. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the spacing! Oh, the spacing! No. That's good. Very That's good. It. I think the Goki got greedy then. If he'd let the Highlander get the execution, that would have been dead executed on breaking as well. Yeah. So yeah, he barely got up. Not quite. I, I think this, if there's one thing that these guys could work on is their Goki and Highlander synergy. Because, like I said, I've seen a bunch of missed opportunities. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can't pull the same That's gag sorry. twice. I'm sorry, but you can't. Someone's got to catch on, and they did. Uh, oh, he all did get the resurrect. Of... Actually, he did get resurrected, though. Yeah, they're all going out. Of... They've, they've gone down to see again. Look. Oh yeah. Goki's going back. I'll pull the camera back. Uh, <laughs> oh, on the long <laughs> road to keep. Gonna... Gonna... Oh. Oh, fun. Nearly kept him off for long enough. Okay, that light interrupts. I mean, Fern has got the reaction to the parry of those things. They they got the triple cap. They're unbroken. Yep. Amdask is gonna get an extra yeah. life. Uh, not for long though. Burns. Oh, if he hugged, he'd be dead. Oh, he hugged, that was dead. Oh, if he hadn't changed his guard, it would also have been dead. Ah. Uh, well, the light comes out. I mean, they will get... Really oh. Now they've got one dead on breaking, and this Goki's not on this world either. Um, not to cast... Oh, I, I'm saying it on purpose, because if I say it on the install, he will... He will... Fail. See, like, that's what just, what just, just happened. There we go. There's the... You were thinking... Talking. You were thinking it. You were it's... thinking about it. You cursed yeah. them with your mind. Yeah, mind powers. I mean, I do like Highlanders, so maybe it's fine. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh. Keep nope. swinging. Very short chances to get out here. It's Fern versus the world. Yeah, they don't need to be careful with him either. There's no way he can. Be the mother of all comebacks, though. If he does, I'll give him uh, credit. It would be. I just, it, I, I don't think it'd be possible even. Yeah, it's, done. it's, it's just yeah. possible. Yeah. Two nil. Aggressive potatoes. Two nil. Aggressive potatoes. Well, they had a very, very strong start, and they kept it through. 
Um, I mean, I think I'm actually surprised that from that start that um, no no fake OS slayers managed to get as many as 400 points because they were like down 800 to 80 in the first few minutes. So something along those lines, anyway. So the real question is, can they stop the bleeding and come back from this, or are we going to see a 3-0? Yeah. Oh, good question. My prop bet's on a 3-0. I'm feeling it. I think Aggressive Potato is going to push us. I, I mean, the experience between the two teams, you can obviously tell. Yeah. So. I think also something that is um, probably not to be underestimated is that these guys will have been scrim they, they have been practicing. I think, Silver, you've been having them scrim, and scrim a bit, right? Uh, they have done a lot of uh, what's called in-game play practice, mostly because we had a few issues with time schedules and all that. We haven't actually been able to scrim uh, another okay. team because of the fact that we had so many what's it called like time differences, time zones, yeah. and just people not sometimes not showing up. But okay. otherwise, they've done a lot of in-house stuff, like a lot of gang practice and a lot of um, like anti-ganking stalling on all of that. It, yeah. A few in-house, a little bit of in-house two Zs and stuff like that. But the, my point that I was uh, slowly, circuitously making it to is they probably have not done any practice against a Highlander. So no, not not that I know of. Maybe, maybe they fought one in MM when they were yeah, playing. Or... Maybe they probably fought a Griffin in an MM as well. But like, but otherwise, no. They've, they've only really fought the the main characters that are playing right now. It was like yeah. the only characters they've really been fighting against. Yeah, so I don't think they know how to deal with the Highlander. Exactly. So I think that's the um, probably probably giving the the off meta pick a bit of an advantage um, if you've practiced against the meta, and but you've only practiced against the meta. That could be a bit of an advantage. We'll see if this is the final match of the moment today. A key crux yeah. though of going for the anti-meta strat though is in any game you've got to make sure the person playing the weird wacky pick knows what they're doing. And Deirbra has been popping the fuck off. Oh yeah. my god, yes. He has indeed. I think we... Is that a Spear Storm this time? Yep, Spear Storm. Oh, yeah. pick... I don't know what map it is, but yeah. Uh, okay, I can tell you which map it is. It's going to be... Yeah, a few, a few times... Yeah, a few uh, times today yeah, we have seen Overwatch. a strategic uh, tier 4 change based on the scenario, or the map. Yep, yeah, he's been picking Fire Flask for those maps with covered um, points and Spear Storm for those without it. And last time, the last time we saw him on this map, he played Spear Storm and he got a double kill from across the map with with it. <laughs> Worked out rather well. And I think that probably won them that match. So we'll see if he gets a repeat performance. What's the split? Same split as before. Mark Top going solo to the A point. Everyone else bungling on C for aggressive, but we're going to see Fake OS Slayers opting to instead go 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I don't think they they know how to play against people who play like, you know, put 3C and then 1A. Mm. We did tell them about if um, if they saw three people on... Uh, I mean, we did tell them if you saw three people there, you just immediately send one person to, uh, one to A. Or one to CMN, sorry. But otherwise, yeah. They've, I don't think they've fought someone who gets caps A at the start. I mean, they they are praying against it. Like they're immediately going to A. Yeah, I think. Which I think is why. Did they win one or did they? No, they just the uh, the enemy left. Oh, I think fair. they just left the uh, they left A to go and help on on C. And then I think Corgi saw someone low leaving, and then he chased, killed him, and got the A point for free. Hmm. Nice. Speaking of Corgi, oh, that's... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice gang. Will this be a Phylexia or is it going to interrupt it? I that's a no! Mark, if he managed to kill Mark fast enough, but... Well, Mark is... No, he's just... Mark gone. hit Bandit. He's, he's fighting double C right oh, now. Dude. Oh, he's still rolling! Nice. So did you see that? He got the light parry and then used that to roll away. Absolute um, escape artist. That was the only way you can do that. To get to escape from most of the characters in the match at the moment, so that was really, really well played. A good, like, game sense, and you know, so many players were. You get a light parry, and you, you're really happy you've got a light parry, and you throw out that. Um, oh, that heavy. the bait. 
Not bad throwing full out of stammer attacks, knowing you get parried because you've got revenge in the back pocket. Not bad, nice. he's been going hard right now. That's like his fourth, fifth kill. What the hell, man? Yeah, that's his fourth kill. He got two kills in the first fight on C and then two kills here. Damn, we only got one death on the, and that was the low character, the low player that um, Pegasus chased. Hmm. I mean, close on points, but Renown must be quite significantly in favor of the uh, blue team. It's Avagander, yeah. We've got, we've got a tier three about to come out on um, the Goki, and tier two on Newbringer. Burn just died before he's got his tier two as well, but not helped him. This is what Newbringer's doing currently. Getting parried. Unfortunate. Getting getting baited by the the, oh. the OS slayers of being of having their OSs and a hug. Like, yeah. Efficiency. AMD are doing a good job of not letting him get inside the point. Marcus stuck out. Or, sorry, Tier 2 coming stuck out. out. Mm. Double C threatening the hitboxes where possible. Going to try and keep Newbringer tying down. He has expended all of his available feats. No feats available for Adam Co. So he's. Oh, great. Off target. Oh! Unblockable then. Durba versus Double C. Bonk. Oh, the gamble from Durba paid off. Celtic kick. Oh. No, that was a kick again. Oh. 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 The bait. That was a good. That was a good bait. I mean, this the Highlander. This matchup is horrible for Highlander if the uh, Goki is if he's if he's in a defensive stance. But if you can get into defensive stance, then it's actually one of these ones where he can dodge around and be. I say we're doing another good job here again. Missed out with that hitbox there. Let's see how well Durba does in the 2v1. Never mind, I open my mouth. Newbringer immediately comes in to make me look like an idiot. And now might try and go for a now as a 2v1. Adamsk. Or Amdask. I was going to get that wrong. Going to get cleaned up courtesy of Newbringer. Fern has been, been sticking very heavily to the mid. Most likely the designated mid controller. On Overwatch. Oh, question from the chat is Smoke Bomb banned in these matches? Yes. Smoke Bomb is banned, Fujio is banned, and you can't have duplicate tier fours on the same team. Well, there you so, go. those are the uh, feet. Yeah. Otherwise, we would see oh. a lot more Smoke Bombs. Oh, excuse me. No, it's not, it's not an event one, don't worry. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the cannibal one. <laughs> Illegal lunch. Newbringer tried to peel, but the hyper armor on the demon ball enough to stuff the kick. Speaking of demon balls. Oh yeah, exactly. Right. Super armor too. It is super yeah. armor indeed. It's a, actually really a bad time for Go. Oh, he got the, he got that just as as um, staggering blow ended. So, champion's aura is such powerful feat. Hmm. Newbringer getting it online quickly as well. We're seven minutes into the match and change. And this is going to be an ex. No, it was not an execution. He only got it with the light. Now this is looking. This is looking like it's going to be GGs, but they can still. They still have a possibility. If they can force, like decisively force a side cap at side point, and then keep the momentum up into mid. It is. It is possible to bring it back, but it's going to be really, really hard work for them if they can. Good roll there to get out. What can fake OS Slayers do here to improve their situation right now? I mean, other than really, they're just going to win all of their fights. Um, that's, that's it. That's it, really. That's uh, literally it. There's no sort yeah. of advanced tech. It's just hey, win your onesies. Uh, well, not onesies. They had, like I said, they had to. They had to. They had to just win team fights. Yeah, have to decisively win team fights on one point and then keep the momentum going to be able to capture the point. point. With a point lead like this, it has to be every single team fight at this yeah. point. Yeah. And they have to, on top of that, hold a triple cap if they can get it. Well, uh, there but it goes. Like it's it's beach. Beach. Dear Bro is actually going to get saved courtesy of Noob. Great job by them. Amdask gets parried. Ooh, light parry. parry. Very nice. I think he's going to get plunged. Oh, wait, no. It's oh. Noobbringer coming from on top. He's not going to get plunged. Yeah. And that's it. And that it is it. GG's. Well done to the aggressive potatoes. They definitely showed their aggressiveness there. Gonna plant like themselves Divas a good win. Well. Are we gonna have a winner's interview? Yeah, let's bring him in. Yeah, why not? If, um, I'll ping him and... Uh...
Yeah, that that's a decisive as heck stat line. Yeah, Overwatch is oh yeah has very much become the pseudo snowbally ish <laughs> map in the game. My title for that used to go to like Harbor, but now Harbor hasn't really been sold, but it's a lot more close. So Overwatch is a map I tend to see where if you slip on it a bit, especially if you're in a long set, you you just plunge into a death spiral. I, I have not seen that many glorious comebacks on Overwatch. I see them on other maps, like Temple Garden and even High Fort to an extent, but Overwatch, yeah, that that's very much once you're in the rut, you're in the rut. All right, but we are waiting. Put that on the label. It's not not good. Uh, is it not? I can't look. Well, yes, hanging them in the dojo chats. G the fuck G's to all involved. This has been a jolly good time. Let's see if people are coming in for the winner's interview. Yeah, they're going to... Mark Top's gonna, said he's going to bring him in. Hey! Awesome. But shit and doesn't talk. That's completely fine. No worries. That's cool. Yeah, they are. The Hello, Diva. Hello. Yo, yo. Hello, and Mark. How's it going? Oh, it is going fine. Fine. Congratulations. Okay. GG's. Oh, thank you, thank you, GG's. That thank was you, some, thank you. There were some pretty close matches, but we managed it out, so that was nice. Yeah, you guys have a lot of synergy. Um, I was really enjoy enjoying watching thank you guys you. play together. And Helen Nash, is that coach? Nope. Uh, he's the best coach. A great ever. guy, a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I will appreciate the compliments. <laughs> he says he's not been doing good. anything. He says he's been letting you guys do it all himself. Do it himself. No, no. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. No. He actually was the heart of the team, so yeah. Yes, yes, he he was the one person who united us. To, <laughs> yeah, exactly. he, he was the over more support for all the tournament. You guys can do it. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, that's what we want from a coach. You got to be moral support, cheerleader. That's the uh, that's what you're looking for in a coach, as well as the knowledge as well. <laughs> so yeah, all I can say about them is that they've done a really great job in the. Yeah, I don't think I had a very big doubt in my mind that they wouldn't lose, you know, they were a great team. Well, congratulations. So, Diva, I want you to tell me about your Highlander pick, because he's definitely an off-meta character. How long yeah, have you been oh, Rep70? You've been playing a long time, practicing a long time? Yeah, I actually long? have another account with Rep50, so it's more than it actually is. And I also have another account in console. Well, lot, a lot of reps, anyway. Yeah. I, well... I've been playing Highlander like since forever, so it was a comfort pick. And since my team knew me from before, who I play with him. And also, people say that I play every character like a Highlander, so I should like just stay with him. Mm. So that's what I did. And since he has a lot of damage, and also the composition was pretty good for him, especially for the Chugagi. Also, the feats were helpful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were discussing how good it felt the uh, Highlander because, uh, yeah, at the beginning we wasn't very sure about the uh, picking Highlander, but after a few scrims, uh, we ended uh, having a humongous killer uh, kill count, and um, and we started uh, discussing about the Highlander. It's it's his damage, his feats, and fire flask with a spear stone, depending on the map. Spear stone and especially can deal with a Shuoki. Yeah, I definitely seen. I definitely saw a few like times you end up in one v one situations against Gokis, and you really managed to make them fear for their lives. I think is it so. So if Goki is your the character in the meta which you find easiest to deal with as as a Highlander, what is the character in the meta that you really you hate to see and you are? Oh, super scared oh by? there's only one. Like when people say Tiandi is the counter to Highlander, I don't believe him. It's it's match. The only problem is you can be very aggressive, but anything that Tiandi wants to do to counter, you can actually counter it. You I don't usually stay only on offensive stance, so the undutchable lights don't really work. And the uh, Dodge Heavy is fine, but the only pick that I really struggle and only after this patch is actually Sanju because of the recoveries. I I can't even dodge and light. They can actually crush in counter after I dodge. So I can mm. really touch him. 
Yeah. So do you seek, in that case do you seek out to like and these in are you calling out all the the Janhus over here get Diba away from the Janhu come fight the Shigoki or how your comms work? Uh, when we were playing, I was asking my team to yeah just get, get him away from me because I couldn't do anything. The least I could do was if he tried to peel against me, I could do a crushing counter, but that's it. That's all the way I could do. Or hit him in recovery, but he doesn't have much recovery, so it doesn't really use. Yeah. Uh, any other questions from any of the casters and coaches for these guys? I think, no, you pretty much rounded out everything I could ask. The only thing I could ask would might be, because there is a round two coming, I'm a bumbled indulge anyway. Do you guys have any pocket picks coming into the second round, or things that you would have wanted to pull out, but you didn't necessarily have to, without necessarily answering what they are? I, I don't want to change my pick, but I think most of our team just pick it comfort picks, actually. Yeah, yeah, that was the, actually, the biggest actually, surprise that uh, we all was, uh, what do you want to play? No, Glad and you, Chuguki, you, Highlander, and you, Griffin. Okay. Oh, it, it was, works. Yeah, Yeah. The, the whole thing basically consisted of, so like, okay, which characters you guys like want to play? And then it's like, oh, this guy plays Griffin, this guy plays Gladiator, and this guy plays Shigoki. Oh, simple. So, yeah. no arguing there. Oh yeah, we've got a question from the chat uh, to Mark. How did it feel to ledge Corgi uh, on Citadel when you were on one health with that deflect? Yeah, I was oh. actually waiting for a bash or something to to do the side dodge bash, and then he throws a light, and I, and I was just okay, and that will do. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll well, do it myself. <laughs> yeah, it was a very nice play. Um, we definitely saw that one. Yeah, I actually got like a lot of ledges. Uh, that is a pretty strong uh, strategy with Glad because you can ledge a lot of people. Like even without a warlord, you can always trust a ledge if you play it right, if you play it safe, and only the flag stuff that you that you know that it, it is unfaintable. So zones and lights and stuff like that. Especially when talking with. Uh, option selects because option selects gives you a free deflect so if you if you really really knows how to play against them you can do your mix up and then faint and then do a deflect and get the the same damage as the unblockable so that's nice yeah and sometimes you can go do an insta kill for 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 people trying to to option select you all right yeah and i know that your other character you like a lot is peacekeeper so, do you do you think you'll be playing any peacekeeper in these in round two, or are you sticking to gladiator? Yeah, the thing about uh, my strategy for for the, this this play was to pick a hero that could gank, but that's not the the main thing that I was going for. Uh, all I was going for in this in this tournament was pressure and stalling. So Glad has a uh, a lot of uh, backwards left movement. He can uh, dodge bash a lot of things and uh, reduce the options from the from the opponent. <clears throat> so I could play into PK, but uh, I will like have a character that can uh, do one v ones, but cannot do anti ganks that well as Glad. And if I have to gank, Peacekeeper doesn't have like uh, doesn't have a lot of options. Yep, fair enough. Oh, correct answer. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well. Thank you very much for answering. Uh, I can see also we've got Fern in chat here as well. Just want to say hello to Fern. Congratulations on your team. Well done for making it all the way to the winner's final, especially coming all the way up from the loser's bracket throughout the entire, all the way from your first match. How did, how did that feel to, to make it to the grand finals? Um, very, very happy with that, actually. Um, you know, we haven't really known each other for very long and it's come, you know, getting knocked out in the first round and then fighting all the way through loser's brackets, just changing off a couple of characters. And then beating the guys that knocked us out, going all the way to grand finals. That's uh, more than enough for for me. Hey, do you think you're hooked on the tournament? The tournament crack? <laughs> the tournament. I don't know. I'm very hot and sweaty right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you will. You guys will play. Maybe take your team into the mini series and and try against some of the the top teams there as well. I think. Um, yep. I know you. You guys. Uh, the winners can't because of the region lock, but. I hope, I hope the, the rest of you guys can. We'll right, so Fern said that uh, you had to switch your characters mid-game. Mid 
Does yeah. that mean that they had to learn new characters mid-game, or they already knew um, them? Well, in the first round, we had uh, Neon Janu, then we had Warlord, Shigoki, and Centurion. And the guy on Shigoki really didn't like playing Shigoki very much, uh, so he changed off. He was much more comfortable and glad. And then uh, Centurion changed to Shigoki, and we seem to do a lot better with that. Okay, and so your team already had practice. Yeah, did you practice yeah. that pick as well, or he, was this just um, um, from... We did a, a little bit of practice with Glad, not much at all though. Okay, well, uh, you it certainly paid off. Um, yeah. So we got a question from Manon of Astaroth just in in the chat. Uh, you can follow if you want to find more tournaments, um, not just this one, but other ones. You can check the tournaments channel here. We do announcements, and also just go on Battle Fee and follow uh, like the Thrawn tag, and you will see when, when tournaments show up. Um, I think we also have a tournament announcement channel in the competitive front and subreddit, so as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I am pretty tired. I've been we've been at this for yes. quite a long time. I'm just before we go, I'm gonna say, say congratulations again to everyone who played. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you all had a really fun time. Um, I really enjoyed watching you guys, um, and I was really impressed by how well these new teams who've been just been put together have like have only been playing together for, for you know two weeks at most. I guess the these uh, South Afri South American guys who are playing for together for a bit longer than that, but uh, we're really impressed by how well you've all pulled together. And thank you again to all the coaches for all the dedication and helping your team, your teams, like come together and play together as 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 efficient units. And yes, I also have a surprise announcement. So when I said the prize pool was two hundred dollars for the $100 for the winner of round two and $100 for the winner of round uh, one, so $100 each, there is actually a surprise $50 extra prize for the most improved team between now, uh, between round one and round two. So oh. if you came low down in the in the, the, the rankings this time, um, you have an opportunity to get a slightly bigger prize than before, especially if you manage to win as well. Um, so I will be like keeping a little table of everybody came, and the most improved team will get a fifty dollar prize as well. So the money, the prize will be paid. That all be done uh, after round two is concluded, just to cut down on um, uh, PayPal transfer fees and that kind of stuff. So yeah, hopefully that's a bit of motivation to keep on practicing for round two. And I only, I could only tell you about it after round one was done. Otherwise, people would throw. People would sandbag for the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but there we there we go. Congratulations, everybody! Thank you so much for playing. Um, that's that's it for me. Uh, verb, anything anything you'd like to say? Uh, no. Apart from this has been a jolly good time. Uh, winners, congratulations. Uh, and if you want to say anything else, now's the time. The floor is yours as the winners. Aggressive potatoes. Any call outs? Anything you want to say to your fans? Either. Abroad or home. Oh yeah, and uh, Deba, do you want to just announce quickly that you're Deba, not De Dear Bra? They're two different uh, people. Uh, actually, it's not Deba, it's Deba. <laughs> Deba, okay. <laughs> I learned there is D tier, Deva tier. <laughs> Deva tier. <laughs> and a shout out for your, for the people in South America, the Foreigner League community. It is a Discord server like this one, but a lot smaller. So. Yeah, those guys are the best and scream with us. Oh, awesome. Well, give me their details and I will plug them on the uh, server info links here so we can try and nice, make a nice uh, network of all the uh, learning channels, um, learning servers. So we have one recently for Turkish community. Um, I'll definitely put one up there for, for the South American community as well. If you send me the link. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, that's... Thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who joined us in the Discord uh, chat. And we're looking forward to seeing you all for round two in the future. Right. Thank you for yeah, watching. Everyone involved. You can all go now. GG's. 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 GG's.